Hello. How are you? Are you doing well today? I hope you are. This stream is going to be all about that little guy you see judging me and Gaspar as well. You can see, well, Cognito Hazard. Oh, well, maybe you can't tell what we're talking about, but I'm right. Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming by here today. Also, thank you so much, Gaming Bleach, for gifting two subs. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I have been awake. I have been awake today. I have been... Something was shining in my eyes. I have been awake today. But thank you so much, Gaming Bleach. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're all doing well. I think we all judge Grimmy and Gaspar. Fine, that's fine. You can judge your fellow man. I'm not gonna fight you. I'm not gonna fight you. Yo. But everything has been going well for me today i was very 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 tired yesterday and i apologize for my internet having so many issues i think it's a matter of like where i'm located this part of the mansion just doesn't get very good internet anymore so hopefully i can fix it but it is getting quite frustrating you can even have you can have several internet providers in this part of the mansion and it just doesn't work sometimes it's 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 fine it's fine you should go to your ISP and beat up your internet. I want to. I want to real bad. But I hope that you guys are all doing well. I hope that it was a good time for you today. Did you eat a lot of nice food? 
Did you drink a lot of nice water? I'm, I'm coming over here. There we go. I'm coming over here. How are you guys? We're doing very well today. You can also see this old room I never use anymore for some reason, because I constantly think I'm going to play a video game, but I'm lying to m myself. I didn't know you used Twitch, Skelter. Well, we, we should start streaming from Skelter's account. I, I guess we're ending stream. We'll raid into him. We'll raid into Skelter right now. Okay, one sec. Alright, everyone. Uh, I will be over there in just a moment. We're going to make sure that we uh, get ourselves ready for this. Uh, I should not do that, actually. It would be a really funny joke, but then I would... <laughs> I would lose the opportunity to show you something that I believe Skelter would like to. So, first of all, um, this is something that you guys have requested for about two years. So, I deeply apologize for it taking so long. Skelter just wasn't ready to, um... I don't know what he does when this happens, but, uh, he wasn't ready to, um, be places. That's probably the nicest way of putting it, but, and thank you again, Smilkat. Apologies. Uh, he wasn't ready to be places. So now he's ready to be places. Be free. Yeah, well, he's always been free. I, no one can control him, to my knowledge. But now he's ready to be places and be free. Let me get some nice music on. It'll be Skelter's favorite. Okay. Skelter, let's, uh, let's get you some ambient music, your favorite. Um, what, what do you listen to? Nothing copyright claimable. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh, that sounds quite nice. Then. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. This sounds like it's very, uh, annoying to listen to, but we're going to. Cats don't often get their way when it comes to, like, you know, their favorite type of music. Is that loud? Oh, it's not even audible. It's on the wrong thing. Here, it's about to be screaming. Perfect! There we go! Yo! Bur... Be... Oh, be yourself! Yes, absolutely! There you go! There you go! I have captured one of Skelter's brothers. I have his brother hostage. I don't know what you have hostage, but you probably want to let it go before it melts your hands off. Um, thank you guys so much for coming by. We still have a few minutes before I can... Um, let Skelter do his thing, but he's he's just chillin. He's just chillin. Um, the fine people at makeship.com were some people that were assisting with Skelter's, um... I don't know what to call it. I don't know if it's really got a name. Uh... Expansion! Expansion. That's that's a good way of putting it. Expansion. Oh, thank you so much, Nilly, for, for being here for six months. Also, yo, Colt, what's up? And thank you, Elf... Uh, Alpharet Zero for being here for nine months. Thank you. Domain expansion? That's what all the kids are saying these days, huh? Domain expansion. It used to be called it used to be called something else, I feel like. It wasn't all about this Jujutsu Kaisen stuff. It was it was something else. Um but it was I don't I don't know how to put it. Uh Manifestation. Maybe manifestation, Gail. Maybe, maybe. Huh. They want to learn the dark arts, kids these days. It used to be called Bankai. Oh, was it Bankai? Reality Marvel. I don't know what that means. Okay. Give me your Why? I don't know words. It's okay, I'll figure them out. I'm gonna figure them out. Going Super Saiyan. Oh, but Goku didn't like trap you in a room with like, I don't know, like a bunch of like... I don't know, a bunch of hands or like a bunch of like lollipops. Like, it seemed a little different. I, I need to watch more of that. I got to season two and then I just got really tired and I was like, I'll watch the rest of this later and Barry was like, Come me! And I was like, I'm sorry, Barry. I'm sorry. Can you put your cat on the mic? Uh, Skelter, go ahead. Ooh, very cute, very cute. I have other cats too. Pumpkin, you wanna say something? You wanna say something, Pump? She does not. She cares not. She cares not for this situation or conversation. How are you? It has been... Oh wow, it's been four months since you've been on Twitch. Did you like... Are you feeling better? Are you feeling better? 
Does Skelter have a silly zone too? I'm not sure if Skelter is even completely corporal. Like, uh, I, I'm not 100% sure what's going on with them. They're a cat. Cats are very watery and silly, and they like kind of slinking around and being, like, crazy. So, you know, I don't think about it that much. I don't think about it. Grimmy has reached her final form, scary cat lady. I'm not scary. Well, no, wait, I am scary. Yeah, fear me. Wait a second. Fear me, but I'm not, I'm not... I have cats, but that's not crazy. Cats were put on this planet to take from us and get little treats. Isn't that right, pumpkin pie? And they do it well. We feel better doing that. We feel better when we give them little treats and stuff. Do you have any idea how wonderful it is to have a little cat around you? You get to look at them and go, I love you, and they go, eh. Pumpkin, I love you. Good job, baby. Oh, she's so cute. I don't know if you heard her, but she's a little angel. She's a little angel. Good girl. Cats were put on this planet to keep us humble. Yeah. That was cute. She responds. She's a good girl. She's She's been a very sweet petite princess. She's been a very lovely girl. Sorry, Skelter. I know this is your special day. Thank you for sharing it with other cats. Cats evolved being cute in order to survive by having humans babysit them. That's so smart. They're so cute. They really are just like little babies. Like, humans have two... Like, the thing is, like, people used to, like, have children, it seems like. They used to have quite a bit more children, but it got so expensive, now they have to, like, get little cats and take care of them. Now it's just like, you can have a kid and that's gonna be, like... What, like, $400,000 over the course of their life? Or... Or... A cat. And they'll be so fluffy and so precious. Yeah, I guess that is the crux of the crazy cat lady thing. Yeah, never mind. Casanovix, thank you so much for being here for five months. I appreciate that. I appreciate it very much, thank you. And thank you so much again, Alpha. That's that's very nice of you. I appreciate you guys being here. Point proven, she is clearly a spooky cat lady. There you go, that's slightly better. How many cats do you guys have? If it's zero, you guys are missing out. If it's more than two, you guys are probably going through it. Two, two, one, six, three, one, three, zero. Oh, zero. Six is quite a few. I hope you're doing good. One, one, zero, one, one, three. You have zero cats? Three, zero. I've got one stray I take care of. Ooh. Ooh. Wait. I've read that the main drive for millennials buying a house is so their pets have more space. That's so sweet. Oh, that's so nice. I like that seven. Holy flip. Have you ever been to a cat cafe, Grimmy? Yes, I'd like to go back to one, too. Whenever I think about, like, um, how do I put this? Life being really heavy and harsh and having way too much going on, I think maybe I could just eventually go to a cat cafe and relax and drink water and look at them. And then come back home and let my cat smell them. And they'd be like, where were you? What is this? What is this? You couldn't hang out with us? Like, that'd be kind of nice. Used to be six, that's still quite a few. I'm, I'm happy you're taking care of them so well. Um, one decided, like, living with a neighbor that doesn't have any other cat. I like that November. They they I can't believe your cat divorced you. That's so sad. I'm I'm very sorry about that, but I guess they're happier. You can still visit them. Oh my goodness. I I talked about getting a cat with my therapist and she was like, you'll be healthier with a dog. Uh don't do that to yourself. Like cats are some kind of curse. Oh cats are lovely. Cats are angels. Pumpkin sleeps in my arms every night like a little plushie. She's so sweet. She lets me hug her. You have, like, you under- you- you misunderstand cats' complex natures if you think that they won't love you. You have to be very gentle, very sweet, and look them in the eye and go, I love you, very constantly. And give them space when they need it, and don't, like, ever push them in ways that they don't want. They're very sweet creatures, though. But dogs are also very nice. They're a bit needy, though. Uh, we have just heard the story of someone whose cat divorced them. I'm sorry that your cat left you. It is really funny, though, that they were just like, hmm, it's kind of nicer over here. I don't think you're giving me the attention that this person does. Yeah, I think, I think I'm moving out. Yeah, and you were just like, go, go ahead. You're, you're going to be happy. That's fine. Dogs love you unconditionally. Cats have opinions. Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't know. My cats love me. They have opinions, but they, they're so sweet. And they're so gentle. They've been so kind to me. I don't know. I think cats are okay. I also realize this music is very loud. There we go. 
Oh, oh, dogs will force you to go outside and get exercise, which can be a benefit if you're having trouble getting outside. That's true. Although I'd feel quite bad if, like... Oh, cats aren't domesticated, therefore you can't treat them like you would any other animal you control. Oh yeah, you don't control cats. Cats just kind of do their thing. Right, Pumpkin? Yeah, she's doing her thing. She's doing her thing. We had an orange move out many years ago. Didn't like other cats having attention. Wow, so cats can divorce people pretty often. I'm happy that all of, like, my cats are very sweet to each other. Like, Pumpkin even plays with, like, the two little kittens. It's The day she played with the kittens was the best day of my life. I thought she was gonna be too afraid to do that forever. She's so scared of everything. Of everything. And every time she, like, so much as hears, like, the chair move that I'm in, she'll go, like... And just get completely silent and terrified. Poor Pumpkin. But she actually played with them. It was so sweet. Oh, thank you, self-aware can opener, for continuing your sub from Gaming Bleach. That's very nice of you. What a horrible time, though. Um, but 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 again, thank you, Casanovix, for being here for five months, and thank you so much, self-aware can opener, for 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 being here. Um. Uh, that would be a really rough time, though. That sounds like some sort of vision you'd have on um Selvia, if you guys are familiar with it. I'm new here, I found you through- Oh, that's a lovely- I love- That's very nice of you, thank you. I appreciate it. Over human history, we had to train dogs only once, but we almost messed up training cats- What? Wow, interesting. Sounds like my Vinny baby got diagnosed with anxiety, he's a scaredy cat- Yeah, I don't know what to do. She's gotten a lot better over time, but it takes years for her to make much progress. She's okay, though. She sleeps in my arms every night now. She's a good kitty. Aren't you, pumpkin? Aren't you, pumpkin? She's just a little nervous. Um, peyote? Is that what it's called? Maybe. I just know that, like, if you take salvia, like... I've never tried it before, and I never, ever, 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 ever would. This sounds like such a bad problem. Like, people don't understand that, like, it would, like, make you feel horrible and, like, terrified, but... Some people take salvia- Also, hi, Yano! Some people take salvia, and then they, um... It stretches their consciousness into, like, feeling like it's years and, like, they're, like, a fence or, like, a light post or, like, a grasshopper or something like that. And, like, they just live out being that thing and being like, man, no one will ever know what happened to me. I got turned into a fence and I'm sentient and no one will ever know. This is so sad. That's so sad. Oh, also, that's ha that's nice, Happy Old Boy. I'm glad your kitty's doing well somewhere. Um, this is a cat announcement, yes. Although, oh. Oh, never mind, it's actually almost time. Um, Skelter worked on a little something for you. It might be really loud initially, um, but I'll try to adjust it before it destroys you. Salvia made you go into third person mode when you smoked it. See, that sounds cool. Did you also feel like death? Because I assume you also felt like death. Um, my youngest cat is a little raspy meow that made her sound like an old lady. Oh, she's adorable. That's so cute. They slip into the mind of a fish for a few thousand years. See, that doesn't sound fun to me. All the time I've been around cat for my sister, she had- Oh, you had th she had three cats. Um, and didn't care if they stay, if they left the house, she wouldn't bother- Wait, if they left the house, she wouldn't bring them back? But those are her babies. Maybe I'm just really attached to cats. Oh. Oh. Huh. Oh, wow. It sounds like cats have also been, like, good, like, buddies during, like, times of crisis. This is crazy. I got turned into a plushie and all I got was psychosis. Well, Skelter's not going to have psychosis. Skelter might be psychosis. I'm not sure what Skelter is. They're a perfectly normal cat, that's for sure. Um. But they, they do, d no, you're fine. I'm sorry. That's, that's rude of me. Skelter's a perfectly normal cat. And Skelter made a perfectly normal video to illustrate that they are a normal cat. So I'm going to let that play now. Um, I don't know how he got this footage. I guess he went somewhere. I don't know. Skelter is very strong and very weird, and I don't fully comprehend it. Skelter, no Helter. I don't know where Helter is. Helter's been gone for like a while. Skelter's been gone for like a while, but we don't need to worry about that. Okay. Everyone, sorry if this blasts your eardrums out. Sorry if this isn't fitted correctly.
she do that? That what a cute little time though. Look at that. Oh. So there you go. Yeah, you shouldn't watch that on Salvia. It, there you go. Um, did you sing that? Yes. Yes. Thank you very much, Skelter, for um for letting me be a part of your beautiful trailer. I, I hope that you enjoyed it. Um Skelter is going to be spreading himself across this dimension and maybe more i don't know what he gets up to he goes places though but if you would like to see him and if you would like to have a little skelter around you you can now go and see if makeshift can assist you with that in about i mistimed it about uh maybe about a minute so g give it a minute and then you can see <laughs> but i hope you enjoy it there you go uh, Skelter is a, a little guy now. Skelter is, um... Let me see here, actually. I think it's close enough to time. I think it's close enough to time to show you this. And if it's not, I'll get killed. It's two minutes away. My singing is very nice, but sort of very... That's very nice of you. That's exactly what women want to hear, unironically. Unironically. Please enjoy the beautiful stylings of this Skelter doll. This is the real Skelter, the real McCoy. He's decided to, um, to split himself off a hundred thousand times, I guess. So, yeah. I'm going to now... It's, it, it, I guess it'll be, I have sub-15 seconds. Okay, great, okay. 15. 14. 13. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. Seven. I probably need to give it more time because, uh, the six, five, four, three. It ended for me. Oh, wait. Six, five, four. Okay, it's different for everyone here. Check it out. Check it out. Yo! You can now see the makeshift plush, I think. It says it's at zero. It says it says it's up for me. Yay! There we go! You can see him! He's real! There you go. So, I'm very excited about this. Um, I should probably also give one of these away, like, pretty quickly. Like, I, I wanna, I wanna do that at some point. Like, they're very cute. That boy's gonna be deep fried? You, I would not try that. Um, I wonder what the back looks like? Oh, you can see! It's on the website now. You can actually see that they got his tail perfectly. I think, I think, I think, I think he's going to look very, very, very handsome no matter where he goes. Skeltner has witnessed a whore. I, I think Skelter is the concept of whore and destruction and unknowing and knowing and flesh slowly dissipating and like, you know, kind of drifting apart, but also coming together into a mass of consciousness. Skelter's very cute. A perfectly normal cat. I like them. He's a cat, though. He is a cat. Oh, oh, he's a kitty. He's a kitty. He's so cute. He's so smart. He is so friendly. Wow, you guys already ordered it? Holy flip. Holy crud. Well, I hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, in no way, shape, or form do you feel like you feel like you, you should you... In no way, shape, or form should you feel like you have to have one? These are all sentient, by the way, so, um, also keep that in mind. You probably don't want your house haunted, but it will be haunted. They will move on their own, probably. I can't make any writ- like, I can't make any, um, what's the word? Um, confirmations that you'll be safe in your own home after getting one, I'm just letting you know. Also, hello, Professor! Thank you for the 100 bits! How have you been? I hope you're doing well! Also, thank you so much, Arkham, for gifting a sub! Yo! And thank you very much, Very Rare Player, for being here for 14 months! Hope the stream goes well- thank you! I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you enjoy it. This is a limited time pre-order. Um, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, if if it's under two hundred, uh, I will I will buy the remainder. You don't need to worry. <laughs> don't do it because you're worried about that. I will I will make sure that it sells enough. Did I miss the cat's announcement? Yes. Um, but Skelter, go ahead, take it away. I'm so happy for you. There you go. Oh, he's so smart. He's so smart. Did you hear her? 
<laughs> well, I'm very happy about that. Skelter didn't say anything about your mother. Did you say something about his mother? Uh, oh, okay. Well, um, there you go. What's the cat's name? This is Skelter. They've they've been here for as long as I can remember. So I love them. I love Skelter. Hello, Crispy. How are you? You talked in my head. Good for you. I don't know if it's in your head though. I think he just talks like like most cats do. We need a translator. He's just a cat. It's, I. Oh, put a worm in your brain and made you a great chef? That's so cool! Skelter, I didn't know you could do that! That's wonderful! Yeah! Skelter is very talented. He's a very talented little guy. I heard, uh, my wee burns calling out to me? What's wee burns? Skelter burned you? That sounds like Skelter. Um, why? Let's see. The plush that came up on my page made of meat. Oh, he's not made of meat. Although, if you're seeing, like, just, like, chunks of meat, I don't know. Uh, you may want to lay down for a few hours and not contemplate anything about your existence. It's okay. We... We babies, kids. I don't understand. Are you Scottish? I'm not going to be able to understand you. That's a language far beyond what I can comprehend as an American. You're very intelligent and very cool, and I'm very stupid. You have to understand. The Skelter flesh is so cute. I'm very glad you like it. Thank you. I'm very glad you like it. Skelter is splitting apart and he is going to be in your home protecting you from all evil. Although if you cannot afford to or if you do not care to purchase one, please do not worry. Skelter is also capable of being very invisible and he will be in your house. He will be in your house and he will see you and he will know you and he will look upon you. Isn't that cute? He will look upon you. Oh. And he'll protect you, oh, even if you don't have one. So don't worry. He's just out and about, and he's going to try to do his best. Can I put funny hats on him? Yeah, he doesn't seem to mind that at all. In fact, he seems to like little hats and costumes and stuff. There you go. Sounds very reliable. He's a very reliable little fellow. Will he help with rent? I don't know if he's capable of that. He's never given me any money, but, um... It's possible he has money. I don't think he does. I don't think he does. Hmm. He can definitely flay people alive, but I guess he draws the line at, like, you know, contributing a little bit to the household. That's cats for you. That's cats for you. Um, I think you should probably pay your taxes. Uh, I guess he could incinerate someone from the IRS, but he's a cat, so it's much more likely that he'll just, like, I don't know, get outside and try to go find stuff on the ground if it comes to that. Um... Your credit card does not want to buy him, he's so scary. Well, maybe he's going to infect your household and start chasing you. If if you get a bad sense from adopting Skelter, or, um... Well, I guess you can't stop him. So... He's gonna be in your house. He'll find a way in there. Whether or not you, you allow him to, he's gonna find a way. So, either way, don't worry about it. It's one of those things you don't worry about. Also, thank you, Chrono Striker, for being here for four months! Thank you! I can't have anything house- Oh, your mother has a sixth sense and is religious? Sorry, but he is better somewhere safe. Would she get upset if you had a cat stuffed animal? I'm very sorry. I hope that your situation gets better. Um... I hope that everything gets better. I'm sure Skelter as an invisible creature will be staring at you at night, hoping that you're okay. Unless you have mental issues, then that won't happen and don't freak out. Sorry. Uh, is Skelter hypoallergenic? I'm allergic to cats. I'm not sure. Um, I would say if you touch him incorrectly, your hands might melt off, so... Be careful, and, um, support him gently from the bottom. That's what I would say. Um, also, uh... He's very independent. If you get him and put him down somewhere, maybe he'll be somewhere else, like, a few minutes later. Just be careful of that. Um, you know, and if that does happen, don't panic. Um, don't panic at all. Just, you know, know that he is somewhere else because he wants to be. Um, if there's more than one of him all of a sudden, uh, that's okay too. Sometimes he likes to have multiple versions of him just kind of scurrying about. I'd say after about five, start worrying. Because he, he'll start worrying after about five, because I think at that point something could be wrong. But I think, I think anything less than that is not going to affect you too negatively. Um, and then, I guess, uh, if he's just suddenly gone, that's- that's okay, too. Sometimes he just likes to go for, like, a few weeks at a time. Maybe a month. He'll always be back. 
Um, in fact, it kind of feels like he's always there and he never really leaves, so there you go. And then, um, what I would also say is, you know, he's sometimes invisible. But I'm, I'm reading off the warnings at this time, he is sometimes invisible. Just be careful of that as well. Um, when he is invisible, he can definitely still see you. Hmm. He can definitely still judge you, so don't commit any crimes against, like, you know, animals or children. Um, yeah. I mean, you shouldn't do that in general, but, you know, he can definitely see you. Um, what else is there? Oh, Skelter's also followed around by some sort of, like, evil creatures occasionally. That's, that's kind of just gonna have to be the thing you, you deal with in life after. Like, I'm, I'm still saying that it's a good investment to, like, have makeshift ship you one, but, like, you know, it may... You may get a little murdered by some sort of otherworldly creature. Th this isn't this isn't something to worry about, though. Skelter's pretty good about making sure that doesn't happen. Also, thank you, Ber... 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 Bren... Brenaris. Brenaris, for being here for 11 months. How are you? Are you doing well? That's kind of you. What about feeding after midnight? You can feed him. You can feed him. He eats food all the time. He loves food. Of any type. Um... If the creatures find you that are, like, you know around just just you know just vibe just just try to be polite uh the things that are around you might also know every like bad or good thing you've ever done in your life and weigh it like on a like you know metaphysical scale that you're constantly aware of like you'll feel very seen and very looked at and very judged um they'll probably try to escape but they can probably still find you so stuff like that you know just just be okay just be okay with it and then, you know, you might eventually not be physically there anymore. I don't, I, I'm not going to talk about this anymore. You'll, you'll see. You'll see. It's fine. It's fine. There you go. What does Skelter do when I bring out the crucifix? Probably try to look at it. He likes looking at things. He likes... He likes getting very involved in looking at things. I'll say that much. That's kind of his thing. I can't wait to have Skelter watch over me when I sleep. That's wonderful! Yo! Good for you! Exactly. He'll watch over you, and if you cannot afford one, or if you do not want one in your house, I'm sure he'll watch over you even without that. I'm sure he's going to watch you for the rest of your life. There you go. There you go. Yay! Yay! I also hope you enjoy it, Saftra. And, oh my god, wait a second, a lot of you guys have bought one already. Holy flip. Well, Skelter will be in your house staring at you! Yo! Does he need a litter box? No. Um... I've never seen him excrete waste before, ever. Huh. He hides it well? I guess so. I guess he buries it. Where does the food go, then? I'm... uh... Not sure. Good to see you, Toki! Ayakashi, how are you? The Abyss? I'm not sure. I don't really think about these things. I don't... Do you? Do you think about where you're... Like, when you feed your pet where their waste goes? It's just kind of unsanitary. Like, I know we all have to scoop and stuff, but... Maybe Skelter's is getting in the litter boxes and I'm not looking. Maybe I should get him one of those, like, robotic litter boxes that, like, will, will tell me how much he weighs and, like, how much he eats and stuff like that. There you go. Oh, no, no! Uh, Newman! It wasn't Pumpkin's announcement. This was Skelter's announcement. He, um, he has, uh, Skelter! Skelter! Can you come back out? Not, not you, Skelter. You're fine, you're fine. Um, you don't have to leave Skelter, but... This Skelter. There we go. That Skelter. This additional skelter- two skelters! Like I said, I any less than five is okay. Five, you're probably- I don't know. I would feel uncomfortable around five skelters. I would feel uncomfortable. There you go. Two splinters? Two whores? Two witnesses? No, just two skelters. Fifty skelters? I'm gonna buy fifty skelters. I bought six, is that bad? Yes, probably. Um, just watch out for your skin, and if it starts to, like, peel off, or if you wake up and, like, you're not in the same place anymore, and, like, you know, there's terrifying visions of destruction and, like, your own death, 
um... How do I put it? Um... Well, you probably don't have much to worry about for long. It's okay! Yay! Don't worry about it! Don't worry about it! What if I buy five of him? Would five turn into twenty-five? It's possible. Anything is possible. But... You would probably be, uh, ripped apart before then. Fifty sold? Let's go- Whoa! Congratulations, Skelter! Good job! I'm sure he's very happy, and I'm sure he's going to have a wonderful time in your house staring at you. Skelter has awakened the dormant demons within my house. Oh. Are visions of impending doom covered under the warranty? Um, they're included. I don't know if covered is the right word. Uh... What happens if he gets wet after midnight? Oh, he'll be fine. He's a good little guy. Don't worry about it. Skelter taught me how to read? Wow. I didn't know you could read. That's incredible. He's very smart. He has been summoned to my house. I hope that you enjoy hanging out with them there. I hope that you enjoy. I'm very happy, though. I know that this took about two years. Like, um... I know that people were asking for about two years when Skelter was going to split apart uh, at the seams and begin invading your homes. So... About two years is what it took, and um, the process was very quick once everything started, so very happy. Very happy. And then I think, um, I think Skelter will be getting to you guys around October. That's crazy. That's so soon, my goodness. My goodness gracious. Can't believe it, Skelter, you're gonna be out there staring at everyone. I hope that he brings you a lot of good luck. I once told Skelter someone was being mean to me, the next day I didn't see them at all. That's wonderful. I think. Um, hmm. Finally a cat that won't make me sneeze. <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. That's the saddest thing in the world. If any, if only I had money. Well, if you don't have money, Skelter can still stare at you while you sleep. He'll just be invisible. Don't worry. He'll always be there. My birthday month. Congratulations on your birthday month being the best month. Hell, heck yeah, heck yeah. That's wonderful. Do you have any lovely plans for Halloween for your birthday? I'm not familiar with this stuff. Are there only 200 or it orders be an excess be fine? Yes, uh, you, you're fine. You don't need to like immediately scream and like jump at the opportunity right now. Um, it's not like once these 200 skelters are gone, he will stop self-replicating. No sir, Bob. No, he's not gonna self-replicate anytime soon. Sorry. Like that's not what's gonna happen. Um, what'll happen is if it reaches 200, they commit to making the plush like mass market. And that's it. So, and it will get to 200 because if it doesn't get enough, I will just go and buy enough to make sure that it gets there because... Because I love Skelter. And I want to have 100,000 of him. Even if it's more than 5, I'll, I'll take the risk of like all of my skin flaying off, don't worry. How's it slouching, gamers? Ow. 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 Well, now I remember I was slouching. Thank you. Thank you. Ow. 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 My spine. Ow. 200 replications is the event horizon. After that, things get interesting. Yeah. Can you send me one of them plushies? Hey, Zoran, what's up? I will, I will. I'll, I'll get as many as I can. If anyone, if anyone wants one, I'll, I'll also try to have raffles for it. They're very cute, aren't they? Also, hello, Zoran the Bear. If you guys haven't checked him out, he's a big fan of tabletops. Very powerful. Just arrange all the skelters so only five can be within visible range at a time. GG, easy. Heck yeah. I want to replace my ball pit with those plushes. Yo, you have a ball pit? Whoa. Holy heck. Cool. Wow, congratulations. My only other plush is Mischief. Ooh. I have a few plushies. I have a few. I have Saya from Saya na Uta. I have Eeb from Eeb. I have Snake and Otacon from Metal Gear Solid 1. Not 2, it's Metal Gear Solid 1 style. I have Meryl. Oh, I have Skelter actually. Wait a second, I do have Skelter. Skelter! He's so cute. Skelter, Skelter, Skelter. He's a little guy. I sleep with him in my arms now. I don't know if I should tell people that. But... He's very nice. When Pumpkin's not there, I got Skelter. I do have a Seiya no Uta plush. Just USA was very kind and gave it to me after I was sad they sold out of them. And then the next day, they were packaging one, and it just said, 
This is going to make some insufferable woman very happy, and I just thought... Is that me? I am happy, though. I am happy. <laughs> but was that- was that a thinly veiled, like, Grimmie's insane? If it were, I would be okay with that. I love their products. I love their stuff. Well, does Skelter get along with other animals? Skelter seems fine with other animals. Skelter doesn't eat other animals. I think he- he's eaten people before, but I've never seen him eat an animal. But I guess animals are- people are animals in the grand scheme of things, so, you know, I guess he has eaten animals, just... people. Um... Welp. I saw him eat my dog. He would not eat your dog. He likes dogs. Well, he doesn't... He doesn't like dogs that much. I want revenge? I- I don't think Skelter ate your dog, but if you want to try to- If you want to try to pin that on Skelter, go ahead. He's gonna get you. No, 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 he won't get you. Sorry, that was rude of me. That was rude of me. Did you post on Twitter? I should've. I think it did. Oh, did I mess it up? Oh, I did. I messed it up. It was supposed to go out at 7.30. Whoops! Uh... Blah, 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 blah. Wait, blah, 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 blah. Uh... One second. Scheduled. How did it not go up? 7.30 p.m. on Sunday. Now I know why. Now I know why. Now I know why. Okay, um, yep, that- that makes sense. Wait, it's Sunday, right? Wait, wait, it's Friday? Oh, okay. Well, this is the 28th. This is the 28th, right? No, it's not. It's the 26th? Wait, what? Wait, what? Huh? It's the 28th of June. Oh, this is July. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. Yep, okay, it's out on Twitter. There you go, there you go, okay, yep. Yep, okay, yep, 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 yep. okay, never mind, never mind, yep. Okay, yep, yep, okay, cool. I am in the future, I came from the 29th, yep, 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 okay, yep, yep, alright, yep, yep, there you go, yep, yep, alright, there you go. Exposing yourself as a time traveler- I just messed up, I thought June and July. Did we figure out a name for, like, June and July last time? Was it Junal? Jaloon? It was Jaloon! It was Jaloon! I just got messed up because I was such a big fan of Jaloon. I'm a big fan of Jaloon. There you go. Wait, did I accidentally delete it? How'd I do that? Oh, I did- I did something crazy. I don't even know what I did at this point. <laughs> I'm sorry, Skelter! I'm trying to upload it, Skelter! I'm sorry. No, no, it's working, Skelter. It's on Twitter. It's on Twitter. I somehow it didn't- I, it somehow it made it there. Okay, cool. But I'm very happy about this. I can't believe it worked out. I honestly never thought I'd see the day when Skelter became a little guy. There we go. He's beautiful. Um, you don't have a link to the plush on the tweet. I have now replied with it. Hopefully people will find it. I'm stupid. Welp. Hopefully it goes okay. Woo! I don't know. Woo! Don't worry about it. Woo! I'm very happy it's all okay. I think. Somehow. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, yeah! Woo! 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 It all worked out! Guys, this cat looks a bit different. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. That's very rude to say to a young little kitty like that. How could you? Sadly, a Skelter plush is- It's okay. I'm so sorry, Lucho. Please know that Skelter will be watching you as you sleep regardless. They'll just be invisible, but they'll still do their best to take care of you. I'm very sorry to- To you, though, if you cannot- Get one, or if it's, uh, if it's too much of a luxury, or if, like, you're just disgusted by the look of, like, plush stuffed animals. Yes, Skelter has announced that they have... A new doll! I will actually make that the title. Skelter is a marketable... Cosmic... Entity... In your home. Yay! There you go, Skelter! 
There you go. Is that how you spell all those words? I think it is. Just let me make sure. Yeah. Oh, wait. I should probably... Uh, yeah, meh. Did Skelter sell out? No, no, no. No, they can't sell out. You don't need to worry. In no way, shape, or form is this a thing where it's like... In no way, shape, or form is it a thing where, like, you need to worry about that kind of stuff. Um... He's not for putting milk in and throwing at a wall. He's a good little guy. But if you need to, it's okay. But, um... Hello, Dave! How are you? How are you? He's a good little guy, and he's not gonna... He, you were talking about putting milk in him! He's not gonna be here! What do you mean? No cat's gonna be... I am ill? Oh no, I hope you're okay. Please, please feel better. Everyone, please send some good... Emotions towards Dave. Dunk him in milk and stick him in the microwave. No! Of course he laughed! Can I swing him at my enemies like a mace? No! No! It's okay, it's okay. It's alright, it's alright. Oh my gosh. Um. Is Skelter edible? Not that I know of. You'll probably start throwing up all of your lungs and stuff. Not just one of them. Skelter, not going to add you to my plushie collection. I hope that I hope that Skelter gets along with all of you guys. Skelter, open a sword duel on first of July, three AM specifically. I don't think Skelter can hold a sword, but it's a good question to ask. Why not? There you go. Can he give people the evil eye? Um, probably. Do you mean like can he curse people? We can try. Can I get it to you and then get it signed? That would be cool. But that's I don't know if Skelter can sign it. Like he he doesn't have little arms, but. I can try to. Um, okay. Uh, if you would like to curse your enemies, I think instead you should probably think, Ah! I hope that they are okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. Move on! That kind of stuff. So, I think that's kind of like the evil eye. But, better? If Skelter... Smelt, did he- No! Skelter would not smelt nor dealt. No. Can Skelter make the shareholders happy? Um, Skelter is not affiliated with any publicly traded company, nor will he ever be. So, he's- he's probably okay. Uh... I don't know, that's kind of like a nightmare beyond all recognition, probably. Uh... Sign them, sign them, sign them, sign them! I can try to sign a few! That would be pretty cool. Like, maybe, um... Maybe I can find a way to, like, get some signed ones for giveaway? Like, I could definitely do that. I could- I could get them and then give them away. I wish I had more, though, like, that I could just have already ready to go. It kind of is sad. Didn't I, uh, didn't Skelter work at IBM? Irritable Bowel Movement? Um, does Skelter shoot a laser from his eyes like a beholder? Skelter can do a lot of things. I think he can just, he, he does a lot of murdery stuff, it's true, but, um, very rarely. He's a very, he's a very, very nice cat. Um, so, don't worry, don't worry. Can Skelter help me overthrow a democratically elected government? Uh... Why, why Skelter? Can Skelter do my taxes? Skelter's a cat. You shouldn't let a cat do your taxes. Skelter shall be defeated on the 1st of July? Oh, 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 okay. Does Skelter eat brains? Not, not that I know of. Like, maybe if it were like a normal, like, delicacy where he was, he wouldn't be rude or anything. I think most cats eat brains. But, um... Make a Skelter pen, but just what? Why? Is Skelter making his own crypto coin? Skelter will no never be referred to as a uh, crypto guy. Uh, how many bits do I gotta donate to get it signed? You don't need to worry about that. I'll, I'll try to find a way to, to get them signed. I can sign them, but Skelter can't. He doesn't have arms. Um, will Skelter float around? It depends on if you catch him. He does float around quite often, but if you watch him too much, he'll probably try to stop doing it in front of you. He's a very fickle little animal. Uh, does Skelter push things off tables as well? He is a cat, so yes, um, there is the possibility. Is Skelter bigger on the inside? Mm. Yes, I would say so. I would say so. Will Skelter help me find love? Hopefully. Um, you probably need to accept yourself and love yourself first. Take care of yourself in the way that you would want to be treated, and then you will find love in due time. That's, that's, that's my recommendation. Go for it. Uh, what did the cat say? Um... Well? 
You can hear him. He's got a lot to say. He's a little guy, isn't that nice? Could he defend me from a Boeing if I be from Boeing if I become a whistleblower? Why are you guys getting so weird lately? This is interesting. This music is groovy. This music is from Silent Hill. If you make one pen, you can have it be extremely rare and have it as a prize and people fight over it. Boom, you've created a legendary item. I don't want that to happen, though. I want everyone to have something. Okay, they didn't say anything about your father, this little guy. Hello! Hello, uh, Dioxis. How was your stream? Are you doing well? We learned it from you, Grimmy? Oh, yeah, I did teach you about a bunch of conspiracy theories, didn't I? Boeing airplanes are scary, though. I don't know if you should whistleblow them. I think you should just be less likely. I don't know. Oh, it's the first stream you've ever done? Oh, congratulations! Yo! That's wonderful! Congratulations! Guys, this was the first stream that they ever did. Please, go and check them out. They worked hard. I'm sure it was very scary, but you did great. Also, thank you so much, Fake Lawyer, for gifting them a sub. Thank you. That's so nice of you. I've never been happier once I was grimming killed. That's... Scary, but I, I appreciate it, Oats mate. Thank you. Chat reflects streamer. Do you think all these cyst related users subbed out of nowhere? Do you also have a brain cyst? Skelter has insulted both my parents, ate my precious dog, he slapped me in the face. I don't feel like those are things Skelter would do, but I guess a cat would do that. Will Skelter translate Latin books on alchemy? Um. To what? He He's a cat. I don't know if he can. I don't know if he knows English. He knows the English he says in, like, you know, when he's talking to you, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like normal English, does it? It might be. I'm not sure. We should have some hot cocoa. Hot cocoa would be really good. Let's just think about hot cocoa. Skelter rolled on my gotcha banner, banner and lost the 50-50. I'm so sorry! What? Don't... What? <laughs> you, you don't have to do gotcha. What about instead of a nice gacha, you have a nice hot cocoa? Every time you want to spend like $400 on gacha, you can have a nice cocoa. Although I spent like $80 getting the, um, the tiger from Mahjong Soul, so I can't really... talk. <laughs> can't really, I can't really just act like I'm, I'm above it all. Can Skelter turn into a gacha? Skelter would probably not be a gacha. Skelter can be a plush doll, but I'm gonna draw the line if he gets into that gotcha stuff. I don't want- I don't want you out there like- I don't want you out there trying to get the youth to spend hundreds of dollars on you. Okay? I don't want them to end up with a PNG. Come on. Mm-hmm. Coco doesn't come with an anime girl PNG? Hmm. What if it had an anime girl on the packet? There you go. There you go. Skelter will now- not be gotcha, but Grimmy's signature would be... <laughs> I guess it would be hard to sign all of them. Mm -hmm. I could probably sign like five of them. Skelter's in my, uh, my signature though. If you've ever had something signed by me, I know it's only happened for like six, seven people, but if you've ever had something signed by me, you know that Skelter's a big part of my signature. Yeah! Whistleblowers protect the majority of people from a small... Wait, wait what? Uh, from crushing us like bugs because they can? Oh god. Uh, uh, that's probably true. Um, I think we should probably just stop going on Boeing airplanes and cancel our flights and say that we need to be moved due to uh, safety concerns or religious reasons. And if they don't honor that, then start suing them or something. That would probably be your best bet. Actually, don't do that. I feel like now I'm gonna get murdered. Boeing airplanes are wonderful and I'm gonna about to go on one run right now and I love them. They're my favorite. In fact, I'm gonna go on one back to back. I'm gonna get on a Boeing, and then just because I love to fly, I'm gonna get back on a Boeing, and I'm gonna fly home. Yes, that's my that's my go-to plan for this weekend. Goodbye, everyone. I won't be streaming Saturday or Sunday. There we go. We're okay. Yay! You ordered the plushie? Well, this is still a plushie announcement stream. Yay! Ah, oh, it's still a plushie announcement stream. Yay! Um, yay! Suing doesn't work for a large corporation where money is merely an object? Yes, and that's why we shouldn't do it. That's why I don't endorse this, and that's why I said that as a joke. Remember what happened to Ghosty? She got taken down by the government for talking about how the moon landing was fake, and it's true. Twitch didn't like that kind of stuff. 
Twitch didn't like that Ghosty was telling us the real stuff when it came to the moon landing. Come back. Uh... Wait, what? You came back, discovered I have three brain tumors, you saved my life- Oh my god, wait! What? Are you okay? I'm so sorry. But congratulations? For legal reasons, that was a joke. Wait, when it came to the moon landing? I- I don't know, Ghosty convinced me. Where is Uncle Ghosty nowadays? Uncle Ghosty is streaming right now if she's c completely addicted to the Final Fantasy XIV glamour system right now. It's a joke, Rumi? It's a joke, Rumi, okay. It's a joke. None of us, none of us, none of us, we all love Boeing. We all love Boeing airplanes. We, in fact, all of us would love to be on a Boeing airplane right now. Give me, give me a Boeing airplane any day of the week. When I see Boeing, I think, ooh, I'm gonna have a good flight with good people. That's what I think. That's what I say. That's what I say. Please don't murder me. I don't... Shh. Don't say that. Shh. Shh. Don't say that. I support holding corpor corporations accountable for their many crimes. Oh, as do I, but I think Boeing has nothing to worry about. Shh. I'm gonna get murdered. I'm gonna get murdered. I suggest a plushie. Um, oh, that's nice. Oh, well, that's so nice of you. I... I suggest a plushie that's on... a uh, throne that's up for a couple more days if you'd like it. I'm gonna go check it out. They have a lot of really cute plushies on this website. I have been... so... annoying. <laughs> I have been bothering the poor people at Makeshift for like a... I think around... I think since the moment... Like, I found out right after the campaign ended, but... Tiki Taka from Yuppie Psycho was one of their dolls they made, and I did not notice because I was not paying attention. And I was like, what are the odds? And ever since that happened, I have been bothering them so much. To the point where I was like, yes, I'm glad this is going so well. I'm glad you like the design. Do you have any Tiki Takas left? Can you send me a Tiki Taka doll, please? I love them. Please. 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 Please, 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 please. Please, please, I'm begging you. Please, please, please. And so far they've been... Ignoring that. Which is fair. I think the normal response to someone behaving in such a way is to... Go, haha, okay. We'll try. O okay. You're being a menace? How dare you? I'm not a menace. I'm just... Annoying that I'm being a menace, I'm sorry. But it's... A, it's... Anyways. I'm very happy that Makeshift has been so wonderful, and thank you. I will go and check that out right now. Oh, wow. Wait, Arkham, that sucks. I'm so sorry. Uh... They can eat a whole bang of... Uh, a whole bag of those? That's very fair. I think that, um... In your one specific situation, telling someone to eat an entire bag of, um, Wangus is, uh, more than acceptable. Does Skelter like grape nuts? If so, that- You- you can restuff Skelter with grape nuts, but I don't know if he'll like that. Um, I've acquired my Skelter- I'm very happy that you like him. Please enjoy. Please enjoy. I want Mr. Boeing to come to my house and kill me himself! <laughs> oh! Okay! That's- that's terrifying. Uh, alright. Well, oh, okay, it's been one hour. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get myself a nice little thing of cocoa. And then I'm gonna come back. And then we can play a video game. While we think more about how we love Boeing and they aren't going to kill us. So, I will be back in about five minutes. And we will begin- we can play- maybe we can play Save the Princess or we can play the rest of- uh, Signalis, or we can- we'll- we'll figure it out. So, but we can't start those words! We all love Boeing! We all love Boeing! Yay! I'm going to be right back! Please don't kill me! One moment! Yay!
I've got my Coco. Also, hi, Kaigoji. Hope you're having a good night, Grimbo. That's... That's Gar... There you... Groots. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> As a stream, I thought you were like, it's good to... It's been nice seeing your progress and growth. You're a sad streamer, and I was like, oh. Did you flash? I, I didn't use the restroom. I went to go get Coco. I like the atmospheric music. Thank you. I like it, too. How are you? How are you? I hope that you're all doing very, very well. I have been having a nice, relaxing night so far. Oh. Okay. Uh. Well, I forgot I had this on, so I guess enjoy it once more. And now I will remember. Now I will remember. I turned that one off, so now it won't come up every time that I come back to the scene. That was that was my mistake, but I'm, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I wish I... That was great! I wish I paid attention! No worries, no worries. Yay! Please forgive me if I've ever done anything wrong. Oh, a plush. <laughs> it's okay. You're not being judged by for your sins. Everyone's just going through life, and they've been doing a lot, and it's been hard. It's okay. It's okay. It happens. Forgive me, Father! There's nothing wrong! No one's trying to murder you right now. You you aren't being judged by a cosmic entity. Well, actually... You, you're not being judged too harshly by a cosmic entity. Look at it that way. There you go. I blacked out when it came to $30 I've been charged for my card to make ship. I deeply apologize. My cocoa is really good, though. Mmm. It has a giant marshmallow in it. it oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's lovely. There are some nice, lovely little things in life. I wish I had put more milk in it, though. I never put enough milk in. It's always too chocolatey. I like the more subtle flavors, you know? If you get something used to too chocolatey, then you're always going to want something really, really chocolatey. If you keep it low, then you're going to be satisfied with less. There you go. Um, how does Skelter wear the Infinity Gauntlet? What is he- what did you do? Skelter, what does that mean? What did you do? I don't know. I'm very sorry. That was like Gojo using Domain Expansion. Ooh, I want to watch more of that show. What type of milk do you use? I use oat milk. I use oat milk. Because I am extremely lactose intolerant. And oat milk tastes really good. Like, it tastes pretty darn decent. All of the other milks were okay, but when oat came along, everyone decided that was the best one all at once. It tastes a little oaty, but it's not too bad. In fact, it's it's very creamy and perfect. Can Skelter make me happy? He makes me happy, but he might not make you happy. Maybe he'll make you worse. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that is some delicious, delicious oat flavor. Oat flavor in my oat milk? It's oatily. Oatily, by the way. I love it. Oats have, um, 
teats? They do not. They, um, I don't know what they do to the oats, but it's delicious. Mm. There we go. F going floor gang for two seconds. My back needs it. I'm glad that it's helping your back, though. Maybe, maybe next time we can work on stretches to do on the floor. Although, I don't want to, I don't want to push you guys. I know that it's hard. I know that it's hard. Hi, Grimmy. Hello, Sneaky. How are you? I grew up in a, I, I, what a name. What a name. I grew up in a farming town. I've milked many oats on, on my time on the farm. Oh, that's lovely. How do you milk an oat? It, I don't know, but it's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes so good. Oh, man. Mmm. <sighs> very carefully, very carefully. Mmm. If Skelter were to be 3D scanned, would their file become a cognito hazard? I don't know, actually. I think he's fine. Just be nice to, like, plants and animals and, like, whatever, and he'll be fine. Just don't be rude. Don't cut in line in the grocery store, and why would anyone have a problem with you? There's no cognito hazards if you're polite. God wouldn't punish you, right? God might punish you. God wouldn't punish you, right? No, 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 no. Mmm. 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 I'm having a love affair with this cocoa. It's so good. Mmm. Hello, Jordan. How are you? Just watching Grimmy while sitting in a Final Fantasy XIV queue for ages. Ah, so you got the Dawn Trail. All of my friends have disappeared at once. All of them are gone. I, I, I can almost directly pinpoint the moment that they all started playing and stopped replying to me as much. And it's not a negative. I'm not saying it like, oh, how could they? I'm just like, oh, yep. Yep. Goodbye, everybody. Hello, Mr. Manderville. Uh, I got the plush. Let's go. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. Where are my manners? Good evening. Where are my manners? Good evening, all of you. Did you have a good day? What are you playing today? I've been thinking quite a bit about everything I need to do going forward, and I think I'm slowly figuring it out. I'm feeling very positive about it. Feeling very, very positive. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Also, yes, the update did take two days. So I think people went from like, oh man, oh man, oh man, I'm, I'm bored, I'll talk to all of my, oh, okay, blah, 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 to like, okay, bye. Which is very fair. Like they, it's almost like better, it's almost like better marketing in a way to like take it away from everyone for a little bit. Like just go like, you can't have any, no, no, it's gone for two days, no, no, it's gone. And then all of a sudden... Here you go. Hundreds of new hours of content. Go. Like, people must be going insane right now. I hope everyone enjoying it or waiting in queue to enjoy it has a wonderful time, though. Yeah. Hello, Apple. How are you? Blink twice Blink twice if Skelter has you at gunpoint? No, I would have gotten murdered a hundred times over if Skelter hadn't helped me. Skelter's amazing. Skelter's a good kitty. Mmm. Mmm. This is some good cocoa marshmallow. Mmm. Mm. I'm very happy that I get to be alive and drink hot cocoa and get to relax on a nice little day like this. I hope that you guys get to relax too. You're playing Genshin while queuing. Yo! Oh, thank you so much, Idol Iris. I hope that you enjoy it. I know that we also, um, we haven't had that much merch for quite a while. I know that we have the pastel melon stuff, which will be here forever. And if I could have this up forever, I would. So, unfortunately, I can't. But eventually, someday, maybe there will be a way to keep them up forever, somehow. All I have is ice cream. Stop flaunting your cocoa at us. Ice cream's good, though. I'm sorry that I'm flaunting it at you, but it's delicious. Will there be a hot sauce restock? Yes, actually. The website is coming along. Everything's going well in that regard. Mm. So, soon, it'll be... Mm, much uh, better functioning, too. But I thank you for your patience, and I am sorry about that. Mm. Oh, the heater's unbearable. You don't want to drink hot cocoa, then. Mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. The pastel what? Oh, right, sorry. I didn't, I didn't talk about this too much. I think I talked about it for one stream, and then people were like, what is it, Grimmy? Oh, you know, it's something. I'm, I'm kind of, I need to get better about that kind of stuff. Um, but I'd like to show you it if you would, if you would like to enjoy it. Let me show you Pastel Melon. 
This. This. This is the other piece of merchandise. This. This. Whoosh, whoosh. I like it. There's two designs. There's also a hoodie. It's from Pastel Melon. Oh, will you sell a Grimmy plush? I'm not sure when that will happen, but I would like to at some point. But it probably won't be for a little bit. Um, it'll probably be quite a bit from now, but I am going to try to regularly have merch coming out instead of just being like, it would be so cool if this were to happen, and then kind of forgetting about it a hundred times. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. You love the second one? That's wonderful. Thank you. Hmm. I'll take 200. I hope you enjoy it. That's very nice of you, but... Oh, you got promoted in the bakery? Yeah! Congratulations. Congratulations. I heard that's... This is just a... This is just a stream where we drink cocoa and I go like, Did you know I did this at one point and forgot about it? Here you go. I heard that Skelter loves gamer subs. Is there any truth to this? Do you like gamer subs? I don't know if it's for Skelter. But I do know that Fujoshi love it. And I do know that people that love Yaoi love gamer subs. This is not the right way to advertise it. Um, but if you would like to check it out, you can use code Grimmy for your gamer subs order because they are sponsoring VTuber Baggage, a show that I produce and make and it it's weird. But like, but here's the thing. They're sponsoring specifically the prizes for contestants, which is a bag of Yaoi. I like, I love you, I must like gamer subs. There you go. If you, if you have ever looked at those little cups or those sweatpants or those little, like, you know, random stuff on their website or their powders of various, various flavors, and you've thought, I'd like to order these, but I don't know which code to use because there are 8,000 of them, please consider using code either Voidling or Grimmy. Please use those or Chungas or Nyano. Or Kifu. Or... Michael, are you in here? Oh, wait. One of the cats needs to leave. There's a lot of different codes. There's a lot of different codes. One moment, one moment, one moment. Oh, it's okay, little man. One second, one second. One of the kitties needs to leave. Yes, code Chungas. Please, please go for that one as well. That's heavenly. One second, one second. There we go. Sorry about that. That was my roommate's cat. His mother had returned. Code... <laughs> Code Fent for Mari Mari underscore Ian. Hell yeah. Um, there's quite a few good gamer subs codes. I think, uh, I think there's also Boomer. There's, there's quite a few. Uh, but mine is Grimmy. Mine is just Grimmy. Because I wanted to make mine something you could remember. That's her code. I, I, I love Mari Mari underscore Ian. And she doesn't give a crap. She's gonna be herself. You better get with it or get out. Hell yeah. Mm. <sighs> Lovely. Fluffy tail for caught it. There's so many different ones. There's so many. Um, You have to reach like a certain amount of like... I'm not sure what, but like, and I also think that there's like, they help you calculate. One of the kittens is here. One second, one second. Sorry, Michael really wanted to be in here to eat pumpkin's food. But, um, but if you use code Grimmy, someday I might get a cup on Gamer Subs, but it's, it's unlikely, so. 
Well, it'll it'll work out possibly, but I wouldn't be like, go for it, just go, just do it. We're so close. But uh, if you would like to ever go for it, either way, I really appreciate. I really appreciate that they were willing to sponsor VTuber Baggage. That means a lot to me because I really like doing that show and now people can get a lot of yaoi. People are going to get all kinds of yaoi. Thanks to Gamer Subs. So they're going to get a bunch of yaoi and a bunch of Gamer Subs. It's going to be awesome. Hmm. Good for them. So if you're looking for yaoi and Gamer Subs, uh, you can watch VTuber Baggage. I don't know if I'm marketing that. VTuber Baggage is not about yaoi or, like, men fornicating. I should, um, I should probably clarify that. It's just the prize pool that people draw from. Okay, one second. Let me think about this. VTuber Baggage is about inviting VTubers on and letting them share their positive and fun baggage. There you go. Like, if I were to share something on VTuber Baggage, it might be that I accidentally sent one of my friends a yaoi book where, um, someone was fornicating with a body that was not alive, and, um, I unknowingly, I unknowingly sent her that. That's one of my baggages that I would probably put forward on that show. It's something embarrassing where you're just like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. To my credit, I didn't read it. I didn't create. I didn't read it. <laughs> you tuned into normal stuff. I didn't read it. Um, I, I, I did not read it. I didn't read it is the thing. It was something that, uh, was it appreciated? She liked it. She said that it improved her experience reading it because she was kind of bored, but she could not have, she did, she was just like, I did not realize that's the way. It was ghosty, by the way. It was not something she could have predicted happening. She was so, so, so surprised that it happened. She was just like, I could not have predicted that. That, that took an, that was an excellent twist. So there you go. Oh, Michael, did you, were you? He's just trying to find food. Okay. Um, I'm legitimately surprised of all the effed up things from music. I, I did not even, I have not been exposed to it is the thing. I sent it to someone. I sent it. Why are you saying Uncle Ghosty? <laughs> I sent it to Ghost G. Can you read it for us? God, no! 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 There you go. It doesn't have to be Yaoi related. No, no, no. The baggage doesn't have to be Yaoi related. Michael, what do you what do you want, buddy? Michael. Michael? Michael. He's just gonna scream. Junji Ito is a nice relaxing manga. We could read some of that if you guys want it. Michael? We could read some of that if you guys would like at some point. I think you can hear him in the background just screaming. He's a good kitty. This is the content I'm here for. What I'm saying is VTuber baggage is all about exposing your baggage. Um, I know someone came on and talked about a fecal related crime. Um, I know that someone talked about, uh, let's see, being attracted to the Keebler elves. So it's like that kind of stuff. It's like the baggage that you have as a person that's not really harming you and you would feel free letting loose on society. It's nice, it's nice. We are going on strike till you read us what ghost you got. I am not reading you pornography. I'm sorry. Being an accidental arsonist with a Pop-Tart? Oh yeah, that's true too. I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot one of them almost or it succeeded in burning down a church. I need to see the elf episode now. You can, you can, you can, you can check them out on my VOD channel. Our son lost media. Uh oh. I wasn't really like very well organized before. Um. There you go. What's your opinion on becoming a streamer or a VTuber? Go for it. You might hate every second of it. You might explode. Just be prepared for the idea that you may hate it. Michael, I'm not gonna let you into the, the bathroom so you can drink toilet water. Um, you, you might have a wonderful time of it. Uh, but there are also people having a really intense time. But why not? Go for it. You should probably just try it without getting, like, a model and, like, maybe you'll, you'll be like, Oh, this is wonderful, I love it, and then you can slowly work towards all of the things that you like with it. Or alternatively, um, you might go, I hate this. 
This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I hate this. This is disgusting. I don't want to be here. Why did anyone tell me this was a good idea? Oh god, oh god, everyone's looking at me. They hate me. They're gonna kill me. I don't deserve this. No one deserves this. Why did this happen? Why? 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 But it might not be like that. You might enjoy it. You might love it. So go for it. Why not? I almost forgot. We also had someone dubbed as the homewrecker on VTuber Baggage. Oh, yeah! That was cool! There you go! I would love it, but I don't have an actual computer, so no games. Oh, that's okay. You could just talk. Maybe you could have, maybe you could have a podcast. I'll try to remember all of this in, like, the two to five years. Oh, just start now. Why not? You should just start now. Like, that's also the thing. Start as soon as you can. Just try it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll become a big thing in your head and you'll be like, I need to be good at this. I need to be good at this. What if I'm not good at this? I've put so much time and effort into researching this. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why can't I do this? Why can't I do this? That's how it is for a lot of people I know that wanted to start and then just never did. They kind of got into this loop of like, my life is going to change once I start this. And then they kind of freaked out. I don't know. I already have those brainworms? Then you're A-OK. -okay. There you go. Uh, if someone made a gore game with Grimmy's likeness, how would that make you feel? I, w I don't- I don't know if I'd be happy about that. Like, getting, like, gored to death? I would be very confused and scared. If it was one where, like, I was, like, cool and, like, not getting gored to death, that would be awesome. Or if it were, like, pixely and kind of like you wouldn't even notice, that would be kind of cool, too. Oh, I've ordered the cat by proxy. Hope he knows how to run a tabletop RPG, because I sure as hell don't. Good for you! I think Skelter can help you research, at least. Just put him on your shoulders, you're looking. I want a VTuber manga? There are several. There are quite a few, actually. There's a VTuber anime coming out, too! There is a VTuber anime. I'm going through some baggage screenshots. They seem unhinged out of context. Uh-oh. I'm excited for that, though. It's gonna be cool. Ooh. I feel like you would be the one causing Gorgrimmy. I feel like I would too. Too. There you go. I feel like I would too. What about Casper? You mean Gasper? Oh yeah, someone did chemically burn their nipples off. So there is something to look out for in that regard. Um, they they accidentally just somehow chemically burn their nipples off. No, not on purpose. I don't think I don't think anyone has tried to chemically burn their nipples off on purpose. Um, yeah, there was actually someone also that cannot burp but will just fart louder. Like that's that's their baggage. It's supposed to just be things that you have to accept about yourself that are a little bit embarrassing. Whoever done might have been insane. Nope, they, um, they just... She just accidentally burned her nipples off. I don't know what to tell you. It's, it just is what it is. It happens. People, people accidentally burn their nipples off some days. There you go. A girl gouged out her own eyeballs after... Oh, a drug trip? That makes sense. People don't make the best decision on drugs sometimes. Uh, do your cats shed a lot or does it depend on the food? They all have different... Oh god. All of the cats have different hair length and texture. Pumpkin sheds so much. She has about an inch and a half. Maybe two inches of fluff. There's so much of it. Someone was abandoned at a strip club. I forgot about that. Um, am I allowed to say the name of the person with no nipples? Well, she, she has them now, I assume. I don't think she was forever, like... Like, she... They, they... It took time, but she got them back. It took time, but she got them back. She's a very nice person. Yeah, you can say it if you want. It is on the internet, so... They grew back? Nipples do grow back. It just takes several months, apparently. How would you get your nipples back? Several months. Um, nipples grow back. It's just, um, I guess it's just, like, soft flesh. I don't think they grow back. I think it's just, like, any part of your body. They slowly come back. Like, it's just, like, your skin regenerates. 
I love all the things I learned on Gibby Street. I'm not saying to like go and like chemically burn off your nipples. Mine never did. Oh my god, old man diabetes, please be nice to him, please help him. Uh, old man diabetes didn't. Not organs, though organs don't. But if you like, if you get like a small cut on something, like your body will do its best to repair itself. If the nipple is completely damaged or removed from the body, it won't grow back. Oh wow, so she was really lucky. Be nice to your nipples, be nice to your nipples. Your liver does- yeah, your liver loves growing. Exactly. Don't be such a baby, nipples grow back. No, they don't! <laughs> oh no! I came in to tell- um, I came into you telling people not to burn off their nipples. Well, people are just interested in the experience of regrowing them now, I assume, so I feel like I need to like- I'm sorry, Skelter, this was supposed to be your special day, buddy. This was supposed to be your special day. And here I am. Um, my liver is cursed, it grows back still cursed. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to regain my... So you've lost your nipples. That sounds almost like a quest in like an RPG. I saw someone accidentally tear off a nipple. Oh, that's gross. Rough, rough stuff. Oh no. Would Grimmy's head grow back? Wait, I'm not dead. I'm a paranormal investigator. I just don't go outside. There's so many ghost VTubers! I'm, a, I'm one of the few paranormal investigators! I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm not a ghost! And there's nothing wrong with ghosts! I just happen to be a paranormal investigator! Did you know male nipples can actually fall off and you can be perfectly fine? I assume anyone could be fine without nipples, but I think they would prefer to have them. So, um... Let's see. I don't know, it's... There you go. I'm over a hundred. Yeah, I'm over a hundred. I'm like a hundred and nine, I think? hundred and nine, I think. At this point, yeah. But I was trapped in a time warp for a very long time. Trapped in a haunted mansion, experiencing life, you know, in a different way than most people. Ninety years by myself. Perfectly normal at this point. Took a little bit to get reintegrated to society, but I'm normal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Skelter helped me to survive. Very good kitty. Very good kitty. Wait, what? What about boobs? What if a girl got their boobs chemically burnt? Well, I mean, that's just unfortunate. That's a tragedy. Like, it's just, if there's an accident, like, your body does try to repair itself, but like, you know, there's a matter of, like, scar tissue maybe replacing the nipple, or like... Uh, anyway, um... Should we do a nipple count just to be safe, Grimmy? I think you're probably in control of your nipples at all time. Like, you don't really need to think about it. Like... I have enough faith in you to assume that you guys know how many nipples you have, and you knew how many nipples you had when you woke up this morning. Right? Three? If you got three, congratulations! You got a little extra there. There you go. Not funny who took my right nipple! No! You can be fine without boobs. People lose them all the time to breast cancer. That's also true, too. Like, there's also times where people have to lose different parts of their body due to, like, um, what's it called? Medical issues and problems and stuff? I think I saw a news article that said a beaver bit off a nipple. Well, that's scary. I didn't know they did that. Uh, well, there you go. You can't- you can just glue pepperonis- pepperonis to your chest for extra nipples? There you go. You could be like an animal and have like six or like eight of them or however many they have. Are inverted nipples nipples that fail to see the point? <laughs> The majority of people have an above-average number of arms. Majority. Above-average. Two conflicting statements. <laughs> Wait, brain hurt. Don't glue food to yourself, the food rots if you don't ba- What? What? Oh, I guess the pepperoni, yeah. Uh, why do domestic cats have a randomly generated number of nipples between six and eight? I've never counted my cat's nipples. I think that's like a weird thing to do. I let them just do whatever they want. I'm sorry, we're talking about something important. At some point your nipples may be chemically burned off. Why are you screaming at me? I feel like screaming at this point. I do too. Yeah, that's fair. Why do some cats have thumbs? Are they hiding something? Some cats have like six little fingers. It's interesting. Wait, not all cats have thumbs? I gotta go look at all my cats again. Interesting. You just find these little guys outside and they're so different.
Are you a part of SCP Foundation? I'll never tell. I'll never tell. East Coast cats have mutations? Why does the East Coast... Wait, what? Wait. What? What? Who out here dipping their nipples in battery acid? No, 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 no. It's not that. It's not that. So what happened is... They weren't dipping their nipples in battery acid. They just happened to, like, wear a type of bathing suit that was, like... For whatever reason, not really working with, like, their general, um... I guess, like, the pool water, maybe? Or, like, the fabric was really weird? Or something like that? And then... They just... By the end of, like, her day, she realized that her nipples had been chemically burned off. This is a real story. Lots of cats in a specific, specific area have six toes on each foot. That is so interesting. Whoa. Wow. Some of our dogs have extra digits. Wow, are animals evolving? Or are they, like, mutating? I can't tell. Oh, I feel like they need to sue the maker of that bathing suit or something. That probably would have been a good idea, actually. <laughs> Wait, she might have wanted to do that. Maybe I should uh, tell her. That might be good. Um, They're changing all right? Animals change so quickly. Like, we see so many generations of, like, animals, like, in our lifetime. It's interesting. We're just gonna see, like, a couple of generations of people, not really enough to, like, see, like, the evolutionary line and everything, and all of the little mutations we're gonna have. We're still not very good at looking at computers, it's probably why we're all going insane and getting depressed, so... Ah, but I won't go outside. I refuse. Mutations are the first part of evolution. Oh, wow. What if humans can only walk on all fours, Grimmy? We used to feel that way, though. We used to do that. There you go. This is why your dad left you? He didn't. It would have been much better if he did. That dude is crazy. I think the thing is... Oh, wait, you were trying to make me... Um, sorry. I am very upset. Thank you. But, um... What was I gonna say? Like, that dude is crazy. That dude is insane. Like, if you ever have, like, a very intense parent, like, if you can start to get distance from them as you become an adult, don't be like, Oh my god, I'm not gonna survive on my own, it's so sad. You're gonna feel absolutely better if you get a little bit of space. You don't even have to, like, hope that they explode or something. Just get a little bit of space, you'll feel better. Running on all fours is faster than two legs. Okay, that actually is why a lot of people have back problems, though. That's the thing. Like, a lot of people have specific back problems because we evolved to be on our hind legs and, like, our front legs and just kind of, like, walk around like weird people. If we did that now, everyone would think we were actually completely insane. Like, if we did that now, people would just be like, oh, this is a serial killer. They're gonna kill us. Like, that would be interesting, though. Let's go back to it. Like, maybe a small island of people could just start being on four legs. But would my back never hurt? It probably wouldn't. Like, the thing is, we have a lot of, like, stuff we're still getting used to evolutionarily. Humans themselves are a transitional species between quadrupeds and bipeds. Our skeleton is not actually suited for long-term bipedal locomotion. Oh, no! Uh-oh. That's not good. Apparently, that's why a lot of animals avoid us. The way we move and our lack of hair makes them think we're diseased or crazy. <laughs> We are, though. That's- that's smart of them. Holy crud. Mm. <sighs> I mean, are they wrong? No, they're completely right. I don't think humans could handle walking on all fours. Hmm. I think we could get used to it, but I guess we'd be de-evolving. De if we're, like, something that's supposed to be, like, in between those stages, we should probably just suck it up for, like, future generations, I guess? Even if it would take, like, a while? Hmm. Is there anything we can do to make it easier for, like, our bodies as we become bipedal? I mean, on the other hand, our bipedal locomotion has evolved pretty extreme endurance. Oh! That's cool. Yo! Also, hello! Nice to meet you, if you're new. Evolution only marches forward. We cannot de-evolve. Oh, I can do it. I'll, I'll do it. I say we skip the entire bipedal tech tree and move straight to having wings. That would be cool. Walking on all fours requires, uh, let's see, larger neck muscles. You have to be neck filled! Wait a second, you have to be neck filled! Wait a second! No, 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 this is the thing. Oh, so yeah, thank you for removing the child. But like, here's the thing. Like, okay, here's the thing. 
Okay, people are supposedly, and this is like some big thing online if you look up neck pills, people are supposedly more attracted to people with thick necks. Supposedly. Supposedly. If you have like a really gargantuan, huge, like, chunk neck, people are attracted to that. It's very interesting. Supposedly. So you can actually measure, like, human evolution in terms of, like, how people are attracted to people with giant necks. Mine is not very big. Mine is very... small. But, people love Goku- there you go. What about girls who stretch their necks to be much taller? Oh, you mean, like, um, I think that's, like, in some tribal cultures, right? I don't know if people are super interested in that usually. I think it's probably something where, like, in that culture people love it, but, uh... Huh. The neck ring one. Those are scary to me, but they seem really cool. I, I, I'm happy for anyone that gets them for their own cultural stuff, but I just think about how if you had the neck rings off, your body would just crumple and you'd die. <sighs> it makes their necks thicker, technically. That's cool. I just get really scared thinking about it. Oh god. We're drastically outnumbered by chickens. When the rebellion comes, I know which side to choose. Heck yeah. Don't their bodies adapt? Probably. They have literally zero neck muscles? Oh, maybe not then. Uh... I think our bodies adapt in the sense that, like, if we do something slow enough, it won't die. Even if it's excruciating or, um, impossible to deal with. So... Let's see. I feel like even just having bad posture is similar, where, like, our muscles in certain areas will deplete. We'll feel sick and tired. You could be taller with just a few neck rings. Yeah. I don't want to do that, though. Do you think people attracted to thick necks would be necromancers? Oh, ha 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 Deep vein thrombosis. Remember to move your feet to prevent deep vein thrombosis. Thank you. Ha 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 ha. I like that, lol, necromancers. You have a nice person to thank for that. You can go and congratulate them. What? Oh. We'd have wing hollow bones and energy consumption evolution. So if people did have wings, we could... Okay, interesting. Pick up lines with long necks, be like, Hey girl, does that neck go all the way up? <laughs> people like long necks. They like thick necks mostly, though. Thick necks are what people apparently need to be better with bipedal stuff. My body hurts all the time around my shoulders. I think it's because I don't, like, move enough, honestly. Like, my body isn't relaxed enough. I need to have time just to, like, start moving and grooving and relaxing. Formula One drivers do neck planks. I'll post a picture in the Discord. Do they need to do that so they don't, like, whiplash themselves every time they have to do something? Shoulder and neck pain for the win. Grimby gotta do yoga, I do. I used to be fit. I say that every time. I used to be so fit. Before I VTubed, I was one of the most fit women ever. I was... I was so strong and I could run for hours, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then I became a VTuber and it all went away. It all went away. Six-pack abs. I have. I had more than six. There are more abs in your body than you'd know and I had them all. I had them all. Yoga stream? Yoga stream would be fun, though. Mokopi. Mokopi yoga stream. Mokopi yoga stream. Grimmy had 20 abs. I would love to have 20 abs. Yeah. I can sense the pain in that voice. Yeah. Were you, you were still exercising when you started VTubing. Oh, yeah. And then eventually I was like, I can just stream for longer with my free time. I can just stream for longer with my free time. That was stupid. Don't do that. Don't do that. Go to the gym. You'll feel a lot better. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> she could throw hands with ghosts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Don't attack the ghosts. I got yelled at for that once. Um, 100 have sold out of the Skelter plushes. Thank you guys so much for your support. I can't believe it, honestly. That was already so fast. Like, holy crud. That was incredibly fast. Jeez. Ugh. <sighs> Well, there you go. Skelter is already sold. Half of, like, the amount. That's incredible to me. I have no idea how you guys did that. Thank you. I appreciate it, though. Thank you. I, um... If he... And again, like, don't worry. I'll make sure that he... He finds his way. 
I'll make sure. I will make absolutely sure. Why exercise when you can just keep on yapping? See, that's the thing, though. Streaming is fun. Exercising is... It's, it's pretty fun in some regards. I don't know. You used to be an adventurer like you before she took VTuber to the... I... Yeah. Someone is going to DM you an image of them holding like 30 in a shopping cart. That is going to be me. That is going to be me. I am going to do that. Uh... Oh, let's see. Um, I know that you're basically a shut-in. I, I go outside a little bit. I, I ca I'm capable of it. I just really don't like it. Um, might that change next year with any conventions like WeebCon? They just announced they'll be coming back next year. Oh, maybe. I, um... The thing is, I don't mind doing, like, the uh, meet and greets where I can be in my house. Uh, I love being in my house. <laughs> I love being in my house. I pop into something about fighting ghosts. We don't fight ghosts. We're very polite to ghosts. We love ghosts. They're fine. They're fine people. We are polite and friendly to all the ghosts of society, and that's what we will say to all of them. Tell them. Um, but anyways, uh... Tell them. Tell them that's how we feel. What's our stance on just, 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 come on, be cool. Tell them this, this one. Are you going to Toho Fest next year? Toho Fest sounds cool. I probably won't go outside more than like four times <laughs> a month though. And I don't like being around that many people. So I probably won't go to that many cons. I'm going to be real with you. Everyone seems to have a really good time at them. And I just go, that's so wonderful. But like, you could just stay inside. You could have a vacation in your house. I really- I might also just be because I have a lot of pain in, like, my- my sinuses and, like, a bunch of other, like, stuff, so maybe I just don't have the energy to. So maybe I'll start exercising again. Maybe I'll get extremely healthy. Then maybe I'll go to a million cons. And then maybe you'll know me because I'll be the person where you- you see someone getting punched really hard in the face and getting knocked out, and I'm knocking people out. And I'm just a menace to society. Ha 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 ha. I don't know, I want to do that. I want to do that a lot. I'm gonna be victim number one after making fun of the ghost. Don't make fun of ghosts. There you go. There you go. Don't do that. You're gonna get you're gonna get smashed. You can't see ghosts. They could they could really easily just make your life very hard. Let's do this one. Ooh, this one's kinda nice. Ooh, this is a good song. Why go to a giant party when your house is very comfy? Exactly. This is probably this probably sums it up about the best. Um, I was today looking at like nice clothes and trying to figure out how to dress myself when I go outside and I was like, how do I dress myself? Should I wear this? Should I wear that? Should I wear this? Should I wear that? And then eventually I just went to fruitoftheloom.com and I bought like four sets of pajamas and I was like, never mind, I don't care anymore. This is not a joke. This is what I did today. I was just like, I need to start dressing better. What if I have a meeting? What if I have to go outside? Uh, I got four pairs of pajamas and I laid down. Just be yourself. I'll have one outfit for when I go outside and everyone will be like, Oh my goodness, you're dressed so well. Wow, Grimmy. And then next time they see me a few months later, they'll be like, I love your outfit, Grimmy. And then like, you know, three months later, that outfit is so cute on you, Grimmy. And then later... You wear that a lot, don't you, Grimmy? And then later... I think that's the only thing she has to wear. I don't think she has other clothes. I think that's the case here. Also, GamerSup sends me a lot of t-shirts. Um, so now all of my clothes just have, like, giant breasted women and... Um, I don't know. I've kind of given up. I have one nice pair of pants. What is wrong with you, Grimmy? I don't want to wear- I don't want to buy clothes and go outside! I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. What's wrong with that? Just wear your jammies out. It's been look- <laughs> It's been- That's what I've been doing since lockdown ended. People hate you, though, if you do that. Free t-shirts equals pajamas? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're cute shirts, too. They're really cute. Please, go and check out the Gamer Sup shirts. They have a lot of really good ones. I think the most recent one is a beautiful brunette lady with, like, um, science glasses and stuff. People hate me anyways. That's good. Like, not, well, that's not good, but just go like, What are you gonna do about it? I'm comfortable. You're racing to your graves. And then just leave. 
Just like, that's not gonna make you feel better on your deathbed. <coughs> it's coming soon. <coughs> and then cough on them really loudly. And then they'll get scared, and then they'll think they'll have a disease all week. I don't think you should actually do this. Um, I say these things... Like, man, this could be the worst possible thing you can do, assuming no one's going to do it, but it's very possible at least one of you is like, that's a great idea, I'm gonna get arrested. There you go. Grimbo pulling up to the business meeting with I pause my game to be here shirt. Someone gave me a shirt that said, please don't make me do things. Someone gave me an incredibly passive-aggressive shirt that just said, please don't make me do things. It just said, please don't make me do things. Very relatable, real. I just, I, I don't want to, I don't want to do anything. I'm doing more for myself when I feel very comfortable and happy. I need that, please. <laughs> I might buy the plush, uh, despite being on a plate. No, 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 don't do that. 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 Do not. Please don't do that. In no, no situation should you buy this if you're unemployed or struggling. But it cute though. Well, it, but what about you? You have your own life about you. You you probably have a. F you know what would be very cute if you made sure that you had healthy food, and if you made sure that you were sleeping enough, and if you made sure that you were going to be okay until you had another job. That would probably be the cutest thing. That would be the best thing, wouldn't it? That would be very cute if you made sure that you were healthy. There you go. Yeah, Pumpkin, see, she thinks that's a good idea. Yeah. She thinks it would be cute if you guys made sure that you would, you know, had all of your necessities. There you- I'm sorry, Swifty. Maybe, um... Maybe in the future there will be another one. You don't need to worry. Watching VTubers is easier? You could do both. You could see how much you could get away with in terms of working and watching VTubers. <laughs> Bought the plush instead of food? No! 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 Hell world, hell world, hell world, hell world. For pumpkin, I will. For pumpkin, you should make sure that you are eating enough food and relaxing. Time to cut loose after dinner. Later, people have a wonderful night, Mr. Frick. Later. But Grimmy, you do unhealthy stuff all the time. Why not do as you do and not as you say? Fine, I'll buy a blouse. Are you? <laughs> I'll buy a stupid blouse. Fine. Fine. I'll buy an additional blouse. Uh. Do not mortgage your house and donate it to Grimmy. Mortgage your house and then find a house you are more comfortable with. Invest in different properties. Make sure that you have enough coming in with like your renters and they're not going to be any immediate expenses. Flip those houses and make a bunch of money. There you go. There you go. Be, be careful. There you go. I'm working on it. Good for you. Good for you. Make sure that you're, you're being very careful. I've been watching a blank image for hours. Huh? To get a skin and party animals. So this is quite refreshing. Is the skin for Twitch back? Wait a second. One second. One second. I will too do this now. I now have a thing I need to do as well. It has the drops, okay. Alright, there we go, thank you. Oh, I think I'm on the same one now. Is that the one with like the gopher or guinea pig that's just... That's just sitting there and it says 24-7 drops on? Yeah, I'm there now too. Thank you. Um, I really want that stupid little skin. Thank you. I missed it last time. I hope it's- I hope it's keeping track of the, like, stuff I did last time, though. View details. Give me this mother flipper. Mayor Gopher! Four hours?! Oh my god, no! You're killing me. Oh my god. You're killing me. You have to watch four hours for this gopher? This gopher better be. <sighs> Sorry. I'm very excited to watch this gopher and very happy. It's wonderful. Everything is good. Everything is fantastic. I'm very happy with how the internet works. 
It has a little hat on Eddie as a bow tie. Hi, praise the sun, my dude. I hope you're doing well. I saw you drop by Zen's chat the other day? Zen. 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 What? Zen. Oh, Firefly, thank you so much for the $10. I lurk, tend to lurk, but when to say how happy I am with your channel has grown so much. Oh, that's so nice of you, Firefly. Keep up the good work, and I hope you enjoy yourself. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy yourself, too. Oh, Mr. Frick, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Canela. I appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for the dollar you dues. Zentraya? Okay, I do not remember going to Zentraya's chat. Did I do that? I have an eighth of my brain missing. Wait, did I do that? I could have. Also, thank you, Parcel Tom, for subscribing with your Prime. I have not. I I like Zentraya a lot, but I've I thought I was too afraid to type in her chat. Like I've liked Zentraya for a long time. She's a sexy robot lady with like a sexy voice. So like I don't know. That's. It's it's not really that hard to like I don't know go like wow I would agree like but anyway um. Just say hi? Well, I, apparently I did. Did I really do that? Are you trying to gaslight me? Your wor it's working? Did I do that? I usually just go and talk in Ghosty's chat. Or Ecto. Like, I usually just lurk, in fact. I couldn't hear what you were saying. It was an ad. I was just having a mental breakdown. Don't worry about it. Was it drunk, Grimmy? I don't drink, Grimmy. Well, I have a good lurk. Wonderful. Nice to- nice to- thank you. Gaslight Maxi! <laughs> You successfully gaslit me. You did a really good job. I thought it was possible. She was plating Elden Ring and shouted you out on stream, too. I guess it was an imposter? What? Does anyone know if this really happened? I really like her. Maybe it was a similar lady that with that like stuff like th Source, trust me. Please find a clip. I think I don't remember this happening. I think I might be going insane. <laughs> Shout her out and see. Wait, is there a Grimmy underscore VT? I was not blackout drunk. This is weird! This is weird! I would never, I would never in a million years have the courage to go and talk in one of the V Shoujo ladies' chats. I would, I would, I would probably be shot in the street. They would see me and they would go like, I do not wish to talk to this young woman. And then they would decapitate me. You could do it? You should do it? I'm already afraid of everyone there, but I... I don't know. There's no Grimmy Vici. Did I really do this? This had to be someone else. Maybe you were watching and it was like a different person. That's what it probably was. If this happened... Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Parasiltom01 for subscribing with your Prime. This is the best gaslight yet! I am... but... what? Dude, it might have been. Am I going crazy? Matara's really sweet too. I, I am. They're very sweet people. I also just um don't really want to like. This is gonna sound quite strange, but I don't really want to bother anyone. I know when like you're at that level of like notoriety, like you probably have a lot of people going like, oh my god, hey, oh my god, hey, oh my god, hey, and I don't want to do that to them. But maybe you had a dream. You had a dream, I bet. You had a very scary dream. Introvert tendencies, but also completely understandable. I really don't want to just bother people, is the thing. Like, I don't want to bother people, and like, I know sometimes, like, I have a hard time getting back to people through DMs, and now I also am very, 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 very constantly, like, I need to make sure I get back on DMs, or people could think I hate them or want, like, them to die. So, there's that, too. Google top 10 streamers on Twitch. Step, DM all of them. Step 3, no! No! Oh, is this the latest sensory? I don't know if it happened. 
Aethel followed Ecto one time? Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. Ecto's so sweet. Maybe it was Ecto. I bet it was Ecto. I bet it was Ecto. Also, hi, Jersh. I bet it... Also, thank you so much. Reaper plays 5401YT. How was your stream? There you go. How are you? We're currently just hanging out, chatting, relaxing. Not really doing too much. I guess that's it for today. We're just talking? Huh. Hmm. Ecto really bonded with Eros after everyone left. That's so nice. That's so sweet. They seem like very sweet young ladies. We are currently gaslighting Grimmy. I believed you. You would be missed. Thank you for thank you for saying that I you would miss if I never showed up again. What if I just never showed up again? What if I was just gone after this? I took the Skelter money and I ran. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't do that, but I think it would be cool. Like in a cosmic kind of way. I wouldn't do that though. I wouldn't do that. We're not gaslighting anyone. You know what? At some point, I will attempt to reach out to every streamer imaginable, and maybe I'll see if they would like to do something fun. But until then... I would be disappointed, but say good for her! Good for you! Gaslighting isn't real, duh! I know that it's real. I know that there there's at least gas and lights outside at some point. Ranked streamer baggage. Streamer baggage is a fun show, though. I, I've been... I have some very fun guests lined up that I need to actually get specific dates for. I'm very excited about it. Would be crushed if sudden lack of Grimmy. No! I'll be here forever! I don't have anything better to do with my life! I'll die here! I will literally come back every day and just be like, Hello! Didn't go outside. What's up? How are you? If you're uncomfortable socializing, just send Gaspar instead. Gaspar won't talk to me. He's been super pissed about something. I don't understand. There you go. You almost left. I cried. I'm so sorry. I felt so bad about it. I'm sorry. Get. I, I, I'm not friends with Zentrea. I think you had a dream. I think you had a dream that I talked to Zentrea. I'm not that. Not that. I'm not trying to be like. I'm not friends with her. I just mean I don't. I don't know her. She's probably very nice. Not to be dramatic, but I was so crushed when you had decided to. It's okay, Innards. I will never, ever, 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 ever do that again. I. I think, uh, the people I almost worked with were very nice. But there are just some things that I wasn't totally cool with. And I'm very happy to be here. I will never leave. So you don't need to worry ever. Ever, 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 ever. Is there any way I can see my previous chat logs? Um, I think you'd have to go to... Zentrea's chat and then click on your name, maybe? And I think there's a way to see your own messages? Or maybe that's just if, like, you're the person that owns the channel? I think you can see it, though. Um, did you raid her? No, this is- this is- <laughs> Kafka had a dream- You found out? Okay. You did it! See, okay, so it wasn't me, it was someone else. You either had a dream, or something. Please tell me that. If you did not, I have lost control of my body, and I don't know what's happening. Hold your horses? No, I will not hold my horses. How many horses? The users themselves can't- Oh, it's just mods. Oh, I'm a mod in Ecto's chat. I thought I could just see everything from everywhere. Gaslight, we're going to meet another orb? No, 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 no. Skelter didn't do it. You take your time- I'm sorry, making you go and do this is very rude. But I just assume that I might be, um- Oh, you can use 7TV! Oh! I might have that. Skelter is the one true owner of this channel, hell yeah. Skelter is very powerful. Skelter is very powerful. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Rocky Blob. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for the hundred bits. Poor Zentrea. Poor Zentrea! I will not read what you said, but poor Zentrea. Poor, poor lady. He's dreaming? Okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. This turn- this has now turned into Grimmy gaslighting a chat member. No, I'm not! I'm not! I'm asking- they- They said that I went somewhere and started communicating with someone. I said I wouldn't have do- I wouldn't have done that. I am a complete coward. They said, no, hold on, you had a complete interaction. They shouted you out, you talked to them, and I said, no, I am a coward, sir. I have just consistently been a coward for most of my life. 
And as much as I like to try to get out there and talk to people, I would not have done that. You know, you don't know me. You don't know who I am. There you go. There you go. What if the other Grimmy did it? There is no other Grimmy, is there? <laughs> oh god. There is no other Grimmy. Listen, it's very possible it's another VTuber called Grim. And if it is, I will be very embarrassed. But I'm still trying to find the clip. Okay, cool. It was a different Grim. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank god. It's okay, you don't need to be embarrassed. Thank you. Oh, thank god. I'm sorry. I thought I just started sleepwalking and going up to the V Shoujo women and going like, Hey, sexy lady, you looking good today? Oh my god, I love that you're a robot. Mm -hmm. And like, doing weird stuff I had no control over while I was unconscious. Don't... 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 Don't do that. You can't... <sighs> Thank you so much, Soko, for gifting a sub to Grimmy. Grimmy, please give me your name. This, this is going to keep happening until one of us dies. I will pay for you to have- I will- I will- I will steal the name Lizard from whoever has Lizard on Twitch, and I will give you Lizard for Grimmy. Remember that time you poisoned our water supply board, burned our crops, and delivered a plague upon our houses? That was kind of messed up. Why'd you do that with me? You mother flip. You mother flipper! I am going to destroy you! Okay. Okay. Gaslight yourself into believing you're best friends with someone. That sounds kind of weird, though. Like, that, then they're gonna be like, Why are you talking to me like this? This is strange. There you go. Whose stream am I watching right now? <laughs> Grimmy. I'm Grimmy. I'm Grimmy. There you go. I'm not threatening to destroy you. I would just never, I would never do that to your crops. But thank you, Soko. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to... Yep. That's the power of mind manipulation. Ah, uh, don't implant false memories in VTubers. That's very rude. Don't implant false memories in VTubers. That's very rude. They don't like when you do that. <laughs> they don't like when you do that. Well, I mean, I, no one can stop you, though. I guess if you really want to. Actually, did you know it's very easy to implant false memories into someone? Supposedly. Like, there were a bunch of, like, little, like, studies they did, and essentially, like, if you, like, Photoshop someone into a picture on a hot air balloon and just be like, Yeah, you did this, like, five years ago, remember? You just, like, they'll be like, Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we drove out to the countryside, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Like, yeah, me and my mom, we drove out to the countryside, we were like, Ah, oh, the balloon, like, she didn't want to get on it, though. Like, they'll start inventing something to just kind of figure out why they were there and like their brain will go like yeah there has to be context for this i remember this our brains are so not prepared for photoshop and ai they are so not prepared for it vtubers are virtual beings they do not enjoy false mem <laughs> they do not enjoy having false memories inserted into their minds please control your urges to gaslight that should be like a little commercial I remember the gremlins meeting at the Pentagon Taco Bell. I, I wish. I wish. It's like the guy who got hit by a car and saw angels? Well, I mean, it's possible that people are having, like, out-of-body experiences. Maybe there is an afterlife. Maybe there is something. Who knows? But, like, you can also subconsciously plant memories into people. Which is really weird. Like, if you've seen the movie Ghost in the Shell, there was some interesting stuff with that. What if the memory you insert is of them enjoying the memory insertion? I guess you could do that. Remember when I implanted all those fa false memories into your brain, you guys? Wasn't that fun? I want Taco Bell now. The Taco Bell at the Pentagon is closed. We don't have things to look forward to in life anymore. Oh, hello! Hello, numbers! Oh my god, Plushy Skelter, hi! Skelter has become a plushie. Or, you know, several hundred of himself, and he's going to spread himself to the winds and go find you guys and kind of stare at you and, like, you know, see what's gonna happen there and, like, you know, you guys can be best friends. Remember when we implanted false memories to Grimmy's brain, but they all turned into a cyst? That was crazy. No! Oh! That's true. Thank you very much, Yama. Um, everyone, I forgot to say this, but tomorrow... 
tomorrow night. If you would like me to be in your house looking at all of your things, please use hashtag. Use hashtag. Oh god, how did Grimmy get in here on Twitter? Or I guess X. It, it could also be X. But use that hashtag. Get on there. And then you know what you can do? You can give me pictures of your house so I know how to better infiltrate it. And then tomorrow night on Saturday, I will be looking through your home. And I will be seeing your things. And I will be judging you as a person. And I will be happy to do so. And I think you guys all probably have beautiful rooms. And if not, that's okay too. Hides in toilet? That's gross. Don't do that. Suspicion yes, and also the submission deadline is 5pm PST tomorrow. It might be a smaller one, just because we're just using Twitter. We're just using Twitter. Um, what if the cyst's existence was a false memory? Well, I have pictures of it. I have pictures of it, and I have scans of it, so I can see exactly how big it is. And I can see what it does. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Grimmy, no, I need to sweep. Oh. You don't want me to look at your house? You do need to sleep. What if you want to be on the ground? Oh god, someone implanted false memories in my brain! Hashtag, oh god, someone implanted false memories in my brain. Now, you're on observation duty, except there's no anomalies? Yeah. I just look at your- I look at your room and I go, this looks good, how about a plant? How about a little plant here? What are you gonna do when Skelter gets to your house? He's gonna think it's weird. He's gonna be uncomfortable. Please keep Skelter in a nice and safe environment. You don't want to hurt him, right? You don't want him to feel sad, right? Please don't let Skelter feel sad. Don't hurt his feelings. Oh my gosh, come on, you guys. You don't want to do that to him, right? Please don't. My entire room is an anomaly. He'd probably feel very comfortable there, actually. That'd be kind of nice. I will put Skelter in a little basket with 20 other stuffed animals. Heck yeah. There you go. He'd have a bunch of friends. Skelter will be friends with Cookie Cat. Oh, Skelter, you're going to be friends with Cookie Cat. That's so cute. That's so cute. That's so lovely. Please, um, please introduce Skelter to other little VTubers. I'm sure he would enjoy it. Everything looks upon... Everything that looks upon me becomes sad. Well, it's time for that to change. Let's get you a little bit of spinach and a little bit of kale. Ooh. Can I take Skelter into a combat zone? Sure, if you need to. I hope that you're okay, though. Are you going to a combat zone sometime soon? Be friends with my Gaspar, Dakimakura. Oh, wow. Cool gonna grab some Z's. You have some good Z's. So is the next piece of merch, uh, the Grimmy Nay Nay? I would love if the next piece of merch were the Grimmy Nay Nay. Implanting false memories of saying we implanted false memories to throw the trail off the real implanted false memories. Whoa. Also, um, thank you very much for the false memory of me talking to Zentrea. I do really like her a lot. She's very cool. Like, I hope that, uh, I hope that she can always... Sorry, I saw a little animal eating spinach in this one game. Uh, but I hope that she can always be healthy and happy. I don't know. I hope that all of the VTubers of the world can slowly start to feel better and better. There's a lot that happens in the world. I hope that everyone can also always feel happy and healthy and keep getting stronger. We've worked on this false memory thing, huh? I don't know, it's interesting to think about. Now you should go talk to Zen to plant a false memory. I have to wait until... I have to wait until the young man or woman that was just saying like, Hey, I saw you over there the other day. Good to see you. I have to wait until they're there. So I can say hello to them specifically. Yes. You'll, VTuber Plus feel better? That's an oxymoron. There's gotta be a way for VTubers to not feel like death every 10 seconds. I'm cross-referencing Christ! I'm so sorry, Kafka. I am so sorry. You don't actually have to do this. I'm sorry for being an obsessive weirdo. I'm sorry for being so crazy. You're fine. You should invent a fake stream and see if you can gaslight people into thinking it happened. That's a good idea. Yeah, come by tomorrow. We're gonna look at all your rooms. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Just don't show up and then just be like, Oh my god, yeah, you had that, you had that record play. It was so cool. That would be weird. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Man's on a mission. Good luck. Just under 20 hours from now. Wait, is it under 20 hours from now? How long is it? What? How's it been two and a half hours? It doesn't matter. 
It doesn't matter. It's a shame. But once you start a stream, your time goes extremely quickly. It speeds up to four times the amount of time that you think it'll be. Remember that collab stream you did with Jeff Bezos? Oh, it was lovely, wasn't it? He was a really nice guy. Yeah, remember when XQC came on and said I was the only good VTuber? And then he, like, started crying and saying that he wanted to feel better and, like, you know, he was a better man now. That was a really fun one, wasn't it? I really liked that one. It was really good. Um, oh yeah, I love that time where, like, yeah, Chris Redfield, and then, um, yeah, yeah, I had Chris Redfield and Wesker's voice actors on, and then we, we, we talked about punching a boulder. There you go. Remember, remember, I thought it was the 5th of November, with gunpowder, treason, and... something? Uh, I remember, remember, the 5th of November, it should never be forgot. That's, that's the thing, right? Remember when Snake appeared on stream? That was effing awesome. I know, remember remember when we had David Hayter on stream? That was crazy. Remember when we had, uh, remember when we had President Barack Obama on stream? That was insane. Yeah, that was cool. I loved it. Would love to see all the streams. My eyes are closing. Please get some good rest. It's okay, it's okay. You need to get some good sleep. Please don't stay up and, like, um, deprive yourself of sleep. That apparently has a lot to do with, like, dementia and, like, a lot of, like, very serious problems. So, please don't worry, please don't worry. There you go, there you go. Remember, remember, the 7th of January, the day we all praised the CIA and celebrated how the moon landing definitely happened? Absolutely! Absolutely! There you go. To be fair, he was ex-president by then already. They still call them, uh, president. Uh, like, even after. Like, they're- they're very nice to them about it. I- I think it's nice. I think it's a good idea. Gonna stay up until Skelter gets here to make sure it's arrived. Uh, that'll be October. Let's see. What month is it? Oh, it's almost July. Let, well, I'll give you a few days. July. July. August. September. October. It's like four months. So... I'm not going to have dementia for not sleeping for two days, but yes, I'm going to sleep by- Good for you! Well, that's the thing, it sneaks up on you. Apparently, it's something where you slowly get it. Like, if you ignore it for too long, it'll just suddenly be like, Oh, this was a tiny problem for a while. Oh, my back hurts a little. Oh, my back hurts a little. Oh, my back hurts a lot. Oh, my back hurts a lot. Oh, it can't get any worse. Oh, my God, I can't move anymore. My back, oh, my God! Like, that's how it goes. So if you're ever like, oh, I'm so sleep deprived, but I'll just, I'll just stay up for a few more days. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. What am I doing? I can, I can stay up for a few more days. I'm being silly. Oh my goodness. Then eventually you'll be like, where am I? Who am I? What am I? And you'll start hearing the radio from playable trailer on loop. Yeah. I stayed up till 4 a.m. doing calculations to maximize my progress in a video game. Yo, cool. Which one? Was it Elden Ring? I bet it was Elden Ring, was it not? Maybe I'll see Skelter early midway through. Maybe. I'd really love to, like, also just order a bunch of these. Can, am I allowed to, like, resell these? Like, after they're done? I, I don't mean, like, skill them. I just mean, like, reselling them for the same amount. I just mean reselling them for the same amount. I don't mean, like, going, like, yes, I'll take a hundred Skelters. These are a hundred bucks each, kids. But, like, I should probably ask them if I'm allowed to, like, resell them, or if it's only through the website and stuff. Because I want them to be around forever. I want to buy, like, a hundred of them and, like, make them something I can resell. Reselling your own thing? Yeah, exactly. Scalping your own merchandise, infinite money glitch? No! No! I don't want to do that! No! I, I want to be nice about it. I want everyone to get one if they would like to way later on. Remember the Skelter Pyramid Scheme? No! No! Maybe if you're doing giveaways, I would like to do giveaways. And I'd also like to get like a hundred of them for myself. Isn't that fraud? No, I think it would be paying the same amount. It would just kind of be... I would be doing more work for no reason. <laughs> I think that's the biggest thing. I would just be doing more work for no reason. But it's okay, I think. Professionals have standards. What does that mean? Some sort of gotcha system. That'd be cool, too. Ooh. Remember when she made us chant some weird prayer while looking at a picture of Skelter? That was weird. That seems like something I would do, though. <laughs> That's a false memory you can convince... <laughs> I think it's much more positive 
I think it's much more positive and possible that I made you guys start chanting in Latin while looking at a picture of Skelter than it was that I went to Zentraya's chat and tried to talk to someone and be social. I think that's probably much more likely. <laughs> Remember when they announced a new season of Super Mansion but it was going to be CGI? I- I- you- you- I'm going to kill you. Um, sorry, that- that was impolite. I'm going to respect you. Remember when she had us all lay on the floor and do whippets? I did whippets. I did not encourage anyone else to do whippets. Um, you did not join a cult. Uh, uh, on purpose. Um, was this before or after the squirrels? I don't remember. I don't remember. I, I just wanted to see the squirrels. Remember when Skelter was streaming and surprised everyone with Grimmy? <laughs> I guess this is Skelter's stream still. Whippet stream was wild. I did not mean to. I did not mean to. I'm sorry. Remember when she did a full karaoke dance number of Tom Jones's she She's the Lady? I did not. What? No. No. I... I... Oh, buy a hundred of them, sign ten of them, mark up the price by a hundred percent, let people play gotcha for a signed version of Skelter. No! Why? I could just sign them all at that point! That would be really needlessly cruel. It's... okay. Oh, the squirrel thing did happen. Wait a second, yeah. <laughs> I did become pathologically obsessed with, like, oh, pumpkin, do you need food? I need to go right this second, I'll be right back. I did not run into Danny DeVito in Voices of the Void, from my knowledge, I don't think that happened. But, give me one second, give me one second, give me one second. I need to give Pumpkin a little bit of food, she's looking at me like, how dare you, I hate you. And I don't like when she looks at me that way. Uh, those ten lucky winners can sell resell those for a ten markup, that's so sad. No. 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 I'll be right back, I'll be right back. Give me one second. Give me one second. I'm gonna go get Pumpkin some, um, I'm gonna get her a little can of food. Then I have to get all of the little beasts out of the room. Um, the little baby beasts. And it should take me, like, maybe, like, five minutes at most. I'll be right back. I'll be right right back. And then we can continue gaslighting each other. One sec. Letting the children gamble. Oh, Helter or Skelter? That would be cool if there was like a coin of that. Which one would be heads? They're both heads. <laughs> Which one would be heads? They're both heads. Is Helter. Huh? 
Huh? Bad children. What are you doing? What are you doing? That's not good. Well, it's okay. The children yearn for the dopamine. Your 3K is 3K! Why does Skelter- Why does Helter look like that? Oh, what does Helter look like? Uh, they're- They're Gaspar's thing that they hang out with or deal with. I don't know. Helter... Have you guys not seen Helter? Wait a second, you guys have never seen Helter before? Let me see if I can find a picture of him. I don't know if I have one. I mean, that's- That's kind of Gaspar's thing. I don't know. I think that's his pet or something? I don't know. I, I I don't really think about it to be honest. I don't think it's that important. Um, I don't think it's that important. Where are you? I'm trying to find it. Uh, man, where are they? Oh, pumpkin's eating. Uh, well, we'll. I I, I don't I don't have any. I don't have any. We were going to do another gamble while you were away. Why? No! You're you're depriving the children of all of their money. They're going to die. How could you? How could you? Gaspar is Helter's pet? I guess so. It's possible. Something like that. Children are going insane over Gamba. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's probably not good to get your young brains associated. Well, actually, many of you are not young. It's probably not good to get your brains associated with gambling giving you good feelings. Because then you're going to go to a casino and be like, I'm a win big. And then you won't. And you'll get really tired and sad and sick. This is children's fault for being on the wrong... No! For betting on the wrong horse? No! What children? We're adults here. I thought you guys were, like, on the internet, so you're any age between, like, 2 and, like, 99. Not 1 or 100. Those are the two that aren't here. Na 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 na. You just described the entirety of Wall Street bets? Oh no. Kids need to know how to gamble so they don't quit early. <laughs> I'm 28 and I've lost roughly $600 at casinos and... Never went up, but I only gamble when I'm able to- what I'm willing to lose. That's nice, but... Goes to Vegas, I'm gonna win so many channel points, the king is gonna be so proud. I don't think it's a good idea. I'm financially responsible, that horse threw it for the buddy- No! Says the girl that hasn't aged in 100 years, what's wrong with that? Just because I didn't age for 90 years, I'm aging now perfectly fine, I'm sorry. 99% of Twitch chatters quit gambling before winning the Grimmy Bowl. What? You're not gonna get the you're not gonna get the channel points. I'm sorry. You're gonna lose them all eventually. It can't keep going up forever. I'm like sixteen thousand opening. What? I'm like sixteen thousand up opening Counter Strike cases. Wait, what? You can win money in Counter Strike? What? Last time I was in Vegas, I gambled for the first time. I lost so much money. That's a terrible story, okay? I feel like a child forever, excluding the time when my back hurts. Oh, your your back hurts at 18? Oh, goodness, you do need yoga then. Eat some spinach and, and do some yoga. Eat some spinach and do some yoga. Eat some spinach and do some yoga. Limitless growth. The number goes up infinitely, gr Grimmy. No, there's no such thing as limitless growth. There's no such thing as limitless growth. You- no, don't listen to publicly traded companies, no, 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 don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted, no such thing. Y no, there isn't. Eventually it's going to plateau. But, like, the thing is, like, if you're a company that's publicly traded, like, you have to consistently go for exponential growth forever because all of your investors want that. So you can't just be like, I think we're, like, making a really good amount of money. Who else makes five million dollars a quarter? That's insane. Like, that's, that's crazy. They'll be like, what do you mean? You need to be making a hundred million dollars a quarter. You need to be making a hundred million dollars a quarter in three years. Go. Scary. Get it twisted, gambling, start gambling. Do not, do not get it twisted. Simply gamble the money I would have used for a Big Mac today and tomorrow's Big Mac and the days after Big Mac and- Well, why not just- Okay, what about this? Take that Big Mac money and put it aside and get some beans. Go to the store and get some beans. Go get some beans. Do not get it twisted. Go get some beans. Go get a nice little bag of dry beans. And then what I want you to do is- What? 
I'm not saying it! No! Why is that gorilla farting? Oh. No, that gorilla's next to someone talking. Oh. Hello, Z, say one. How are you? Thank you so much for being here for four months. There you go. There you go, marketable. And... Uh, what what do you mean? Bean? Huh? B b sure, able. Yeah, okay, why not? Uh, don't scamble, spend all your money on gotcha and VTubers, no! Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to the store and I want you to get a pack of beans. Any pack of beans, but you could get the 15 bean pack, the 16 bean pack, they're delicious. I want you to go home, and I want you to get a bowl, and I want you to put those beans inside of that bowl. Then I want you to go fill that bowl with water. Maybe maybe even just take half the pack of beans and put that and put those in water. Then I want you to just rinse them off. And then I want you to just leave them there overnight. Next day, I have something I have a I have a real interesting prospect for you with those beans. You take them, you drain the water out, you rinse them a little bit, you put them in a pot. Then from there, you put stock in there, like vegetable stock, beef stock, chicken stock, you put some kind of stock in there. Then this is where it's gonna get crazy. You heat it up. You heat that up. And then from there, this is gonna blow your mind. You put potatoes in it. And carrots. Two, two very cheap vegetables, but you're putting them in with the beans. It's gonna be crazy, trust me. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, only Helter I could find in your DMs? It's been a while, hasn't it? Oh, this is what Helter looks like. This is my brother's dog, I guess, or something. I don't know. I don't think about it that often. It's weird. I don't even spell helter. It's it's I don't know. I I don't I don't think about it. It's fine. Here. This is this is my brother's dog. Apparently. Thank you very much, Yama, for sending me that. Too much energy? Just to put those in the water. This is Helter. They don't really have a body. I guess you don't either, though. Huh. I'm not trying to turn you into a stew. You got the beans, you got the vegetables, you can put in anything else you want, then you heat it up for like 20 minutes. Oh, get some lentils too. Lentils are cheap. 20 minutes, you eat it. It's wonderful. You'll feel a lot better. Get some frozen spinach too. What if I just microwave the beans without water? They won't work. What do you mean? My favorite Grimmy Grimoire of VTuber interaction is when her chatters say they'll do something kooky and she gets visibly and audibly concerned. I assume that they're being honest. Do we add the severed nipples from earlier? Those have been chemically burned off. They no longer exist. I... Is the dog smug? I can't tell. This is just Gaspar's dog. I don't know. What about microwaving frozen broccoli instead? You could do that. There's usually um, ways to do that. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'd eat raw beans like tic-tac-toe. You'd probably get incredibly sick. <laughs> Do not eat undercooked lentils. You will start to feel like absolute garbage. You will feel like absolute hell. You will feel like horrible. You will feel disgusting. Every part of your body will begin to decay and feel just horrible. I would eat MREs if they weren't stupid expensive. You can get the, um, the humanitarian ones for really cheap. Spinach over lentils, I think they're both really good. You say this is a spe speaking from experience, they are they are really bad for you if you don't cook them. You need to simmer the lentils for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Then they'll taste good. It depends on the type of lentil too. Some might eat more, some might eat less, but you cannot eat them undercooked or you will suffer unimaginable torment. I don't even know what it is, but you will suffer unimaginable torment. I don't really understand why. Unimaginable torment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At what point do I add the 10 square pounds of nutmeg? No! I removed the lentils, Tech? No, I didn't. Why? Oh, it must have taken one off. Lentils. There we go. Okay, done. Okay, cool. There we go, there we go, there we go. Alright. 
You replaced it with saucy? I don't- I didn't want lentil- I- 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 I don't want that! I want- I want lentils! What about the two tag? Oh, that- that's what it is. Uh... I removed it a while back? I want my lentils back. I've started eating them more again. Oh. The beasts went inside to eat pumpkin's food. I'm not gonna let them in. I'm not letting the beasts in. Oh, D, yo! How are you doing? Are you doing good? D, you've come at a good time. Right now we're just talking about how we can implant false memories into people, and also, uh, Skelter has divided into many separate beings, and he will be in people's homes. That's what we're getting up to today. Oh, you were playing Yakuza! I'm very happy to hear that! Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? Loving the new look? Oh, thank you! That's very kind of you! How have you been? How have you been? Guys, this is Dice Queen D. She's incredibly strong and incredibly cool. She plays a lot of, like, board games and, like, tabletop... That's not... I don't think you play board games. She she does a lot of tabletops. I don't know why that in my brain that translated to ta to board games. Sometimes I do. Occasionally. Occasionally she'll play a board game. Occasionally. Her model is amazing. It's very cute. And and she also does a lot of fun stuff like um I don't know if you still LARP and stuff, but she she talked about that quite a bit if you're into that kind of stuff. I thought it was cool. Please go check her out. Please go check her out. Please go check her out. I had to over, uh, I had to Google undercooked lentils and thank you. I had never tried them and now I don't want to. Good for you. We're also talking about how lentils can make you feel like death itself. Best way to implant false memories is to just include someone in a thing you remember up to three times. Whoa, okay. Um. Alright, three times. Uh... I guess, okay, so what happened was someone was trying to implant a false memory in me that I had gone and talked to another VTuber, and, um, actually, they probably weren't, sorry, Kafka, uh, <laughs> but that's how I interpreted it, sorry! I don't know if you ever found what- I think you were probably just sleeping, dude, sorry. But that's very interesting. How did your stream go, by the way? Did you beat anyone up? I mean, it's possible. Were you actually trying to implant a false memory in me, Kafka? Uh, also, thank you, Devana, for the 100 bits. I'm here to- there's no taxes, but I appreciate you coming by. I'm still looking! I think you were just sleeping, buddy. I'm so sorry, Kafka. I think you were just sleeping. I think you were having an EP time and you had a little EP nightmare. Remember that time we went to McDonald's and that guy threatened the crap out of us? And they won't be sure the first time, but they- you keep saying it and they'll become convinced. Oh, wow. That's fine. I'm GMT8. What does that mean? GMT plus 8. That's a time zone, but I don't know which- time zones are scary. Remember that time I went to the Pentagon Taco Bell? No! It happened on the 28th of June at exactly 4.23 a.m. GMT plus 8, but I'm struggling to find it. How do you know what happened then? Well, now I'm gonna- <laughs> I don't think this happened, though. Uh, I... I don't think this... I don't think this happened. I'm sorry. Uh, but just in case... Just in case... I'm gonna try to find it. I'm, I'm smart enough to do this. I can find this. But it didn't happen. Imagine if it did. If it did, I will have a mental breakdown. If it did, I will start freaking out and get very scared. This all sounds like a family guy kind of way, gag. It didn't happen. But guys, please go check out D. And th D, thank you so much for the raid. And thank you so much for telling us how to gaslight people. That sounds cool. I'm going to start implanting false memories in people. It's just a time zone. Let's not get all of crafty and what the flip. It's fine. Let me do it. I feel bad you have to do it. I can help. Lots of love, Groovy. I got Mahjong. Oh, nice. I love Mahjong. I didn't know that. Someone said earlier that it was Grimmy. Okay, Grimvale! We figured it out! Thank you! Thank you so much! Okay. I love Mahjong, Bodhi. I, I'm glad that you like Mahjong, too. There we go. It was a different Grimmy. I have not interacted with Zentrea. Thank you very, very, very much. She, Zentrea does not know me, she knows Grimvale. Grimvale is Zentrea's friend, not Grimmy. There you go. We figured it out. 
There we go. There we go. You know what is cool? If you coat your soaked white beans in olive oil, onion powder, chili powder, thyme, white pepper, or oregano, and salt onto a tray, and then into your oven you get roast beans, and you can eat that with a squeeze of lime, rice, and lettuce, and you're gonna have a good time. That sounds wonderful, Salty. Yo, thank you so much. You're still so nice of you, Kafka. It's very nice of you, Kafka. You don't need to be embarrassed. I just am happy that I didn't sleepwalk and go to people's channels and start saying weird stuff to them. That is... That is a gigantic relief. Oh, yours and Shay, good for you. It's fine. It's fine. Let's take a sip. Yeah, okay, yeah, there you go. Thank you so much. I'm okay with this. You could you could tell me anything right now. Thank you so much. Crazy. Crazy to... Crazy to Martha. Thank you so much for subscribing with your Prime. Oh my god. I'm so relieved. My entire body is beginning to relax. Oh. Heavenly knows in chat? Yeah, he does. I Heavenly's a very nice person. He knows so much about FNAF. He's so cool. Like, he's he knows so much about FNAF lore. I was very impressed. And the way he describes it is like such a cool way of talking about it, too. It was Grimvale VT. Guys, go check out Grimvale VT. She is she is powerful. Remember that time you unconsciously raided Eros yesterday? Good times, you mother flipper. You mother flipper. Munchausen syndrome. Or the fictitious disease that happens when someone gets tricked into believing they have a mental illness, or they have a common cold, or that they can't walk, or that they have a mental illness, or that they have a common cold, and they won't be able to walk. I was taught manipulative tactics. Don't worry, I don't I won't use them. Interesting. Where did you learn them? You can convince me that I can't walk? I'm pretty sure I can walk, I'm just very tired. That is a skelter plushie! Will there be a manga about two 40-year-old men falling in love pitted inside of a No? Absolutely not! That would- that wouldn't happen! Um... I have not read any of those types of manga, but I would be very happy for the men that were in love with each other if I were to. I'm just going to say that. I think it's nice when people fall in love, especially if they're older. Good for them. Grivy famously can't walk? I- I can walk. When did that ever get... what? Okay, wait. You guys are gonna spread some weird rumors about me. Don't do that! Don't just be like, did you know Grimmy can't walk? Don't... 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 don't do that, please. Don't do that, please. Also, thank you, Vedra, for being here for three months. I appreciate that. How are you? Old man yelling Grimmy. There was a very nice looking old man manga, though. I, I don't know if you guys have seen this one, but there was a very sweet looking one where it's all about people that are all like retired and stuff and they just live together and they cook each other meals and they go like, ah, oh, remember when we were young and we went here? That's nice. Who wouldn't like that about any type of couple? That's very sweet. Have you seen Grimmy walk to say, I, I, why do I get this reputation? I showed you a manga about like giant like butch women yesterday that fight SCPs and they're in love and you're just like, hey Grimmy, hey. What about Yaoi? What about, what about, what about the butch women? What about them? They were cool. There you go. There's something unspeakably sweet and endearing about older people falling in love and it increases with age. It certainly does. It's very nice. Remember that time Grimmy revealed she was secretly three cra cats in a trench coat? I would love that. That would be awesome. I would love that. That would be wonderful. I would, that, that sounds like a charmed existence where you just go around to banks with like your little hat on and go, Row. That would be wonderful. If you're into butch women... It... I wasn't saying that, Raze. I was... <laughs> Giant butch women? What's the name of the manga, Grimmy? Oh, ho, ho. Jade. Oh, ho, ho. Jade. Oh, ho, ho. Let me, let me get it, actually. I, um, I have it in my Amazon... What's it called? I have it in my little Amazon, um, Kindle area. I can go to my orders and find it. Oh, it only keeps track of my physical orders. Uh, I can try to find out where my Kindle is. I don't know how to use this website. Uh, <laughs> Come on, where are you? Kindle. Or, um, library. Library. Why won't you just show me my library? I don't want to look at book. I don't know how to use the internet. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I don't know how to find it. 
Digital services? No. Where are my digital things? Where are my... Where are my... Where are my stupid books? <laughs> it was SH... Uh, WD. I think it... Yes, it was Special Hazardous Waste Disposal. Thank you for that. You know, I'm actually Grimmy's Gamer Subs Code. Not actually... <laughs> It, it, Grimmy is my gamer subcode. It's not giant butch women, but that would be cool. That would be cool, honestly. It's fine, but that would be cool. It was... It was... <coughs> Special Hazardous Waste Disposal. SHWD. It was about cool, like, ladies that go and fight SCPs. And once I read it, I, I've learned to start reading these so I don't accidentally show you a bunch of funny business. But once I read it, I will, I will read it to you on stream. It's on the left side pull-out menu. There's a left side pull-out menu? Well, I'll be. Did you know that? I'll be. Did you know that? I have not been used- I don't know how to use the internet. Oh, I forgot about that. I signed up for the thing where you can get, like, unlimited grocery delivery services just because I thought, like, man, I've been going outside too much lately. Four times a month? That's absurd. So now I've I've made my life worse. Uh, but I think it'll be fun. You can't change your coupon code on gamer subs. You can for us just saying, that's true, Riot. Also, Riot, I wanted to thank you so much for, for the drawing you did. I saw, like, um, a very nice, a very nice group sent me a very, very, very lovely package from Ofkai. And I wasn't able to open it on stream because I kept getting overwhelmed with work, but I did want to say thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. I'm going to frame it. I forgot I sent that. Oh, well, I, I'm going to frame it still. But they sent some very beautiful, nice little things, and I, I greatly appreciate it. I wanted to make sure I said thank you. Um, also, uh, you sent me... The, the nice group sent me five card packs from Ofkai, and I got all... All five of them, well, well, actually, I think there were four, wait. There were four of them. Let me see here. All four of them are hollow live. And I can only imagine if you would open these, you could have had pick of the litter when it came to, like, all of the different, like, trading opportunities there. There's Bijou and Regis. That was his name, Regis. And then two of, uh, Kayla. It was incredible. And then one of my cats tried to eat them. They're fine, though. But he, he was trying to eat them right off the shelf. Yes, Bijou! Yes, incredible, right? What luck! I know, right? It's so cool! Thank you, Grimmy, for that recommendation. You have saved my life as a lesbian, lesbian girl. I feel you. No, I, I really like a lot of Yuri manga. I don't think people understand. I really... If you if you want another recommendation, Roll Over and Die is so good. Roll Over and Die is so good. People have been sleeping on Roll Over and Die. If it ever gets an anime, it's gonna go hard. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Also, um, I'm glad the drawing, I'm happy it was there. So, yep, it all got here very safely. I'm sorry I didn't open it on stream. I, I was very appreciative of it. Oh, there's also a little Dante in here. We have Dante. Dante, 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 Dante. Sorry, be normal. Um, not from the Inferno. Well, kind of actually. Um, but from Limbus Company. Limbus. Limbus Corporation. Uh... Let's see, plus size elf? Do you count that as Yuri? Plus size elf doesn't really have Yuri in it. I'm sorry for anyone that was excited about that prospect. I don't think there's that much Yuri content in plus sized elf. There's a teeny tiny bit in, um, let's see, dungeon meshy? There's like a little tiny bit, like an itty bitty bit. Um, and then that game with everyone in cool suits. Oh, it's a really good game, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I know that, like, if you're watching the Dungeon Meshi anime, though, there's been there's been a little bit of Yuri content in it so far, and people have been excited about that. I read Gantz. I liked all of Gantz. Also, hi, Shadir. Uh, were you looking... Oh, were you looking for your official Ofkai card last year? I had an extra. Oh, that's so nice of you! I have some now, actually. Um, I forgot about this, but I'm actually going to be signing one and giving it to Nyanomancer to raffle off for one of his friends who had their apartment burned in all, a lot of their stuff destroyed. That kind of sucks. So, there you go. I myself am firmly in the Marseille uh, Fallen camp. I like them a lot. I like Marseille a lot. I like both of them a lot. Uh, I don't know where I am with it. I don't know, honestly. I feel like I like those two quite a bit, but... um, 
I am not gonna say anything because the anime is not there yet. That's all I'm gonna say. I will not say a single word more on the subject. You will not get anything out of me. There you go. I do not want to in any way, shape, or form even get close to accidentally spoiling people for that show. <laughs> I will not do it. I like Senshi. Senshi's probably my favorite. I like Marcel a lot too, though. No, Marcel's my favorite. She is really... God, I love Marcel so much. I... I was often compared to Marcel by a lot of my friends, which was... Um, she's very flawed. That tracks? What? Huh? 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 That fits? What do you mean? No. You're supposed to go, that's so weird. I don't understand. I like how many panty shots Sunshi gets. It's so random. It's because they find him attractive. Can you do a handstand? Out of dis- or a headstand out of disgust? I'll have to get there. You just confirmed it? No! Marcel reactions are great, they- that must be what they mean. I think they just- she's a very interesting and flawed person, but I like Marcel a lot. She's very sweet. I- this is gonna sound quite strange, but I really like when ladies can just be really, 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 really weird and annoying and crazy. <laughs> I feel like Marcel's a nice person, but she is crazy. Like, don't get it twisted. She's a crazy person. That's what I'm talking about? Hell yeah. She's a crazy, crazy, crazy woman. Marcel's heart is in the right place, but her brain probably isn't. Yeah. Is that your type, Grimmy? No, I just love that type of character. Um, my type when it comes to characters is probably... This is going to sound quite weird. I think... I, I think some people are like this, though. Uh... I feel like the characters that I like the most aren't often types that I'm attracted to or go like, Oh man, this guy's so cool, I'd want to go out with this type of character or this type of guy. Like... I feel like it's usually like the character that I just think is like the most interesting. So... There's... Most characters that I think are interesting, I'm just like, wow, they're so cool. So there you go. You like characters that are constantly inter- Yeah, they're interesting to watch, but they might not be characters I'm most attracted to. I feel like a lot of people go like, Oh my god, she's so hot, look at this lady. There you go. I like when Marcel reacts to things by standing on her head and bicycling her legs in the air. Yeah, she was very annoyed. She's like- So you like a character that's- She's so mean- Not always, no, 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 not always. Um... I really liked Kun Lan from Killer7. Uh... That's not a very... I don't think I'm similar to that character at all, but, like, they have an interesting cadence and way of speaking and, like, way of being in the world. Like, they're not even really physically there. It's very confusing, but they're very cool. Like, I like characters like that quite a bit, but they don't really represent me. Like, I'm here. Like, alive. For the time being, at least. Oh, have a good one. Have a good time. Have a good one, Balrog Shaw. Have a good one. You should play- I've played Killer7 like a hundred times! I love Killer7! It made me weird! I wake up every day fearing that a mini Rex rabbit will not- will not terrorize my appliances? Wait, what happened to you? Huh. So all the VTubers I watch- Hey! Wait a second. Do you guys just watch VTubers to feel better about who you are as a person and go like, Wow, at least I'm not like that. Do you? Yes, yes, yeah. Socialist daughter. Not at all, cow friend. Maybe. Yes, not at all, maybe. Mm -hmm. No, mm hmm. No, I relate to them. Mm hmm. What? No, definitely not. Mm hmm. Sometimes. Mm hmm. No, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I watch VTubers because they make me happy. But then again, Grimmy, I worry about you sometimes. Wait, what? Don't worry about me. I eat a lot of spinach. Why did you just say Dancing Dan? Why did you say your own name? I, I saw that. You thought you could get away with it because other people were talking. Why did you do that? I saw it. Why did you do that? Bob Bucky, why are you doing that? I prefer to watch VTubers that are girl failures because they make me happy. You know what? That's good. I watch Lucy Pyre because she's based. Hell yeah, Lucy's very based, very sweet. 
up, Gaber. <laughs> Demon Tana, what are you doing? Hazelberry Pie, okay, well... Reminds me of how people hated Wanamode because they related too much to Tomoko. I actually didn't relate that much to Tomoko when I watched it. I really liked her though, I loved her a lot. But um... I liked her more when she started like making buddies and she kinda was forced to like interact with people. Um... Yui is biggest girl failure- No, She's so cute! She looks so elegant and so beautiful. I think- I guess every- <laughs> Thank you, Fuzzy. I guess every VTuber is like a girl failure or a guy failure. There you go. I've only seen one season of Watamote. One season of Watamote is a decent amount. I think there's only one season. Like, they also have a manga. But... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna spoil something for you with Watamote. Like, with the manga. Like, if you had no intention to ever read it, it's... It's fine. But what happens is, um, it's not the one where she sees dead people. That's Moriko-chan. I love Moriko-chan! I love it so much! It's one of my favorites! It's one of my favorites! It's one of my favorites, by far. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. Um, but... Here's the thing. In Watamode, I was like, man, she's so angry at everyone. I don't really relate to this. But I did relate to her being very awkward and very weird and very silly. Um... But I didn't really have, like, hellish thoughts of just, like, the society is so stupid. Everyone hates each other. I hope they all die. Rah, rah, rah. Like, I didn't really have that. But, eventually the manga... Well, did someone say Yuri? Well, um, eventually the manga becomes a just really awkward time where she has a bunch of buddies and she's trying really hard to be friends with everyone. And I was like, oh, now I get it. Now I get it. And she has, like, a lot of ladies that are in love with her. It's very cute. I like it. Mmm. Mmm. It became- they started putting it in the Yuri section of, like, manga stores, apparently. So if you are super into Yuri and you loved Watamode, you- you can go and read something that you'll really, 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 really enjoy. There's a typo in the push- uh-oh. I didn't know there was a typo in the plush command. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, also, I- I really appreciate, uh, you being here for two months, Chaos Frost, v, v, or five. I appreciate it. Mariko Yuri is god tier? I didn't know that she had Yuri, but, um, I know that she has her friend that she really gets along with. What do you mean manga stories? Or manga stores? Comic book stores? Bookstores! 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 Um, there you go. There you go. Not really into Yuri, more of a Grimmy fan. What does that mean? Um, that- okay, I'll- I'll accept that. I'll accept it. Uh, why not? You- you do what you need to. But, I would recommend it. I know a lot of you guys like seeing ladies, like, mac on each other. They haven't gotten to that point yet with Watamode, but they do just have it in that section, so I assume it'll eventually happen. Oh, also, thank you so much, Dark Wolf Angel 18 for subscribing for three months in advance. I appreciate that. And I hope you enjoy your time here. Not a Yuri fan, just a Fujo fan. So you like Fujoshi content. I'm wondering if there's anything I'd know of that you might like? Um... Hmm... Uh... The implication is that you're a Fujo- oh, oh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you. I was like, I'll think of something they'll like. I was trying to be nice to you. What the flip? I was being nice to you. I was just like, oh my god, I need to give them a good recommendation then. Oh my goodness, I want them to have a good night. I want them to get off of this website and go and read something. They're gonna have a lovely one. You have a nice voice? You have a nice voice. Thank you. I'm sure your voice is wonderful. I like things that are depressing but nice at the end, like cyberpunk edge runners. Is that nice at the end? Um... Grimmy is currently browsing through her gigantic Lurie library, but she forgot all about- I'm trying to think of a nice yaoi one. It's just, um... I don't know if I have any. I feel like I have at least one yaoi book here. But, like, the thing is, like, I only read them if they have interesting stories. Um... I like Spear Hero. That's almost like a yaoi book. Spear Hero is pretty darn close to being, like, a yaoi book almost. Like, uh, Naofumi, the shield hero guy, is, like, one of his love interests. Like, 
they admitted to that in interviews. Uh, but I don't know. I'm here for the chill vibes instead of the usual high energy. I... I try to have a little bit of oomph, but I don't really have the, like, super, super zoomer oomph. I'm sorry. Well, actually, you're happy about that, so yeah, yeah! Let's all relax. My face when Devilman Crybaby was the first anime that... Oh! Actually gave me after anime depression. Dev yeah, there's some, like, really, really sad stuff out there. Girls Last Tour gave me post-manga depression. I like Cruel Yuri, though. I crave emotional violence. Oh, heck yeah. I like those a lot, too. Uh, I'm capable of providing high energy because I peaked my mic. There you go. And thank you so much for gifting a sub to Fail Girl Twitch. I hope you're doing well, Fail Girl Twitch. Um, there's... The Horizon's a very depressing manga. It has nothing to do with Yaoi or Yuri, though. It, it's just very depressing. Or it's a manhwa, actually, I think. Um... I don't think I have any Yaoi recommendations. My brain is blanking. There's that one that has just Snake and Otacon on it. Like, there was a manga that was just Snake and Otacon. I don't remember the title, although I would have to go ask Margo. Um, but it was just Snake and Otacon, and it was before Metal Gear Solid was really big. And what happened was, you could tell someone played Metal Gear Solid, wanted Snake and Otacon to be in love, and just wrote a manga immediately following, where there was a character named Dave, and there was a character named Hal. They might not have used those exact names, but they were just like, there you go. Get out there. And then they just wrote a fan fiction and got it published in a syndication. There you go. Good for them. Your o OTP is Kaguya and Moko... Moko... I don't know who those characters are. I d I'm very out of touch. Isn't that just fan fiction? It was a published manga. It ran in a published... It was a publication. It wasn't a doujinshi. It was a publication. They just got it and they were like, I like Metal Gear Solid, here you go. And they just wrote it and they threw it out there. Your? She's a giraffe? Or no, she's a girl fail because she learned how to fight instead of normal skills, just like me. That's cool though! Oh, Kaguya Moku, best lover, your hater Yuri. Oh, really? Okay. I'm gonna check it out. It was Dave's and Hal? Yep, that sounds about right. There's a hilarious potential with Snake Eater and Snake... <laughs> There's a lot of really interesting stuff with the Metal Gear Solid fandom. I'm glad it's all coming back so consistently. You're not out of touch, you're out of time, and you're out of my head, and when you're not a re What does that mean? Those are a lot of different words you said. There's a lot of fun stuff on the internet, isn't there? I'm happy about it. It seems like it's really neat these days. You can- you can find anything you like. There's song lyrics. Oh goodness. Oh, you're from Spy Family! Nice! She's very pretty. She's very pretty. I... I wonder... I have, um... How do I put this? I feel like you had to get into that show early. I feel like I can tell what's gonna happen in it, where they just become a cute little family. I would think I should have gotten into it quicker, because I watched a bit of it and I was just like, okay, I got what I needed out of it. I- I love Yor, though. She was very beautiful. Like, I don't know, her design and her outfit and everything? Um... If you really like Spy Family, I deeply apologize for this, but I thought the guy was a little bit boring. Um... You met her voice actress. That's so wonderful! That's lovely! Uh... Lloyd... was... J I have this problem with a lot of things where I'll watch them and I'll just be like, Why is this guy here? It should have a female main protagonist. I want them to be in love also. So I need to calm down on that. Um, exactly what he'd want you to think. Okay, well that's good then. That's good. That's good. There you go. I'm sorry. I think his name was Lloyd. I'm sorry, Lloyd. You're- you're a very good father, and I was- I was wrong to have said those words. Those were very rude. If you like Spy Family, um, you should look into Sakamoto Days. Sakamoto Days looks really cool. <gasps> oh! Don 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 looks really good. Have you guys seen Don Don Don? I'm excited for Don Don Don. Don Don Don. It's- it's a UFO, like, anime. Like, where, um, one girl is interested in, like, ghosts and spirits and, like, paranormal activity, and then there's also another character, the main fella character, and he's really interested in UFOs and all that stuff. Dan 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 manga is really good, I'm looking forward to it. Oh yeah, they're- they're translating it to an anime really well, too. It's gonna be so good. They're adapting it perfectly. It's gonna be amazing. There we go, there we go. 
Don 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 has been has been on my reading list for years. You should add, well, the anime's coming out actually. You could wait a bit. Spy X Family Brother Siscon made me really uncomfortable. Do not read Oshinoko. Just uh I know it has a lot to do with like idols and like a little bit of crossover with like VTubers and streaming and like you might be like this was so cute. Um uh Just don't read it. Don't read Oshinoko. No. Don't read it. No, don't tell them to do that. Don't do that to them. I just don't think you're gonna have a good experience with that manga. I, um... I don't think they're ever gonna animate past a certain point. I'm not gonna say anymore. That's... That's it. That's it. That's all of it. It's very good. It's- it's a very good anime. I really like it. Um... It had so much going for it. A few people know what I'm talking about when I say that it took a twist where a lot of people were like, Okay, this is pretty normal for anime. And a lot of people went... Oh god, okay, well... That's- 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 that's something. Oh my goodness. Hi, how's that yo? I regret my life choices. My arms feel like jelly. I blame Nuna. Did you, like, exercise today? Thank you so much for being here for 15 months, by the way. Guys, Hazmat is a is a beautiful anime man, by the way. Beautiful. Tuckopi's original sin? What is Tuckopi's original sin? It's good, just delves in the dark topics? Um... It is. It's just also... You know what? I'm not gonna stop people. I'm just gonna say, you go do. You go have a good time. You go have a good time. I read that recently and it hurts. Takopi is dark as hell. Oh, wow. Oh, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this down. Is it like, the only thing I can't take is if animals get hurt. If anything that looks like an animal or an animal gets hurt, I can't deal with it. I'm just saying. Um... What is this? It looks cute, though. Takapi is so good. Oh, that's good. Okay. Uh, children get hurt, um, but you like Made in Abyss? Damn. I do like Made in Abyss. It's cool. I think, um, you guys might like... What was it? Oh, gosh. What was it? Oh, rom, 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 rom. Mm, I can't remember it now. It was really interesting. <laughs> okay, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. It was not... Give me a sec. I can- I can remember this. I can remember this. It was... 100 push-ups each because of a donut. Whoa, that's wonderful, Hazmat! Congratulations, though! That was very kind of you. I'm glad that you had such a good donation time and, like, you donated to a good cause, it sounds like. That's wonderful. Good for you. Heck yeah! Um... It wasn't Takopi. There was one manga that you guys would probably like, but gosh, I do not remember the name of it. Oh my goodness gracious. Ah. I honestly have trouble killing animals in games if I don't have- yeah, like Resident Evil- yeah, I don't kill animals in video games. I just can't do it. Was nice outside- it was nice outside the push-ups? That's wonderful to hear. Good on you. You're doing good stuff for people. Good on you, and you're getting fit. That's good. that's wonderful. To your eternity. Did you weep, cry, it was good? That's wonderful. Uh... What was it? I don't know. There was a really messed up one I read, but I really enjoyed it. It wasn't like Junji Ito or anything. Aw, oh, man. Uh. Oh! This one was quite intense? This one was quite intense. But I was, uh, recommended. Uh, Shonen Abyss or like, Boys Abyss? That one was very intense, and blood on the tracks. Those two were really, really, really intense. Um, I don't know if you've ever encountered those. Also, thank you, Store Nax, for subscribing with your Prime. That's very nice of you. I really disliked how blood on the tracks ended. I don't know if I ever read the ending. I think I was like a few chapters off and forgot, but I don't think it ended well. I think... I might have seen it. Um. Hmm. 
Boys of this was bad, lots of trauma. Oh yeah. Oh, they were bad. They were real bad. Do you do karaoke streams? Haven't seen any. I'm really bad at singing. I don't know how to sing very well. I can sing maybe like three songs okay-ishly. I don't have enough for like a full karaoke stream. And if I were to try, it would go very poorly. Like I'm, I'm still trying to learn. But maybe someday I'll get better at it. I practice like a few hours a day usually, and I get a little bit better. But it takes time. It takes a lot of time. How about Neon Genesis Evangelion? That one was pretty intense, but... I don't know, um... I think Blood on the Tracks was really intense because I've known people like that. And once you know people like that, you're just kind of like, uh-oh. This isn't good. Like, it's very... uncomfortable. But there are people that- I think it was based on, like, someone with, like, some sort of, like, um... I don't even know. Like, I'm not a psychiatrist or psychologist or anything like that. But it seemed to be about a kid whose mom had, like, BPD and, like, psychopathy or something. Yeah, something like that. Like, it was a combination of, like, illnesses that was really bad. Like, it was a bad combination. I had to stop reading it because some of the events felt a little too close to home. I'm very- I'm very sorry for that. Um... You is no brain doctor, me neither. We both respect brain doctors. Oh, absolutely. Um... Wanted to like Heavenly Delusion, but man, the anime threw me off in the series. I- I haven't seen that one, but it sounds interesting. They named that illness after you? They did? Wait, what? Well, which one? But it was great, but boy, a little too real. Yeah, like, they real they probably knew someone with that type of illness on some level because it was really intense. Like, the mom obviously had some sort of, like, disorder that was really bad, and then the kid was just raised into it, and it was really intense. I have secured Major Gopher and Party Animals. Congratulations, soldier. Happy to hear this. Happy to hear that you've you've gotten the little guy. Wonderful to hear. Wonderful stuff. I'm... I'm just... I'm just still watching it. I'm just still... staring at it. I, I'm, I'm happy that you got the gopher. Also, hello, delicious milk tea. I hope you're doing well. I'm reading Wild Strawberry now. Beautiful art with flower monsters. Oh, that's cool. Um... You like Moonlit Fantasy? Oh, you might like, um, Innocent. I can't read it on stream again. Because it had a lot of... Uh, um, hmm. It had a lot of, uh... I don't even know how to put it. It had a lot of... Business. Wangus. It had a lot of art, yes. It had a lot of art. Wangus. It had a lot of art in Wangus. So... It was a beautiful series, and it was wonderful to watch and, like, read, but, like, it... I can't read it to you ever again. You're gonna have to go look at it yourself, I'm sorry! I believe the author writes from the heart, yeah. I don't know if I've seen any other things that were, like, quite as intense as, like, Blood on the Tracks, where you can tell the person was influenced by, like, their family. Like, if you guys know of anything, like, I'd, I'd love to hear it, like... There's probably quite a few little things. Oh, Blame is a good read? Cool. I, I know that it's, like, a very interesting looking one. I remember I read a series once called Happiness, and by the time I finished it, I felt the opposite of happy. Oh no! Oh no. I really like how unique Milk in a Bag of Milk in a Bag of Milk was. That might be one that's similar. Oyasumi Poon Poon is similar. Oyasumi Poon Poon was... bad in turn. Like, it was a good story, but it was... it leaves you feeling... It leaves you feeling really sad for humanity. I'll check out Daughter's Friend though, like if it's a, if it's a good comic book. Um, but no, like, uh, I I won't spoil it. But Poon Poon's not something you want to read if you've been in a rough place for a while. The uh, way the author draws human expressions is wild, and maybe it shows he pays a lot of attention to how people around him feel. Yeah. There are, like, quite a few times where you can tell, like, okay, this person probably spends a lot of time thinking about other people's feelings. 
You loved Sola Nin, though. Is that the other one they did that's, like, a little bit less depressing? Like, I've seen people, like, use it as, like, icons and stuff, but, like, I haven't really read it myself. Oyasumi Poon Poon is one of my absolute favorites. It's really intense. I'm glad that you like it. Oh, Ichino's Family Deadly Sins is psychological. Monster is really good, too, actually, for talking about psychological. Ooh, Monster was good. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll write all these down, though. I could use something to look at while I'm just chilling out, just going like, Hey, I have a few minutes. I need to do something. These look good. Ooh, the, the, this, sorry, I'm seeing some other stuff on here, too. There's a lot of really good comic books these days. I feel like I don't read as many, like, shonen ones just because, like, there's so many, like, really, really, like, new concept things coming out and stuff. Monster might be my favorite manga. Yeah, I think, ooh, it's up there for me. It might be one of my favorites. It's up there for me. Like, Monster was real intense. And it makes you think a little bit, like, it makes you think a- no, well, not a little bit, it makes you think a lot of just, like, who you are as a person, your decisions, like, why you treat people well, why you enable behavior, if you should, if you should change as a person, etc, etc. Like, it's really- it's really interesting just to think about who you are and, like, oh, I'm trying to do things well, let's go, and then, like, you're like, oh, that didn't work, uh-oh. Oh, Dorohidoro is my favorite, never mind. Dorohidoro is really good. How's the pacing of Monsters manga? The anime was a bit hard to watch because of that. I think it's got good pacing. I think it flows a lot better in, like, the manga, at least. For, for me, at least. I, I think they're both good, though. Dorohidoro is my favorite, though. I loved every second of it. Every character is my favorite. I really liked, um... I really liked Kikurage. They were probably my favorite character. I actually have a Kikurage plush that was, like, really... Really expensive to get because it was only sold in Japan. It was like to get it over here, like $200 altogether. And I was so happy about it. And I was so excited. And I was like, yeah, Kikurage! And then Pumpkin thought it was an animal that was going to kill her. So I can't even really keep it out. She looks at it and she looks at it like she's about to die. So she gives it this expression of just complete and utter terror. And she just won't come out if she can see it. So that was a little disappointing. But I- I thought it was nice. Oh well. Oh well. The author of Dorohidoro is working on a new manga. Yeah, yeah, yeah! The new manga is, um, what's it called? Uh... It's the one where they like meatball subs with like spaghetti- Die Dark! Die Dark! That- it was called Die Dark. They like, um, they like spaghetti or meatball sandwiches, right? Oh, I want a meatball sandwich now. Post-apocalyptic space neuromancer punk. That sounds so cool. The thing is, I kind of want to wait for a very long time. I just got here and I have no idea what we're talking about. We're talking about manga. Manga. In comic books, I guess. Or I guess Japanese ones. They're, they're pretty fun, though. I like the body horror in that. Oh, yeah. There's some really good stuff in Dorohidoro. It's the basic V answer, but my favorite manga is DBZ. That's not, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm Latino, it's also to be expected. I know that there's like a few types of like shows that got really, really big in like Latin America. It was like Dragon Ball Z and Saint Seiya. Apparently people really liked Saint Seiya. I have not read Saint Seiya, but Saint Seiya. Did you read Blame? It's insanely good. I need to still. Um, have you read Jobless Reincarnation? Mushoku Tensei. A little bit of it. Like, I... I really did like it, but it's also one of those things that you can't watch around other people. Um, and for anyone that's seen it, you know why, and for anyone that hasn't, um... Like... Uh, you'll know why if you watch it. <laughs> you'll go, oh, okay. Yep. Alright. Okay. But it is really good. Um... You just can't... I watched it with friends drunk. That's probably okay if everyone's drunk and going like, Oh, damn. Wow. Na na grimy. Na na grimy. Sleep time. That's really cool, though. I... I love it so far, anime-wise. It's very pretty, isn't it? Uh, understood. We'll watch Mush... Oh. Well, I mean, if she likes anime and stuff... Blink twice if Pumpkin judges what anime you watch. Pumpkin, do you okay with the anime? I think Pumpkin's just like, why are you on your computer? Come pet me. Gurren Lagann has always been my favorite anime for the vibe category. It's very, it's very passionate, isn't it? I love passionate anime and stuff. That's really, yeah. They go out there and they get them. 
Although I liked the first part more than the second part, I'll be honest with you. Um, Tokyo Ghoul's author has a new project, Shoujin X. It's entertaining. <gasps> okay, um... Oh, Mazinger Z was also really big in the Latino anime scene. Oh! Ah, fully intending to sleep! I like that you were like, I heard that. I heard that. No. Mazinger Z. And then you just fell back asleep. It's a great anime with realistic isekai stuff, but goddamn, they just go for it a few times, huh? I'm looking forward to the next season of Mushoku Tensei. I've already read all of the light novel. Wow, congratulations! Heck yeah! If we're talking about vibes, uh, I got my feelings with Hoseki no Kunai. Ah, oh, what's this? There might also be things that I know in- Oh, Land of the Lustrous! Oh! The one that I think had the most, like, I think about still con consistently and continuously, Shiki. If you guys have ever heard of Shiki, especially the two, like, extra episodes for Shiki, like, one of the extra episodes for Shiki was probably one of the saddest and scariest things I've ever seen. Shiki was really intense, and it makes you think about, like, you as a person, and, like, all of the selfish things about you, and, like, how, like, you're probably not a great person deep down if it came to your survival, but at the same time, everyone wants to survive, or the people that are trying to survive at your expense, bad or good, and, like, it's, it's really good. I really like it. It's the anime with the insane hair. Yes, absolutely. There you go. Thank you for reminding me to rewatch it. Please do, and please watch the extra episodes. Wonder Egg Priority. Wonder Egg Priority. That sounds like someone's trying to make, like, a really good egg sandwich. Ryan. That's the first time I heard Shiki mention him forever. It's one of my favorites. It might be my favorite. Shiki and Death Parade. Those are both really good. Those are both really, 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 really good. That episode? There's one episode in Shiki that's really intense. And it makes you think too much. Oh, Wonder Egg Priority! I've heard this is really good! I, I just realized with, like, the fan- or not the fan art, the, um, the art from it. The, um, I don't know where I got fan in my mind. Uh, but like, it's really, really interesting looking. I'm gonna check it out after stream. There you go. Reject being normal, be a good person? Well then there's the thing with like, what some of these animes are saying, just like, how could you be a good person if your circumstance dictate that you need to be a little bit hellish? Like, what if you're forced into a corner or something? What if like, that kind of stuff happens? And, like, what if you don't have the skills that you need to communicate or, like, try to, like, figure things out and you're afraid of just retribution? Like, there's a bunch of stuff like that. They're really interesting. Death Parade, it, it yeah, Death Parade is really good, too. Wonder Egg was good until the end? Uh-oh. Well, I'm excited for it. it. It sounds like it might be a bummer or it might be good. I'm not sure. Um, a pretty short one I really liked was I sold my... I sold my life for 10,000 yen per year. Oh, wow. That sounds, like, very intense. Wow. This is cool. Like, honestly, like... I could use some more stuff to read. I saw some Twitter post about ladies that were, like, writing a bunch of books about, like, monster guys, and I was like, maybe I'll get into this. Maybe this will be something I start reading. So this came at the perfect time for me to not just become a really, 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 really annoying weird person in terms of, like... I don't know. Just being like, guys, we should read these romance novels. Come on. We can- we can do that instead, come on! Although they might be kind of fun, actually. Oh, I got a weird one for you. Rai Rai Rai. Settle, setting is Earth after repelling an alien invasion, and some of the... Oh, some of the... Pests that the aliens left behind are now regular burdens for humans. A youngish girl has to deal with her deadbeat dad having left the family with a mountain of debt. One night she gets abducted by aliens and they make her share a body with a big beefy alien dude who wants to kill all humans. That sounds super weird. Thank you, Hazmat. That's good. That's interesting. Wow. Right, right, right. It looks pretty cool. You have some interesting recommendations. This one has absolutely nothing in common with anything we've been reading. Oh, Akumetsu! I like Akumetsu! <laughs> Thank you so much, Flappy Cat, for the, for the uh, 1400 bits. I appreciate that. How are you? Are you doing well? Thank you. That's very kind of you. Um... I do like the spider isekai, so I'm a spider. So what? I like it, it's cute. I've only read a few volumes of it though. But what was I gonna say about um Oh my goodness, oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness gracious. Oh the Jojo is interesting, but oh Akumetsu! Akumetsu is just almost done with overtime, 30 minutes left. Yeah, let's go! You've almost gotten through it. You got this, you got this. 
Akumetsu is like... You know how like we have a bunch of problems with politicians and like evil people? Like not all of them, I'm just saying there are some problems with some politicians and some corporations and some evil people and some people not treating people well and like doing all this stuff. Akumetsu is a power fantasy about just torturing and driving those people insane. It's like... And it's a good manga, I liked it. I thought it was cool. It was very like... It was very like... I don't know, it was neat. The old razzle-dazzle. I'm glad you like the old razzle-dazzle, by the way. We need Akumetsu in the USC. Like, it's a very interesting power fantasy. Because it's all about just having people go up and go like, You're doing stupid stuff and you suck! You should be nicer to people! And they go, I'm not going to be nice to people, you're one man! And then they go and like, they punch him or something. But then he comes back and he's like, No, I'm not! And then he like, punches them really hard in the face and they go, No, he's not! What do I do? And like, that's the whole manga. I'm like, it's- it's very bad! It's nice, honestly! It's not bad! Sometimes you just want to see that for a little bit. There you go. My biggest inspiration every day, wake up to a picture of Akumetsu and pray to it. Politicians should be looking at this and getting concerned. <laughs> this isn't something they probably want to see. They probably don't- they probably don't want to deal with that, honestly. Oh! My favorite manga might be- no, no, no. My favorite manga is Legend of the Strongest Man Kurosawa. It is my favorite manga. Whenever I'm depressed and not feeling good, I go back and I read that and I get more excited for life than I ever have been before and I get crazy. I feel great about it again. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. I'm very excited about it. I was wondering when you'd bring that one up because I love it. I love it so much. The translator stopped translating it though because he got kind of like super Christian after his dad, I think, passed away and he stopped wanting to translate stuff that had references to to, to gay people in it, I think, is what happened, actually, so... You can't read all of the second part of it, now that I think about it. I forgot about that. Uh... Life is weird? Oh, it is. Also, good night. Good night, Seiko. Please, please get some good rest. Um, I hope that you have a good one. Um... Uh... What, what do you think of the Madoka animes and mangas? I, I love it. I love it. I love, I love Madoka and Homura. Um, time to learn Japanese then? I think that's why I stopped reading it. Yeah, like, I probably should try to start learning Japanese. Well, here's the thing, though. I get to the point where I can read, like, Katakana and Hiragana, and then... And then there's more than that. <laughs> And then there's too many for me. And then you have to remember so many of them. And then I can't read any of it, so I can only read the ones that have the katakanas and the hiraganas around, like the kanji. And then I give up. And it's happened like three times. I don't know why, I'm sorry. I love the art of Doro Hidoro. Is there anything like it you can recommend? Um, Die Dark. <laughs> the, the person's other, uh, manga. The person's other manga is probably right up your alley. Akemi Homura is the best girl. She has beautiful long dark hair like yours. Oh, that's thank you. I hadn't really thought of that. Hers is all so well kept though, usually. It's in little braids or like, beautiful. Mine is just kind of, it gets worse every day. But I love it. I love it. Another good one you've read is Holy Land. Ooh, that's wonderful. What about Terraformers? I've heard Terraformers is pretty good. Um... Use flashcards, Grimmy? There's a lot of kanji. It's not because I'm not trying. There's a lot of it. It's not because I'm not trying. You don't understand. I'm trying really, really, really hard. There's a lot of them. And like, depending on how they look, they could look almost identical. And one could mean tree, and one could mean grove, and one could mean forest, and you have to remember which one's which. It's- it's really cool. It's just hard. It's like if every, like, ten days someone went like, I want to invent a new letter. And then they did. And everyone has to remember those letters forever. It's okay, though. This slight difference in the top left changes the meaning of the word completely. Yep. I have the same problem. I can speak, but I can't get the kanji down. You're doing really good, though, if you can speak it, though. That's good. Congratulations. You're working hard. Um, 
it was not in fact okay. It's just a very complex language. But that's good, honestly. Like, it's it's kind of neat. Like, I'm sure learning English is probably really hard too, honestly. <laughs> like, have you seen how some of our grammar and stuff is? Or like, if you just like put a C in the like, wrong spot of like a word and it's suddenly like an S and it's like, figure it out. Figure it out, kid. You're an American now, go for it. You gotta figure this out. Like, it sucks. I don't know. It's probably hellish. English has absolutely no rules. It does not. You could try Google Translate again. That's true, too. Silent letters are the worst. Oh, man. English was pretty easy to lean. Wait, English was pretty easy to learn? How? Honestly, one of the easiest ways to learn another language is to relearn your own language. What? Maybe? What? English is pretty com easy to learn compared to most? That's- that's fair. What is the hardest language to learn then? Would it be like Chinese? Or like... I feel like it would be Chinese, because they like don't even have like... Katakana, they have like... just kanji, right? The only other language I've bothered to learn was Arabic, and that was because of work. Ah... Oh. Chinese or Arabic. Ah... Oh. Grammar makes you learn languages. Ah... Oh. Imagine showing... Imagine showing... Colonel? To an English beginner? Uh oh Yeah. Even I looked at that and was like, that doesn't seem like a word. That's not true. That's not real. Let's- let's just get past it. Japanese is pretty hard. I've been reading nearly every day for a few years and still learn new kanji. Oh wow. Congratulations though, you're working hard. I think according to US State Department, Chinese is the most difficult for native English speakers. Oh dang. Oh dang. I'm always incredibly impressed with people. Like, I know some people that are just like, well, I know I know English and Spanish, but that's like not really that cool. Like everyone and it's like, are you kidding? That is impossible. <laughs> it is impossible to learn two languages. You are you are the most intelligent person on the planet Earth. <laughs> if you know two languages, you are incredibly smart. It doesn't matter what it is. Colonel and Colonel spot the difference. Oh god. Oh god, Coyote. Oh god. Mandarin Chinese, no bones about it, so that's the hardest one. English has a lot of baggage to it. There's a lot of confusing stuff with it, it seems like. Speaking and reading writing are also very different. That also makes sense. Like, I feel like I can understand a decent amount of Japanese, like, if it's spoken. And, like, I can go like, oh, okay. And I can kind of, like, puzzle out what people are saying, like, maybe, like, 30% of the time? Which is, like, kind of pathetic considering how long I've watched anime and, like, played video games and stuff. But, like, still, like, I can kind of figure that out. But when it comes to looking at, like, sentences, I can read the words, Oishi. Um, that's actually the only word. That's the only word I've successfully looked at and gone, like, nice. I can- I can not have to think about this. It's already through my brain. Every other time I have to, like, go, uh, uh, man, oh, man, okay, uh, okay, uh, okay, all right, yeah, mm, she, nah, mm, nah. um, no, like, uh, when you taste something good, oishi, oishi, not like oshi, oishi, I can't even pronounce it right. I'm getting deja vu here, time is a loop, did you know that? We're all living in a time loop. Time loop. Oishi. No need to learn how to write Japanese beyond the basics. Even native speakers are getting bad at writing Japanese because they use electronic electronics to convert hiragana to kanji. Oh no, really? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Welp. I guess it's like how people can't really, like, read cursive anymore and, like, write in cursive as much. You're making me think too hard. Sorry. Let's go. I'm sorry. I use an app called Tui, Tuida. It focuses on teaching how to speak Japanese right away and kanji afterwards. That's cool. It means delicious for those that didn't know. Oh yeah, it means like, oh, this is good. Oh, yum. Please do not time loop. Don't want to live relive Oshinoko over and over again. Were you really that upset about that? I'm sorry. Also, thank you, Robo Kitty, for being here for 22 months. I appreciate it. My time advances ever more. Indeed it does. But it's okay. I hope that you've had a very nice 22 months outside of the stream, too. 
I like my time, I like my fruit loops. Oh, that's nice. And you have a little panda. They're 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 throwing it down. They're throwing that behind around. Very nice. Oh, thank you so much. Uh Derwell. Derwald. Derwalda Derwaldapo the cur. Derwaldapodicur. Derwaldapodicur. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Derwaldapodicur. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for gifting five subs. That's very kind of you. Oh, also, thank you for telling me to stretch. I always miss those. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mommy said bye. Language exists to be used. If things are falling out of favor because they aren't used, let them be replaced. I guess that's true. Language evolves and gets better and stronger and more interesting. But what if someone has a favorite kanji and, like, people are forgetting what it looks like? What if, like, your favorite kanji is, like, a really beautiful one and, like, you show it to your grandkids and they're like, Mom, I don't care about- or Grandma, why do I care about this? This is stupid. Like, I can- I can use this one and it, it makes it- and, like, I can write it in seven different languages and, like, I don't need to know how to put that onto a paper. This is dumb and she'll be like, okay, sweetie. Like, that would be sad. You should learn all of your kanjis that your grandparents care about. Or all of your languages, or all of your words that your grandparents care about. Evolving language gave us skibbity riz. Fair. <sighs> the kanji's the best thing to read. And learn, and write. That's nice. Funny how cursive was taught for like a few months, then never brought up again ever in school. Yeah. A lot of people use cursive though, like if they're in their like, I'm trying to think. 50s, I think? I think 50s is like the cutoff for like people using cursive a lot. Adult neuroplasty is damn different. It's true too. If you're a baby and trying to learn a language, like you'll probably do a lot better than like one of us. Let us not forget strumpet. What is strumpet? What? I'm five days away from a year streak in Japanese and Duolingo. Yo, you're learning it! You got this! You got this! I- I would love to learn another language. I feel like- I feel like for a while I was like, I should- I should learn Japanese, but... Now I'm like, I don't know, I- Hmm... A strumpet is a harlot? That's a good word for a harlot! I love it! Strumpet! 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 Sorry, that kind of sounds like a... Strumpet! 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 Like a... Busting it down kind of beat. It's cool. I know how to use cursive for my signature, but I definitely prefer not to use it otherwise. Yeah. Hmm. I'm bilingual and I keep forgetting things from both languages. I feel dumb. Oh, that's okay. I think that's normal though. Like you're using what you need from each. Once you learn how to speak it, you realize how kind of stupid anime characters sound. That's something. I've noticed and people get very angry at me for talking about. Um... Mm, this might start a war and I deeply apologize for that. But, um... I've... I played Final Fantasy XIV with English voices and I've also seen like the Japanese cutscenes. Um... They, like, hired, like, really well-trained actors for the English version, like, that are, like, acting in, like, Shakespeare plays and, like, suit their characters really well and, like, really, really, really act. Like, Emmett Selk was, like, one of the best voice actors I've ever heard. And then I heard him in Japanese, and he was good and stuff, but it was just, like, I was like, whoa, the, the guy in English sounds really good, like, he was acting really well, you should, you should listen to it in English, too. And everyone I told that to wanted me to die. <laughs> they were not happy with me at all saying that. Like, and there's nothing wrong with, like, the Japanese one. It's just that he was, like, you know, not really... He was doing anime acting. And, like, it sounded good, and he was, like... He was a good character for it, and he sounded really positive and stuff, but... It's just that they hired, like, someone really, 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 really good in English. Like, they hired someone that was trained in Shakespeare because the character was supposed to be very into Shakespeare, and they were very theatrical, and they were very intense about sounding like an old friend that had, like, known your character for It was just really good. It was a really good performance. Like, as an actor, and I was like, that's wonderful. And everyone was just like, no, why are you saying that? And I was like, okay. 
Never mind. Okay. But I can tell they're not really doing the same amount of, like, acting as the other guy. It's okay. Alright, that's fine. I miss Emmett Silk so much. He- Emmett Silk is such a good character. Um, English dub is either super good or the worst thing you've ever heard. I feel like it's getting way better, like, recently. People are, like, getting really strong and stuff. Like, they've worked really, really, really hard to, like, not just become, like, dub actors, but be to, like, become, like, real, like, solid, like, actors and stuff. Not to say that people that do dubs are, like, bad at acting, it's just... I feel like there's been, like, a really big push to be, like, an actor first, and then, like, you know, a voice actor serve actor second, so that's really neat. That's- I don't know, I think that's really cool. I've only played in English and wouldn't have it any other way- Yeah, the English dub, like, past a certain point is super good. They realize most of their viewers speak English, so my guess is they don't have to think- Think they don't have to try as hard, maybe. Um... Most people do prefer, like, the subs and stuff, but... I really do mean it with 14, like, I was really surprised by, like, the English voice acting for, like, Emmett Selk. And their voices could not be more different. In Japanese, they sound like this. They're very handsome and very intense. And very like, oh yes, okay, of course, yes. And in English, they sound like this. They're very whiny and snooty. But it sounds, it sounds perfect for the character when you start to, like, listen to the story and stuff. It's incredible. Some people forget voice acting is acting, it's not just the voice. Sometimes it's hard to convey that if they solely focus on the voice. Ah, could be. Um, some Japanese, like, stuff though, like, it doesn't really sound, like, that different from, like, the English dubs, is what I've noticed. Because I try to play, I, I try to pay attention to, like, the inflections and, like, what they've done with their voices and, like, how they're playing scenes and stuff. And some of them are extremely good, don't get me wrong. But some of them do just kind of sound... Like, the dub actors, but in Japanese, like, they don't sound exactly like people. They sound like just, you know, like, uh, anime characters, I guess. Which I guess is where it comes from. Which I guess is, I don't know. But it's not every show. It's not every show by far. And sometimes it really suits the characters. Like, I think, I think Doro Hidoro had a really good, like, what's it called, cast? Like, I think they all sounded perfect for their characters. Stuff like that. But, like, when it comes to, like... I guess, like, things where, like, everyone's supposed to sound, like, very real, it can sometimes be a little bit strange. All the big anime, uh, have amazing dubs, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, they work really hard to find the right people for all that stuff. They hire incredibly, 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 incredibly talented performers and stuff, too. Uh, my money is on the stigma still not dying. It doesn't help when people think of dubs and they immediately go to the infamous ghost story dubs. Ah. There's stuff like that, too. The 4Kids Yu-Gi-Oh! GX dub was perfectly funny. Yeah, they also work quite hard on them these days, I feel like. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like it's because a lot of people started getting into it that were just like, Man, I really like anime. I want to make something really cool that people will enjoy. And then those people are doing a lot of the casting decisions. And then those people are doing a lot of the, like, working hard to make sure, like, the animes actually sound well-produced and, like, well-thought-out and, like, they have just as much merit and just as much, like, time put into them as their Japanese stuff. Like, so... I think it's stuff like that. They've worked really hard. Am I crazy or did the GX dubbers start making it in a bridge series... start making a bridge series humor? Maybe! <laughs> They might have all just become fans of, like, the Abridged series stuff and start going for it. That's fun. That's wonderful to hear, honestly. Like, a lot of people get super into that stuff. Like, if you really enjoy something and you want to work hard and put your whole heart into it, you can- you can go for it. There you go, Chaz <laughs> That's wonderful, though. I like that. I haven't seen it, but I'm very happy for them. Chaz it up. What does Chaz do for them? You're not crazy, early dubs did have that trend going- Oh, interesting. I'm sure part of it is just- It's just bigger and taken way more seriously across the board. That's true, too. Um... I feel like before also, maybe it was just like, This is like a kid's show, just do whatever. Now it's like, They're gonna find us online and they're gonna scream at us. They're gonna send us hundreds of emails going like, You didn't do a good job here. You didn't do a good job here. Yo, stop it, etc, etc. For like months, if not years. So, there you go. Probably because around that time the team 4-star dub was making the rounds on YouTube. Yeah! So now they find things that they actually enjoy, they put their whole heart into it, it's wonderful. They're working hard, it's wonderful! In a few years, maybe even you could be a part of it. 
if you're someone that's just like, I could do this dub so much better, maybe you could go and like, you could get a job at one of the studios and you could be like, I'm doing it so much better and in a few years, it'll be perfect, it'll be wonderful. You go for it, I believe in you. I think it's possible. I think you can get out there and you can be like, you can give them a firm handshake and just be like, you hire me here and they'll go, go to college for these specific skills and you'll go, okay, and then you can go to college for those specific skills and then you can come back and do it. Yeah. Speaking of English dubs, David Hayter is Snake. Oh, yeah. Also, yeah, Skelter became a marketable plush. How are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I could do it better than do it? Heck yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not in a negative way. Not in like a you suck kind of way. Like, you go do it then if it's so easy. Like, no, like, you you just go do it and have fun. Maybe, maybe give it your best effort. Like, see if you can get a job doing it. See if you can find the skills. See what kind of skills the people doing it currently have. Also, hello, Rip Rotten. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Like, that's what I'd say to go for. And yes, David Hater is Snake. I love David Hater's voice. He's so good. I am so happy that Delta is getting David Hater involved. I think that's the one thing that made everyone go like, We like this. We like this a lot. Can you rate our voice actings? I can try. Um, I can give you constructive criticism if you'd like. Um... Dubs are more performative since they work outside of the production, which is a bit why the fan dub scene was able to catch on so quickly. The more and more official dubs conglomerated, conglomerated into a single company that had a small net of people, the weaker the anime dub industry became. Oh, is that what happened? Oh, shoot. There's probably some pretty good actors in there, like here and there, though. It's, I think, something where they're also starting to go more by, like, just audition and stuff? Maybe? Maybe. I think at least. I've heard a lot of really good dubs lately. I've been trying to voice act I could do a dub and sub, but I don't want to sound like a foreigner. Oh. Sometimes they like foreigners, though, when, like, they need those for, like, stuff. Like, they might want someone that has a thick accent. Like, so, it's okay. Uh, Emily Rudd doing Marseille gives me hope in dubs. Absolutely. And then there's also the Final Fantasy VII remake dubs. They got, like, TV actors and stuff. They were very good. They were very good. They changed Hater for... Wait, what? For Sutherland? For one second I thought you were talking about James from Silent Hill 2, and I was like, what? He's voicing James in Silent Hill 2? Um... But yeah, I think what happened with... Sutherland was... Uh, he, he was fine. He... I think it worked for the story. I can't say what happened in the story, though, because not everyone's played it. Don't worry about it. David Hayter is so convincing a snake, I don't believe that there was a... Oh no, there was a Japanese dub of the game. Um, I could see Kojima doing that. There, there was a Japanese dub of the game, but I could see him doing that too. What actually does have that is Suda51 likes using American voice actors without having any Japanese um, voice cast. Suda51 does that pretty often. I think he did that with Let It Die, he did that with No More Heroes. I'm not sure if he did it with his other games, but he's done it with quite a few. He's done it with quite a few. Also, good night! Sleep tight! It's been- it's at 2am, I should sleep- please get some good rest. Please get some good rest. Reminds me of the weird thing about how Wuthering Waves voice director wanted American accents. Huh, out of all the English voice actors. Oh, interesting. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Huh. Hideo Kojima said he wanted someone with more emotional range, so they hired Sutherland. Before or after the game came out? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Before or after? Because it was probably before. It was probably before. And there's... there's... Uh, hmm. I don't know. I, I would love to... I would love to hear more about it. I also know that, um... Uh, I'm not sure of the context for this. I've been trying to stay a little bit away from, like, all of the Metal Gear stuff so I don't get too spoiled if they're gonna add in anything. We probably won't. But, um... I heard that one of the directors for the Metal Gear Solid Delta project, or it was someone very high up in production, was like, we'd love to work with Kojima on a game. And I just thought, why'd they do that? Also, thank you, Rip Rod, and I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're enjoying it, but I... I don't know if that was a good idea to say those words. I don't think those words should have come out of that person's mouth. Um... I don't know. I think it was just a bad idea overall, honestly. You know? I don't think it was good. I think it was probably a bad idea, but y you know. 
Um. Uh, it kind of was. Maybe, maybe they somehow resolved it. I don't, I don't think they did though. I don't think they did. <laughs> the finger curled on the monkey's paw. How dare you stand where he stood? I think he just really. I think it was probably how they felt. Why is that bad? I don't know how Konami would feel about that statement. Kojima said he doesn't want anything to do with Metal Gear Solid anymore. That's very fair, considering. Can you impersonate any characters? Um... Can I? Let's see. Um, what I really like to do is Bobby Hill from King of the Hill. You can get your voice really low, and then you can just talk about whatever. That one's really good. You sound like a 12-year-old boy that's got some problems. My voice is a little scratchy right now, though. Um, Grimmy has the great ocelot impression. Everyone does. Um, that's my purse. I can say that part really easily. But I don't know how many character impressions I can do. Grimmy, <laughs> no. I don't know how many character impressions I can do. Konami employee hyping up Kojima's, like, being a Boeing whistleblower. We sure are on Boeing whistleblowers today. I think Konami and Kojima could get along someday, hopefully. Maybe. Um, also Sutherland was famous for his snake-ass characters though, so it seems like he circled back to someone like David Hayter, but not David Hayter. I- I'm really happy that David Hayter's so involved in Delta. That's at least really nice. They've been paying him to do like a bunch of stuff for it, it seems like, so that's really good. I've been really, 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 really happy about that at least. Metal Gear Solid and Yu-Gi-Oh collab win Konami? That'd be cool. That'd be cool. They got- they actually do have a few cards from Yu-Gi-Oh that look like uh, Metal Gear Solid. Like, there's one that looks almost exactly like Raiden and Snake combined, like, holding a gun, looking around a corner. I forgot what it was called. I don't- it, it might have been, like, Espionage Expert? Like, let me see if I can find it. One second. Oh wow, it was just Tactical Espionage Expert. Never mind. This is the, um, this is the card. Let me see if I can find a big picture of it. Um, here it is. Okay, so this is just it. This is what it looks like. This is just Snake and Raiden if they had, like, I'm not gonna say a baby because now everyone thinks that M. Frag is 90. If they, um, if they combined. Sorry, Skelter, let me, let me, let me, let me cover one of you up for a second. There you go, tactical espionage expert. There you go. And no trap cards can be used when this happens, so that's pretty cool. Metal Gear Acid 3 with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Ah. I just want to know how Metal Gear Solid 5 was meant to end like. Ah, uh, probably very, very differently. This is very cool, though. It's just Snake and Raiden. Like, it's them combined into one guy. If they fusion danced, exactly. Speaking of, David Hayter really likes me making Metal Gear Solid lore videos. Oh, cool. That's wonderful. Oh yeah, he does all of the, uh, did you know, gaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, I'll, um, Kazuki Takahashi? Why are you saying Takahashi and crying? What's wrong with that? Uh, Kazuki Takahashi. Kazuki Takahashi. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, I remember now. Oh, that poor guy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was very unhappy. Yeah. I'm very sorry, um, to everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Well, it's... He had a very wonderful impact on the world, and people will remember him for a very long time to come. It is really crappy what happened, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, you, you probably c could throw him like a football at the Skelter. Yeah, absolutely. He passed saving someone's life, too. I think he was at least attempting to. Like, he was trying really hard to save someone that was, like, not doing super good. So that's, that's positive, at least. Um. 
Ya. 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 Streaming from Iron Lung. I'm not streaming from an Iron Lung. I'm just considering what happened to certain people, and it's it's uh it's fine. It sucks, but it is what it is. He was a true hero in the very end. He was. Man, it does suck though. I don't know what else to say besides I guess this kind of stuff happened. Oh no, it's okay. You don't need to feel bad about bringing it up. I think it's really lovely that everyone's so happy that he had like you know a profound impact on their life and that we all get to think about it whenever we think about the things that he created. It's very, very, very nice, honestly. And that's okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. He's a hero. He made a lot of good memories for you, so just remember to focus on all of the positive things. Pour one out for a national treasure. Exactly. One billion percent. Like, there's a lot of people where, like, they probably had some rough stuff happen, but it's good to focus on all of the good things, too. Like, if you don't, you're gonna inevitably feel kind of bad about it, probably. So, remember to think about all the positives, too. He made so many cool things, right? Yeah. All of, like, it's, yeah. There's been a couple of, like, people that have passed away, though, where it's like, dang. Uh, yeah. Why was she crying until you said it? What? I wasn't crying. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, um... <clears throat> Everyone, pay attention. Skelter? What, has it been four hours? Skelter? Thank you very much for coming here today. We're going to continue streaming, but I'd like to take a moment to say that the reason we're having this stream is because Skelter has decided to start becoming a marketable plush and breaking into your house. There you go. That's... There you go. They have become a marketable plush. They want to break into your house. Do not forget. Do not forget, he is becoming a marketable plush and he is breaking into your house. There you go. Yeah. Thanks, Skelter. It's so nice of you to do that. Isn't it nice of you, Skelter? Yeah. Skelter has finally embraced capitalism. He's at least embraced breaking into your homes. If you don't purchase one, he'll still be there but invisible. There you go. Buy the marketable cat ghost if you can afford him. If you can afford him. And if you can't, he will watch you in your dreams. He will be there and invisible, protecting you from all harm. Forever and ever and ever. Is he really breaking in if I let him? Uh... No. I, I think at that point you're just roommates. There you go. Skelter stole my Samsung fridge. Please tell him to give it back. I'm very s Why did you have a Samsung fridge? What, what was it like a smart fridge where it tells you like you need more pasta you need more pasta you need more pasta you have three apples you have three apples would you like to make a request for more apples you usually eat this many apples per month was it like that he has been acquired thank you very much i hope that you enjoy him and i hope that you hang out with him please give him please please hang out with your little buddies too if you have any pets Please make sure you're patting them as well. Skelter, Skelter will understand if you need to go and play with your pets instead. You're their entire lives. Please give them lots of little kisses. I just gotta get more pasta now. No, no, only if your fridge says to. It's okay. Why does Samsung make refrigerators? Why not? Why not? I guess after a certain point you can get into making anything if you have a factory. Samsung makes appliances? I thought they just made phones. I'm sorry. I got really aggressive about that. I'm sorry for being like, you have a smart fridge? Ah, that was rude of me. My bad. My bad. They make everything in Korea. Oh, interesting. Really? I really worry if, my, if I get Skelter, my dogs would be nice to him. Oh no, that's not good. Well, wait, didn't the dude who leaked GTA 5 hacked with a smart fridge? I'm sorry, what? He hacked a smart fridge? Also, I feel so bad for the people that made GTA 5. I feel so bad, like, the next day they were like, here's the trailer, whatever. God darn it. Like, they probably worked so hard, and then, the, like, they just had to be like, whatever. Here. I don't care. It's fine. Look. Whatever. Yeah, people are twerking on cars. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it would have been awesome, wouldn't it? We could have had two more weeks to put this together, this little... That's how they probably felt. Hmm. That's probably how they felt. After years of development, they were probably just like, I'm going to murder this child. 
Why not? General Electric makes washing machines in the average auto can and- Wait, what? In the A10 Warthog? Whoa, what? I need an app for my toaster to know when it's done? Unironically, I leave a lot of toast in the toaster. That might actually be something I'd- <laughs> I, I start to make toast and then I get up and walk away and I start getting busy and then like four hours later someone will be like, You left your toast. And I'll be like, uh-oh. And then it'll just- it'll be disgusting, but I'll eat it. There's stuff like that, you know? YouTube analytics can tell if someone is watching your YouTube videos from a smart- Whoa! I gotta get a smart fridge so I can start watching, like, specific VTubers on my fridge. So they'll just be a little bit terrified whenever they see it. That's very cool. That's one way to make someone very uncomfortable. Or if you're really crazy and you have unlimited money, get, like, 50 fridges and put them on all of them. And then they'll be like, what's happening? Why are they doing this? And if you really want to make them go crazy, just go to like a store where they sell a ton of like smart fridges, put them on all of them whenever you can, and then see them go, what's happening? Why are 100% of my viewers coming from smart fridges? Why is this happening? What? The Singer Sewing Machine Company made guns during World War II. Oh yeah, they were probably really happy about that too. Like, I don't know, it's interesting when you think about it. Like, it was probably very hard to get work back then, and they were like, awesome. We get to eat food. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. We get to eat food. This is awesome. Oh, yo, soy milk. How are you? You're in headlights, are you? What happened? <gasps> How are you doing? Yo. The GTA 6 hacker used an Amazon Fire Stick and smartphone to hack Rockstar, not a smart fridge. Oh, whoa. That's still really cool. Oh wait, I thought he used that after he went to jail or something. It's confusing. Smart fridge automatically makes a tweet for everything you take out of the fridge. The future is bright. That's scary. We're talking about smart fridges. Oh, you were doing art. How was it? Vehicular deer slaughter raid. Wait, what happened to you? Did you guys try to murder? Deer in headlights, soy painting raid. You guys have a lot of varied things that you are saying right now. But heck yeah. Guys, please go check out soy milk. You're allergic to soy milk? Oh, that's so sad. Well, you can get over it in small- like, if you give yourself a little bit of exposure over time, you can get rid of that allergy, you know? There you go, come on, go check her out, go check her out. We would never run over soy- that's... That sounds nice. I don't think you're lying. There's a soy milk VTuber? Well, kind of. Yeah. Oh, that's a lie, they would run you over- I knew it was a lie. So thank you, Muzzy, so much for gifting soy milk a sub. Thank you. But guys, please go check her out. She's very sweet. And even if you're not a fan of, I guess, plant-based milks, um, I don't think that's gonna, like, be something you have to worry about there. I don't think it's gonna be like, all right, everyone. That would actually be really cool if you were just like, everyone, bring out your cup of soy milk and start drinking. You have to do that right now. You have to do that right now. You have a curse placed upon you if you are not drinking soy milk as you watch me. That'd be cool, honestly. I think that would be awesome. Yeah, get your, get your vegan milky ready. Chug the soy milk now. That'd be awesome. Yo! But please go check her out. I know that you guys would enjoy it. And, and how is your stream? It's the rite of passage. They have to bust out the soy milk. Hell yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. But thank you guys for coming by. We're just talking about... I guess this point, pretty much nothing. We're just... Uh, Skelter decided to divide himself into like a million little guys, and he's on makeshift now, and we're just chillin'. Hope you've been having a great stream so far, Grimmy. I have! I really appreciate that, thank you! I hope that you've been having a really good stream so far, too. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you again. Uh, uh, th thank you so much. Uh, you'll get such a tummy ache, you will learn to like it. Thank you so much, Der Welda Po- Der Welda Po- Okay, Der- One moment, I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Der Welda Po- do der well the pull der der well the pull get there der well the pull ticker der well the pull ticker der well the pull ticker thank you so much for gifting five subs that is very kind of you and yeah Skelter became a little marketable plush yeah he looks very throwable against the wallable no he's not he's very sweet he's very gentle you should pick him up and you should hug him as you go to sleep that's what I do whenever I'm not hugging one of my little fluffy cats. I hug him as I go to sleep, and I feel very relaxed, and I feel very happy now. Yeah. There you go. I used to love soy milk. I used to drink soy vanilla chai all the time. It just doesn't love me. Oh, no. 
Oh no, were you getting really... Well, I'm, I'm not gonna ask. Never mind. You, you were... Understandable if you need to not do that, but I still think you would like soy milk. Um... All I've learned from these raiders is that we're supposed to run over soy milk. No! I think that you should go and form a new relationship with soy milk, and this one can be a positive experience for you, rather than one probably full of flatulence, is what I imagine happened. Um, I love when you butcher my name. Der Waldepolker. Der Waldepolker. Der Waldepolker. You're like German, right? Or is that Der Waldepolker? Der Waldepolker. Yeah, German. Right? Yeah, I think? No? Okay. That's fair. I'll keep butchering your name. That's fair. Grimmy is too sweet. I just think that soy milk, as a as both a product and as a person, is really worth paying attention to. There you go. Not that you're a product. I was talking about the plant-based milk alternative. You know, how it is. There you go. Yeah. Soy milk is perfectly acceptable for my tea. There we go. Let's go. I was talking- I was singing Oats Praise earlier, but check out soy milk as well. There you go. I'm very much a product of my parents. There we go. I hope that they were, they, they made me in the labs. There we go. Cool, heck yeah, why not? I think that's a positive one. Like, even if you're a little bit of like a SCP or something, go for it, why not? Just enjoy your life, enjoy soy milk. Was that like your handle, like on like the forms where they were like, we can't name them, we can't get attached to them, just, just call them soy milk. And then they eventually got attached to you. Like, you can give a cat any type of name, but you'll eventually get attached to them. I use soy milk purely just because it's slightly healthier and doesn't go bad as quickly. Yeah, plant-based milk does not go as bad as quickly. It's really good. Soy milk ran over themselves? That sounds evil. You sound like you're an evil person. That's That sounds like a lie. That sounds just like, yeah, she she fell down some some stairs. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. Nah. Like, that's... Oh, you silly little, you silly little mister. What? No? She really did run herself over? Okay, it wasn't you? Okay, I'll believe you. I'll believe you. I crushed the air out of my milk jug so it lasts longer. Oh, that's nice! Yo, that's wonderful. That does sound very scary, though, when you put it that way. It sounds very intense. Suddenly reminded of all the times I've run myself over at Halo. <laughs> Twitter will have the evidence, I swear, I will check. We can get this guy out of here if you want. Is he- is he bothering you? Is he bothering you? No, I'm sorry. That's very rude, actually. You're not bothering anyone. I'm sorry. You're not bothering anyone. It was a joke, but then I just realized, oh, what if- what if you're terrified? It's okay. It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Everything's alright. Don't worry. It's all gonna be okay. Yeah, just relax. Just relax. It's alright. Just relax. Shoot that, rem shoot, that reminds me I need to finish my jug of chalky milk before it goes bad next week. You should. That's a lot of protein in there. Grimmy, please remember to breathe. I'm breathing. I'm good. I'm good. You can worry now. Yeah. Yeah. You can worry about, like, you know what soy milk does have? Sorry, soy. <laughs> you just come by and it's like, hey, I had a stream and it's like, we need to discuss the pros and cons of every plant-based milk now. This might happen to you a lot, actually. Please tell me it happens to you at least sometimes. Um, but soy has a lot of protein in it. Has a lot of protein. Does not have any cholesterol. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Doesn't have any cholesterol. That's good. I would like to get milk, but unfortunately I only have a mini fridge which does not fit the gallons of milk and also turns out it is not made to be set on side because it will leak like hell. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, you have to have fridges right side up. There's like a bunch of like components and I'm so sorry, Netjet Michael, you went through an experience. Um... You'll poop? Well, I mean, maybe pooping's not the worst thing that could happen to you. Fun fact, I once left a jug of chocolate milk in my fridge for so long that the milk ate through the jug and leaked everywhere. Oh god. Is it, like, acidic in nature to some extent? That's kind of scary. I didn't know that that could happen. That's really weird. Um... Holy F indeed. Holy F. Uh... Can milk do that? His milk can do it. I don't know if you should drink that. Wherever you're getting it from, it's not a good idea. I don't know. Uh, milk should be a base, no? Milk jugs are made out of PLA plastic, which is polylatic acid. It's derived from corn. Oh. 
that good for you or bad for you? That sounds pretty bad for you. It has acid in it. I know that there's like also like microplastics and everything now. How are you supposed to avoid microplastics? Do you just have to like eat nothing that's ever been contained with plastic? Like how would you even do that? Would you have to like rinse everything? Can the plastic be on there even if you rinse it? That's the neat part, you don't. Wait, what? I love plastic, it's my favorite food. Well, that's good, because you're eating a lot of it. Uh... That's not good. Uh... My grandpa doesn't like local milk company because he says it expires too fast. Meanwhile, my dad likes that one and says the one my grandpa likes expires too fast. I do not think there's a difference. That is fair. You can donate blood to reduce microplastic in your body, no joke. Wait, what? So if you bleed... The majority of the microplastic will go out with it, and then you'll give it to people that are sick. And that will... <laughs> that will make the sick person have like 10 times as much microplastic in their body! Oh my goodness. Oh man. I don't know about that. Pretty much, if it's ever touched plastic, it's contaminated. It would have to be glass only forever. Can't even trust the metals, because they have lead and aluminum too often. Oh my god. <sighs> when you put it that way... I mean, it's what's happening! We're giving microplastic to people that need blood. Okay. We're bringing back bloodletting as a treatment! No, 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 don't start bloodletting. Okay. The old-timey doctors weren't insane, they were just ahead of the curve! Okay, don't start bloodletting. Don't don't attach leeches to your body. Hey, clunk. Plastic! <laughs> Okay. How do you get rid of all of the heavy metals and plastics in your body? Heavy metal and chemical detox dropped in your drinking water, water will remove microplastic. Okay. That doesn't sound healthy either. What, what do you do? I think if they need blood, then some microplastics are a pretty minor, minor concern. But what about people that get blood constantly? They'll get tons of microplastics. Hmm... Leeches can jump? Oh, cute! That's so nice! I like that. That's interesting. Uh, don't use leeches. You will poison the leeches with your microplastics. That's true, too, actually. Oh. So be careful if they jump at you. You could hurt them. Giving blood is actually a good way of getting microplastics out of your body. That just, that just makes me scared for them. Who knows? Maybe the next few generations will start handling microplastics like a pro. That's true. Maybe they'll realize that they need to get rid of them. And they'll start developing things that are similar to microplastics, but a little bit less, a uh, little bit less bad. Like that's very possible. The blood is filtered to an extent; it's not necessarily straight into the next guy. Okay. Well, that's good. That's that's good that they're actually taking the microplastics out of it. So there is a way to take microplastics out of your blood. Wait a second. If they have a way to do that, they should do that for all of us. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Okay, now I now I'm now I'm a little steamed again. So they have a way of doing it. Let's let's listen to this one actually. I want to listen to you. you. There we go. Chelators remove heavy metals from your body, but you do not want to do it too quickly because it can disturb deposits in fat that will shift to the brain. Okay. There's no way to be a human these days. There's just no way to just go out there and just have a nice day and not get infected with microplastics. Thank you so much, Gil Kong Gain, for being here for six months in advance. That's quite a lot of time. I hope that you enjoy yourself here. Thank you. It's very kind of you. Um, I hope you're having a very nice day. Thank you. I, I recently found out that microplastics have been found in a certain male area. I cannot say. Fear is real. Not just that. I will say it for you. They did a study of, like, 20 dudes to find out how many of them would have microplastics in their testicles. Take a guess how many had microplastics in their testicles. Some of you will already know. How many? How many? Thank you, Night Shift Nurses 5150! We have a nurse here now. I bet she knows about microplastics. Fortnite is a job now! Good name. 20. 
all. 20 all. 33. Did they just find people outside, in your opinion? Um, 5. 21. How did... What? They didn't just start stabbing random people in the genitals, so I don't... Um... The night shift nurses have microplastics. No! Thank you so much for gifting 10 subs, though. That is very kind of you. Please make sure that you are taking care of yourself, and I hope that you're having a very nice shift as a nurse, if you are a nurse. And if you are a pornographist, I, I, I also hope that you're having a nice time with that as well. Um, I'm not sure if your name is a reference to that, or if you... Anyway, um, thank you very much. That is very kind of you. Thank you. Um, I appreciate it, but please make sure you're taking care of yourself. Thank you. Um, so... All of them had... All of them had microplastics in their testicles. All of them. Every single last one, uh, was... They were positive for microplastics. So, realistically, every single one of you here, unfortunately, has microplastics in your testicles. Um, unless you don't have testicles, then you probably are clear on that one. Um, hopefully not those night nurses. Those night nurses might be smart enough to avoid plastic somehow. Um, but yeah, so unless you're eating very clean and, like, buying from, like, a... I don't know, like, farmers and, like, using, like, hemp bags or something, you probably have microplastics in your testicles. To be fair, these microplastics be bussin'. Oh, yeah! Like, have you ever had, like, a bag of chips? They're delicious! They're delicious! I was gonna say, Grimmy, some of us don't have testicles. Oh, yeah! No, no, then you're- you don't have any in your testicles. Um, but you might have them other places. Uh, how do I get them out? Uh... I don't know... I don't know how we do that. Depending on... Huh, hmm, hmm... What farm you buy from, you will still get the microplastics. You have to grow your own food! There you go! <laughs> Remove, like, the cat slash dog- I don't think you should neuter yourself, that's not a good idea. There are ways, but it's TOS. Okay, we, we don't want to do that then. Um, unless you only drink specifically filtered water, you are going to get microplastics in you. That's rough. That's rough. I'd like to just drink specifically filtered water. I guess coming from like bottles and stuff is probably like one big like factor. I I usually have like, I, I usually have some canned tea like liquid death and stuff like that. So I probably have microplastics too. Every single person. We found a plastic-eating bacteria in the trash islands, so soon you'll have those inside you, too. Mm. Oh, thank you. From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me. I crave the strength and certainty of microplastics. I aspire to the purity of the blessed plastic. There you go. Even filtered water has microplastics in it. Oh my god, what do we do? Do we just... Can we boil it out? Can we... <sighs> can we boil it out? Can we, like... Can we, like, dilute it? Can we use, like, um... What's it called? Um... A diffuser? Where, like, you, you have to, like, get the boiled water to go into, like, another tube, but only a little bit at a time, and, like, it just drips it down. Like, would that work? No, not your testicles. We're past the testicle point. I think we're trying to work on the water that you drink now. The only blood that has no microplastics was before, before World War One. Oh, no. Distillation, not dialysis. That's a, that's a good guess, though. Distillation. Like, distillation. Like, if you did distillation for your water- Now nah, we just doomed? Okay. Don't boil your- your testicles, though, everyone. Um... To boil the testicles to melt and liquefy the microplastics? No! I mean, it's in probably other parts of your body. I don't know why the researchers were just like, let's check- let's check the testicles. I think we need to check there. That's a little strange, isn't it? The fact that they were just, like, on that one specific organ, you think that they would have gone for, like, an arm or something first. Or, like, a kidney. Or, like, is it just that testicles were easy to, like, test? Maybe? Um... You need a high-quality distillation, and the cost of it is- oh... 
I have one that's like a hundred buckaroos because I was like, well, I should get distilled water. This will be a lot cheaper over time. And it has been, but like... Huh. Test. <laughs> they tested them because they have test in the name. There you go. I'm scared to do distillation. I don't want to lose my eyesight, so I will just brew things instead. What on earth? Wait, what? Wait, if you distill water, you can lose your eyesight? Can you tell me what you mean? Wait, what? Several media filters and then distillation just to be safe. Add in some hops for the extra... <laughs> you can just make beer, I guess. Yeah. Um, just stick a needle... They stuck needles in them? How much do they have to pay those guys? They probably tested a bunch of organs, but that's the study that got mainstream attention. Ah, uh, I guess it makes sense. It's all fun and games until it's something's in your testicles, I guess. It's all fun and games. I wanted to be like Plastic Man as a little kid, but not like this? I guess so. I'm sorry. Here you go. Distilled water messes with osmosis of intestines. Wait, can you not... Dr wait, 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 wait. I just breathe it in. I use it in like a air, a, an air thing. That's not good. Oh my god, there's no way to survive. How do you be a health- Why aren't we just working on like things where we just sit down? Shouldn't there be like a committee that sits down and makes sure we don't all die? Like every day? Like they just go like, here's how we make it so humans are healthier. And then they like sit down and figure this out. That should be a thing, shouldn't it? Please be a thing. There has to be. We have the FDA? Oh no. The FDA doesn't really seem to mind that much. There's like a 500 things that are like banned in every other country that like has like a food and drug administration and then in America they're just like, no, you're fine. Just, you know, just eat a little bit of it. You'll be fine. The Surgeon General's office, the FDA, if we get healthier in America, they will not get big payday. Who? The, what? Okay. My coworker dislikes distilled water. Need to talk to her. Oh, okay. If, if your coworker drinks distilled water, maybe she'll have a problem eventually. It sounds like it can mess with, like, your gut bacteria or something. 100 grams of sugar, you will be fine. I don't know about that. I, I, wait, yeah. Distilled water is perfectly fine to drink, probably in, like, small doses. Like, you probably do need some mineralization. Cross my heart and hope to die, stuck a needle in- stick a needle in my- No! <laughs> Is it distilled water or 100% purified water? Oh my god, I it's we're just giving each other like new anxieties, everyone, I'm sorry. Mountain Dew is banned in Japan and EU because it contains beryllium, which cannot be filtered out by your body, just like lead. Wait, what? Wait. What? Also, hi, VTuber Talk, how are you? It's Skelter! I, I saw your interview with Margo earlier, it was very nice. I, um, I'm sorry. What is in Mountain Dew that makes it so we die? Minerals are required. The still water rip it out of your cells. Adding table salt gets you pretty full. Oh my god. Hi, Jay. I hope you're doing well. I drank way too much Mountain Dew before someone told me that. Okay. Mountain Dew contains a dangerous amount of Mountain Dew. I guess so. Wait, does it really contain... Does it really? Or is this like some internet thing? Where like, it's like, yes, it contains melted uranium and you're going to die. It's brominated vegetable oil. Okay, is brominated vegetable oil bad? I heard energy drinks give kidney stones, but didn't find any source for that. I think it's just an incredible amount of sugar and like different vitamins can give you different like kidney problems. Like, if you're drinking a lot of water and taking care of yourself, if you drink energy drinks, it's probably fine. If you drink, like, five a day and, like, don't really look after yourself, you'll probably develop kidney stones. Uh... Mountain Dew it does have the fastest time of teeth destruction compared to other brands. Oh my god. Unfortunately, the Final Fantasy XIV collab is encouraging people to wail on Mountain Dew. See, I was gonna get some Mountain Dew! This is why I'm upset! I was like, this is a, this has a tie into a video game! <laughs> oh, it's okay, Pumpkin. We won't get any Mountain Dew, don't worry. It's okay, good girl. No Mountain Dew will come here. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay, Pumpkin. It's okay. I don't know if you heard her to start screaming. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's alright, kitten. It's okay. Such misinformation today? Wait, what? Is it misinformation? Is Mountain Dew not gonna, like, destroy my kidneys? 
Oh, I forgot what... I forgot what... <laughs> I think it might have been Mountain Dew. I forgot what brand it was, but at some point, like, they developed, like, some AI thing that would go through, like, all of Twitch and find people that were streaming that had, like, Mountain Dew on their stream, like, as a cup or something. And then it would go like, hey, streamer, I see you're enjoying Mountain Dew. If anyone else would like to come enjoy some Mountain Dew, you can click on this link. And then they'd link something in chat. <laughs> there was one guy that just had a cup wrapped with, like, Mountain Dew's logo. Or whichever, whichever company it was. And then, after that, like, when they finally came by, he went, oh god, oh, they're here, nice. And then he went, ah, yes, you mean this delicious beverage, right? You're talking about this one, right? Yes, I am indeed enjoying it. The taste of... And then he unwrapped it and he d just said the word C-U-M on it. It's come! And then he just started screaming about that for a very long time. And I imagine the Mountain Dew representative was just like... Why? Why Why is he doing that? Hi, hi, Kana. Thank you so much for coming by, Kana. Thank you for telling me to drink a little bit of water, Kana. Um... That sounds like Jabroni Mike. It probably was. It was probably him. It was a different kind of dude. There you go. Also, guys, please go check out Kana. How are you? And thank you so much, Fizzy Leaf, for the 50 bits. Can't afford Skelter, but enjoy my remaining bits. Fizzy Leaf, from this point forward, you do not need to give me any more bits. That's very kind of you, but make sure you take care of yourself. And you can afford the luxuries of life that you enjoy. Also, hello, Kana. I I'm glad you're using the little car. How are you? Kana's very lovely, you guys. You should go check her out. Grimmy is... I, I'm not saying gamer words, I'm saying Mountain Dew. And then I'm also... It might have been Jabroni Mike, but um, it's it's a young fella that decided to go against all odds and find a corporate entity, have them come to their stream, and then, and then do something really weird that probably just made them go like... Okay. Why, why do you do that? And then he was proud. He he had a great time though. Live to just be an evil man. Live to just be crazy. The poor attorney had to watch that. Just like I'm trying so hard. I just I just want to work at Mountain Dew. I just like their stuff, and they they give me money. And meanwhile, someone's cackling and saying like, "Your drink has come," and like screaming at the top of their lungs. That's awesome. Why not? Do you think he was actually drinking cum? Um. Why? Th thank you, Tom Coyote, for being here for five months. I got back from the bars, and I'm buying three skelters. Uh, ma make sure that you're s sober, though. I'm happy that you like him, though. That's very kind of you, but make sure that you're sober. Um, you want to make sure you make good decisions with your skelter purchasing. You don't want to do something where you're, you're feeling funny about it the next day, and you're like, man, I shouldn't have done that. Don't shame the man's protein shake. Um... Apparently my favorite cola is worse than Mountain Dew. What is- what are- okay, is there like any, like... How do I put this? Is there like a good soda that doesn't like make you into like a, like, person that's dying? Um, no? <coughs> Pardon me. There is no healthy sugar water- okay, yeah, when you put it that way. Uh, real sugar sodas? Prebiotic sodas. Not probiotic, prebiotic. Sprite, maybe? I like just throwing that out there. Maybe Sprite? I don't know, it's a different color. Like, I like that a lot. I'm not mocking you, I think it's fun. There's no good soda, only soda that is less bad. Pretty much no soda is healthy, that's why moderation is important. Dr. Pepper. Clearly medically approved. Oh my god, you're right, though. Oh, uh, good night, good night, Todd Les... I... Uh, Le, Le Blank. I'm so sorry for almost calling you Todd Lesbian. That's not you, but it would be okay if you were. I wouldn't be upset with... Good night, Todd. Sleep tight. Uh, verified some info. It is indeed bromine, which is poisonous and corrosive. It's a chemical agent which has been linked to major organ failures, birth defects, schizophrenia, hearing loss, and cancer. It also replaces iodine in your body, which seems to be the reason why your body can't get rid of it. Like iodine radiation? Dear God! Well, that's the stuff that settles in your thyroid. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, 
Oh my god! Hello, hello! A little iodine is useful? I, I guess so. Iodine the element. Like, well, I mean, you can get that from, like, seaweed and stuff, right? Like, that's, that's good. Like, I have a little bit of iodine in my, like, system just because I eat a lot of, like, seaweed. Like, seaweed sheets and stuff. Salt? Yeah, and iodized salt. Iodized salt. Um, but I guess if you don't have that, you can get poisoned from Mountain Dew. Well, why would they use that in Mountain Dew? That's like, that's like all of the, like, weird Nuka-Colas from, like, Fallout. So, like, uh, studies have not proved that the levels of BVO previously found in sodas such as Mountain Dew had adverse health effects on human- I don't want to risk it. Fallout mentioned- Fallout's a good game. But, like, they had, like, Nuka-Cola, and then they also had, like, the, um, what was it, Quantum- Quantum Nuka or something? Quantum Nuka-Cola? Something like that, that actually had, like, trace amounts of radiation in it. And it, like, made it glow. So, like, if Mountain Dew has bromine in it, is it just, like, a trace amount where it, like, hurts you a little bit but not too much? Like, I don't- I don't know. Sometimes eat fish, tank, duck, weeds, it's said to be superfood from Asia. I would not do that, but that's cool. It, it makes sense, though, but... Oh. Ah. Uh, that... That's... That's... That sounds gross, though. But, I mean, I, it makes sense since the algae and, like, stuff around fish is very healthy. Like, they eat that to get all of their own nutrients, and fish are healthy. What if Mountain Dew can make me glow? It'll be worth it. I mean, it sounds like it's going to. Canonically, Nuka-Cola is a mix of one-third Mountain Dew, cream soda, and flat Coca-Cola. Oh! That sounds gross. I thought it was like 16 different, like, uh, fruits and spices and stuff. I thought it was like super, super intense. All we need now is for Mountain Dew to have a sick, nasty bottle design and metal caps for the apocalypse. Yeah! Uh. The reason why uranium glows in the dark is not because of the radiation. Oh, really? What is it? I guess Mountain Dew probably does that, so they have, like, a nice, like, look to it. Like, in terms of, like, how it, like, kind of glows almost, right? Like, is that why they put that chemical in there? Would... Koala champagne be the real Nuka-Cola? I always imagined it. I have no clue. There is no longer BVO in Mountain Dew, FYI. No longer? How long was it in there for? That's concerning, still. You can purchase Nuka-Cola Quantum on Amazon. Wait, yeah, really? Is it- is it shiny? I like that I spent so much time going like, Oh, is it- that sounds really bad for you. Wait, they do it intentionally and you drink it? It might be bad for you? You can drink glow sticks? Like, that what? I don't know. <laughs> I got really excited at the prospect, but I don't think it's a good idea to drink it. You can. You can just drink Nuka-Cola Quantum. Oh, it's expensive, though. It's expensive. Oh, I, I, I hate that the Fallout stuff gets so expensive. It's a shame. Sometimes you just want to try, like, the cool, like, drink and, like, it's $100 on here because everyone buys it up so quickly. It's sad. It's sad. Snake voice? Nuka-Cola. I, I would like to hear snakes say that. Now I really want to. I'm just saying. The main danger in drinking glow sticks is the glass ampule inside, not the glowy goo. Why not? I don't think we should drink the glow stick. I don't know about that. I believe that Nuka-Cola Quantum is... One-third Baja Blast Cream Soda Flat... Okay, oh, oh, okay, you believe that. I thought it was like the 16 flavors. Okay, you, you were saying it tastes like that. Um, Mini Creation Club mods you can buy with 100 instead? Uh-huh. <laughs> Word of advice for people wailing on Final Fantasy XIV Mountain Dew. Look up the limited flavors that give double points so you get half the soda. Oh, that's nice. That's very, that's very smart, actually. They announced its removal in 2014. Brominated vegetable oils and emulsifier, uh, age, ar argent that prevents the drink from falling apart into its base ingredients. Oh my goodness. Couldn't we, well, I guess we can't shake it since it's carbonated. This is quite strange, though. Well, why was it so different than other sodas? Other sodas are fun. Th Sorry, I'm just getting way too like, what do you mean? 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 It's just... 
It's just concerning. It's just a little concerning, honestly. That's the long and the short of it. According to Ecto, glow sticks taste terrible. Ecto is going to get sick something. Ecto! Ecto, please, no. The citrus flavors are oil-based. Don't Doesn't mix in water. Ah, I see. Going to- I guess Ecto has passed away. She is a dead rat, but, you know. You know. Oh, that's such a cute emote! Oh, it's kind of nice to have, like, the gigantify the emote thing. You can really see all the details on him now. Nuka-Cola Quantum is actually just Mountain Dew with pomegranate juice and fruit punch mixed in. Oh, okay. That actually sounds okay-ish if Mountain Dew weren't trying to kill us, I guess. That makes me worry about, like, all the other stuff that has, like... Like, if you think about that, what other ingredients are, like, super bad for us, but we're just not thinking about that much, or they're going like, No, it's just a small amount. It'll be fine. But if you drink a lot of it, that wouldn't be a small amount anymore. If you drink it every day consistently for days on end, that's not a small amount anymore, is it? Don't worry too much about it. Yeah. The music is lulling me into levitation. Hell yeah. Sugar, sugar is really bad for you. It means such a difference so much to learn. I don't know if you're learning anything. I feel like I'm gonna forget this in 10 minutes and that's gonna, I'm gonna repeat it back to you like 100 times less correctly. Bottled water has an insane amount of microplastics. Yeah. Microplastics in small amounts are fine, but we have a lot of them now. There used to be this canned pork cubes I love four years after I bought it. It was banned in my country because they found lead in it. That's not good. That's not good. A little bit of lead is totally fine. But if you love something with a little bit of lead... Uh-oh. Archamide. Ar it's a neurotoxin, and it is in all cooked vegetables. Uh-oh. Should we eat raw vegetables? Yum yum, microplastics so good, gotta know! I remember I drank Mountain Dew, and one cup made me sick like I had to vomit. Oh my goodness. Oh, good news. Apparently they lowered the sugar and cola I was talking about. Went from 56 grams of sugar to 39 grams of sugar. Still bad, but no longer higher than Mountain Dew. That's wonderful. What about steamed veggies? I, I, I don't know. Light is sweet. Fun fact. No! I feel like I've eaten paint chips before, that brought back a memory. All forms of alcoholic drinks are technically toxic. That's true. Ideally, no. Steam or boil your green vegetables, except carrots. Okay. Carrots we don't? So, steam or boil spinach, and like kale, and like all that other stuff. Broccoli. And it won't- if we just steam it for a little bit, it won't have neurotoxins? Oh my god. I used to eat drywall when I was little- hell yeah. All wheat fields with real crop circles have traces of radiation in them. Whoa, that's how you can tell the real ones from the fake ones. That's really cool, honestly. Carrots are fine raw or cooked. Wash and peel. Okay. It was a running myth that Romans seasoned their food with lead for the sweet taste. Oh. I'm- I'm dying- you're killing yourself with salad? Well, if the salad's not cooked, that's probably okay. Oh my god, maybe there's- You know what? It's just that everything on Earth, ever, is bad for you. No matter what, and there's no getting around it, so you have to find out what makes you feel better. So maybe you sleep for eight hours a day. Maybe you drink a lot of water. Maybe you don't worry about, like, you know, every single piece of microplastic that's going into your body. Living in general, killing- yep. Pistachios are a fire hazard in bulk. Wow, that's not good. Um, that's why everyone dies anyway. Yeah, so have a little Mountain Dew if you want to. There you go. The only guarantee in our lives is of that they will end. Yes, that's true. As a species, we are kind of built to eat poisons. We have double the 10x, 10x the organs that we need, like liver and lungs. Heck yeah, exactly. We can eat as much poison as we want to. We're Americans and people that are listening to an American. Eat poison, eat lead. Eat Lunchables with just a little bit of lead, because it's not that bad. Come on. Mm. We're Americans. Or people that listen to an American. It's future use problem. Oh, it's just a little bit of lead. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's just a little bit of bromine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We live to the end. Enjoy what you can before you kick the bucket. Yeah, exactly. 
there you go. I did not say to drink bleach, you will die, don't do that. I mean, people literally put in toxic chemicals by smoking and stuff, yeah, that's true. I never got into smoking, but it sounds like a cool thing to do, but I don't think you should do it. <laughs> Everyone that smokes seems like really cool, you know? Like, it seems like they have anxiety, but they've given up in like a way that makes them attractive. Smoking is super cool. Yeah, see? Like, there you go. Like, I don't know if I can really laugh and grow fat some days. <laughs> well, he had a name. Even if one of part of it was fat and the other part of it was man. Until you talk to them and they're cranky because they haven't smoked enough. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Uh, my dad let me try smoking when I was little to make me hate it. Yeah, that's fair. The smoker aesthetic goes hard and only, only if it didn't kill you. Yeah. I love drinking stimulants and smoking cigarettes. There you go. There you go. I mean, bleach is mostly water and we are mostly water, therefore we are bleach. Don't drink bleach. Lunchable, this is activation word. This is chat sleep rage and microplastics. Okay. I bet in a hundred years there will be less microplastics because we will have figured something out. Hopefully. I guess there's a microplastic eating bacteria, but I wouldn't want that in my body because then what if they start to eat other things? What if they get better at eating things? We will all be dead, then it's not our problem. It's not our problem. Don't worry about that. Not our problem. What we need to focus on is the things that we want and the things we want to enjoy today. Everything else, not our problem. Not our problem. It's okay. Boomer mentality, it's what we gotta do. <laughs> For a little bit, it's what we gotta do. Maybe, maybe we go back to glass, which means we'd need tariffs on plastic. I guess that's fair. We could also develop plastics that don't leach into things, like maybe make them out of like banana peels and stuff. We are actively manufacturing bacteria which eats microplastic and are unable to mutate, so it looks like we'll be safe in the near future. That's wonderful. Unable to mutate, you say? How do they, how do they know? Um, they, they, uh, yeah, you know what, fine. Hello, mother. 51, 32, 12, 5, 98, 32, 42. Magnolias and Bloom, please open the window. I want to listen to number of stations now. I want to do that. Glass means we'd need more sand. Oh. Uh, I guess we could all just like make it so like the farms we live near are ones that we can consistently get stuff from, rely less on cardboard and more on like things that might last a little bit longer, like wood and stuff like that, and then we can we can go and pick up our food, like, weekly and, like, make it ourselves in, like, pots and pans that have, like, been deemed, like, safe for us to consume with. You know, it would be pretty hard to fix society. I love number stations. Lumber st number stations are so cool. Number stations are so cool. Okay, I, I don't know how we're gonna fix everything. Remember your promise, chat. Wake up. It's very difficult. It's difficult, but not impossible. So, I guess just work on things a little bit in your day-to-day -day life. It is hard to fix society. It's why we should settle for blaming the beasts. <laughs> I guess that's what people do. Those other guys did this. Don't worry about it. Those other guys did this. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't, 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 don't even consider it. Don't even think about it. Don't even, don't even look at the... Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Perhaps we will merge with the plastic-eating bacteria, then we will consume the plastics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why not? Why not? When a chat becomes so philosophical, when you guys, you guys decided you needed to understand each other in the world. The only me is me. Are you sure the only you is you? Let's see who's streaming today. I- it wasn't a very long one, but it was something. It was something. Let's see. Oh, we could raid Mari back. She's playing Fallout. Oh, someone's playing Luigi's Mansion, though. Oh, there's quite a few people streaming today. Oh, or we could raid Mint. Mint is so lovely. Mint Costella. And there's also- there's a lot of nice people on today. And they're playing a lot of really fun stuff. Oh. 
This looks interesting. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Thank you for your time today, Mother. I'm not your mom. But thank you very much, Razbaldio. Razbaldo. Oh, and yes, um... <clears throat> everyone. Tomorrow. Or should we do Sunday? It might make a nice Sunday stream. Do you guys want to do Sunday or Saturday for the room review? Because a lot of people stream on Saturday and we can all, like, kind of relax, but Sunday might be... Anyways. On Saturday or Sunday, I will return. And I will be in your home. Please, on Twitter, use hashtag, Oh God, how did Grimmy get in here? To have me review your room. I would love to. If you would, if you would allow me to. I would love to break into your house and start looking at your stuff. Thank you. Um, that's, that's coming up soon. And then, and then, also, there is now a Skelter plush. There is a Skelter plush doll. If you would like to purchase one, you can do so at makeship.com. There should be a link pinned right now. It's Skelter. He's a little guy. And if you'd like to, please go for it. Um... 200 have to be sold for it to be made, but I think it's- I'm- I'm gonna- I'm gonna buy some, no matter how expensive it is, if it doesn't get to it, so you don't need to worry at all. We're at 131? Heck yeah! Um, these will also only be the time that they're printed, so... I'm gonna try to have another Skelter doll, maybe in the far future, but it would not be for a very long time. Uh, once it's over, unfortunately you can no longer get it, so I deeply apologize for that, but for right now, it's, it is what it is, and it's going to be a one and done, so if you'd like one, please pick one up. Uh, unfortunately, I can't just make them stick around forever. But I would like to. If I could, I would. So, everyone, thank you very much for coming by today. Please be careful with your microplastics, and please, um... Please just be careful. Please just be careful of everything. Yeah. Also, thank you so much, Fizzy Leafs, for the 10 bits. That's very nice of you. I- oh my gosh, have we ever actually managed to raid Ashton? I don't know if we've raided Ashton ever. I don't know if we've raided Ashton ever. We might have to raid Ashton, yeah. I don't know if we've even done that a single time. Just in case. She's very sweet. She works very hard, and she she has a beautiful voice, and she's been- she's so- she's, she's just wonderful. I know you guys are really gonna enjoy her. I am back. I'm so sorry, Sky. Thank you for the strip. Thank you so much for coming by. It is unfortunately ending. I, I apologize for that, everyone. But I will be back tomorrow or Sunday. <laughs> or Sunday. Probably tomorrow, though. Or Sunday. But thank you guys for coming by. It was very nice of you. Thank you so much, Muzzy, for making your remote big. But, um... Stream is ending, but Ashton's lovely. I think you guys will really like her. So, I found you from a spinach clip on Twitter. <laughs> I'm sorry you're catching me just as I'm ending. But I will be back on Saturday or Sunday and probably for a more significant amount of time. But this was just a stream to launch. Skelter. My little guy. My little guy. He's going to be a plush. I've been lurking for a while, doing work. Thank you for the... Oh, thank you for your... Thank you. Thank you very much for coming by. I appreciate it. You guys, all please have a wonderful night, and please drink some nice water and relax. And if you can't relax, try very hard. Let your, bo let your body rest. Let your muscles just stop working. Relax. Relax. Bye-bye.